searching for resemblance Why? When all was fair, the world was mine There was passion in the air Twenty eight months later. Hello! I hope you're all good guys. Hope you're all well. Hello everybody. Uh, let's catch up. Pig, pigs are belting? Dude, that sounds a bit like a country and western song. Pigs are belting? <laughs> I'm sure there's more to it than that. It must be Pig Stableton? Pig Stableton? Pigs are belt? I don't know. A pigs are belt tan? Whatever it is, dude. Thank you for the resub and also the gifted subs as well. Pig, dude. Pigs, thank you very much. 
Cheers for the support. Thank you for gifting subs. And resub too. That's very, very kind, dude. Phoenix, thank you for the five months. Tiny Man, thank you very much for the 28. EMW187, thank you for the follow on YouTube. Uh, Nurse Guy? Miss, Miss Guy? Uh, thank you for the Prime. I'm not doing well with the names today, am I? It's not going well thus far. Oh well, it'll be alright. It'll be re. Right, let me just find a server. Uh, I'm going to do Cherners for a little while, and then I'm going to carry on with yesterday's character, I think. I think that's the plan. Just trying to join a server now. Hey Zuck, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Thanks for finding a stream. I miss the watch talk. Oh, there'll be some more today. Someone will be annoyed by it, and someone else will be interested, and that'll be the way. Uh, I hope you're right about the streaming for many years to come. Unbound. Thanks for coming in, Pig Baron. It's almost like the pigs are taking over today. Pig Baron and Pigs of Belton. Uh, cheers for the support, both of you. Irish medic. Thank you. Cheers for the 38 months at tier two, dude. Thank you. I have an amazing Casio. God tier dude. All of them. Hey Nick from Los Angeles. How you doing? Uh, Turkey, Nicky, Sully. Hello, Quats, Cat Hacker, El Shaft, Sapien, Fernandina. Uh, everybody else. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all good. Oh well, that's a shame. I'm happy with the spawn. I'm guessing by the look of it, this is fat like. Yeah. Happy with the spawn, but we've got a suicide. I know the music's still playing. I'll turn that off in a minute. Just give me one sec. Just need to check something. While I suicide. Oh. Good job I checked. Yo, you're getting double music, of course you are, hang on. Yeah, I don't hear that. I don't hear the music when it's in the waiting room, so I, I couldn't tell. Right, I think that's correct. One second. I'm just checking one little feature that I... I yeah, I, I'm just checking something, but I need to do it covertly, okay? I still find Chernerus exciting. Yeah, I had some great runs on Chernerus lately. The Winter Chernerus two-part video, for example. We got a run the other day where I killed a guy uh, with a Tundra, and he had an M4 and an SVD, and we had an amazing run thereafter. Yeah, that was fucking brilliant. This seems very loud. It's a bit Good of a shame. I was actually... Sunny Florida. I was quite Earth. liking that spawn. Have a great stream. I'm heading into the office for an outstanding work day. An outstanding work day, as in it's a day that was outstanding or it's going to be outstanding. You're making up for time you've had. I reckon it's going to be outstanding. I hope you have an outstanding day and I do too. Look, have a good day, Uncle Gator. Thank you. Cinch Dozer, Irish, thanks a lot for the... Imagine if we had throwing knives, right? You used to be able to throw axes. Like in the early days of the game, if you threw your melee weapon at a player... You could really hurt them or potentially kill them if you like threw an axe and it hit. It would hurt someone. What pitters do I have today? I've got some kind of like uh, belly pork like hash. It's not hash at all but it's just something that my missus found in the freezer and thought it was about time that it came out of the freezer and was eaten. So I'm getting belly pork in, in, in a pitter. It's going to be cut up with some sauce but I don't exactly know how it's going to turn out, but it can't be bad. It's fatty pork. It'll be fucking amazing. It'll be orgasmic, it will. It'll be amazing. Let me let me turn shadow play on. Freezer delight, exactly. We call it freezer medley. How many bullets have we got for the Peter? Quite a few. I wonder if it was come... Yeah, okay, we got five. Five bullets for the repeater. It's not like belly. Belly pork is, uh, it's like a 
fatter cut. It's like about, I don't know, half inch deep. Belly pork. It's like a layer of pork and then a thin layer of fat and then a layer of pork and then a thin layer of fat. But thicker and tastier. Lovely. Lumi, I'm not falling for that that one, dude. I, I, I wasn't born yesterday. It is a bit like the same thing you make bacon from, yeah. I, I, I think, well, in the UK, we tend to have back bacon more rather than belly. Uh, if you get, like, streaky bacon, that's more like America land. Freedom bacon, then that's quite often similar. It's a bit more belly-fied. America land has streaky bacon, whereas we tend to have back bacon more. Pork belly is amazing. As long as you crisp it up nice so it goes all crispy, crispy lovely, right? It, oh, God. I'm quite excited about it. Oh, Dissy Dre, you're right, dude. Jardadric. Thank you very much for the 24 months. One day I might get that name right. I'm, I don't think I did a bad job. I made a decent fist of it. Oh. Uh, Nizzle and Tommy, thank you for the follows on YouTube. Coming in, guys. Hope you're all good. Ain't it called gelatin? That's nothing to do with pork belly, no. Gelatin is uh, something you have to make. Right. Gel gelatin is like... Uh, you get gelatin from pork, but it's like rendered down into more of a liquid. They use gelatin in sweets and stuff. All right, Napsin, how you doing, dude? Oh, you're on the YouTubes now, eh? Yeah, I'm back bacon is a little bit less fatty. You get a rind on the top, but it's less fat running through it. I lost my Twitch account. Do you think it might be down the back of the sofa with the stuck stepmom? <laughs> well, that's all good, dude. I hope you're well. It's kind of a bit of a uh, like a throwback to the, to yesteryear, seeing that little purple logo next to your name. Uh, Moldy, thank you very much. Moldy sneakers. No one likes Moldy sneakers, but I like you, okay? <laughs> Cheers for coming in. Oh, God, my fucking... F it's time for the for the regularly scheduled moaning. Uh, it starts about when the stream goes live, and it ends just about when the stream ends, right? We all know this, okay? Red line's here, so it'll ramp up a bit in a minute, probably. <laughs> Stream's freezing for you. Uh, hopefully nobody else, KBB. I don't think anyone else has mentioned it, so... Uh, Maybe stop downloading that porn, okay? Uh, just just make do with streaming it rather than having to have a big bank of it all on your hard drive, you know? A wank bank of it. Anyway, what was I saying? You're moaning. I was get back to the moaning, okay? Before I forget. Uh, I was getting loads and loads of foot and heel pain, right? And then I got really fat and lazy over Christmas and the heel pain went away. Now I've been back to doing my walking every day. Guess what's back? Back again. The heel pain is back upon me. The the dog ran past my foot earlier. It was on a. It was on just on a little footstool. I my foot was not the dog. You know, feet go on footstools, right? Anyway, the dog ran past it and just knocked it slightly, and the most excruciating pain rang out from my heel. It was awful. It's back. I'm just old. It's it's it's. No, there's nothing I could do about it. I'm just an old man. If I go out walking for seven days straight, that's it. I get heel pain. Fucking old man's issues. Uh, crowd control, yeah, I actually have just been doing that. I've got a little... And you have a tennis ball, I have a petonk ball. <laughs> and the reason I've got that, we've got it, we, we play... My missus got it from the charity shop, actually, before it makes me sound too posh. But it's uh, it's a metal ball, like, some people call it balls rather than petonk. But anyway, we play it with the kids in the back garden in the summer sometimes. But, uh, yeah, it's metal, so it doesn't have any give, which is even better still for it. It's perfect. And I'm actually rolling my foot on it now. I was doing it just before the stream started as well. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm doing the exact same thing, rolling it on a ball. I've got some uh, exercises to do with one of those like elastic band things that physios give you. I've got to be honest, I haven't done it in a while, but the muscle I was meant to be strengthening is now all strengthened. It's like, It kind of works as it should, but the pain hasn't gone off. I could do with a backpack. I'll take yours. Ooh, I could do with a dildo. I'll take yours. Hmm. Wonder where it's been. 
Uh, how old is this fella? 65 or centi? You're called Lazy Retro Gamer. How old are you, you old bastard? <laughs> Uh, Lewis Robinson, thank you very much for the subbing. I hope you're well. Cheers for coming in. Uh, thanks for the support as well. Cheers for subscribing in on your YouTubes. Thank you. Uh, X-Pro, uh, it's modded. I, I don't think it's... It's not in the game. It's just a modded gun. Uh, it's, it, it's Parabellum, so it's from John Wick. Uh, I've got good walking shoes, Chazzy. I've done all of that. I've just, uh... I went over my heel on a stone last June and I really hurt my ankle and because I was doing this hard 75 thing I just carried on walking on it and uh, the muscle all wasted away. I saw a physio in the autumn, I got given stretches and exercises to do and I've done them all religiously. I'm not doing them now, but I've done them all and now the, uh, the, the muscle I had to strengthen is all strengthened back to normal. But I'm left with heel pain and it's just not gone yet and uh, I probably should carry on doing the stretches but... Everybody does the stretches until they can't be asked. That's what everybody does. It's a, and then you go back to the physio and they go, Are you still doing your stretches? You go, yeah. <laughs> they know you're not. Uh, Lewis, thank you very much. There was a super chat just then. Thank you very much for the super chat. Jam, I think it was. Uh, it's not coming up. Oh, that's Holly Rex's flag. Uh... A second I get better, I stop stretching. Exactly. Jasper, thank you for the 33 months. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, the super chats take a little while to pop through. Yeah, the super chats take a little my while to pop through. My hype exploded after the stream last yes. night. Flooded my building and set the fire alarms off landlord fixed for free, so take some dollar reviews instead. Ah, oh, dude, well, that's cool. Night, dude. Thumbs up, light skin tone. I'm glad you got it sorted, dude. Uh, and on the subject of Great Run last night, someone just asked what happened to yesterday's character. Uh, I logged out, still alive. I think we got six or seven kills on that dude. It was really, really good. Great run. It was, it was brilliant. I really enjoyed it. It was nice to get a good run after a terrible fucking day beforehand. Uh, but, yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't want to start on Alteria. I wanted to start on something else and just like, so I thought I'd do Chernerus. We might do a bit of a split stream type thing. I'll do half Chernerus, then switch to yesterday's Alteria character. And then we'll we'll try that from there with that one kind of thing. Uh, thanks a lot, your man Jam. Glad you got that sorted and didn't have to pay. That is cool. How do you deal with freshies who charge and stone lock you if you're holding a gun? I can't seem to pop them with a gun in my hands. Luke, see this Sunday's video for how I deal with it. Basically, I donate all my loot to the Freshborn. Same as you. <laughs> There's a few things you can do. One thing I could have done is not get into a tight room with a tundra in my hands, knowing there was a freshborn there. So be very wary of tight, confined areas, you know. The, the best thing you can do is jump. If you can be walking backwards and jump, it gets you out of it. Like, even if they're hitting you, if you can be walking backwards and jump, it gets you out of it. However, uh, <clears throat> That only works if you've got somewhere to jump back to. If you've got a wall behind you, you're fucked, basically, dude. You're absolutely fucked. The best thing you can do is try to melee with the gun in your hands, like press press weapon raise and then, then press F. But if they chain it right and they've got enough stamina, you're, you're basically fucked. That's the way it is. Right, I need to, I'm sitting in my chair properly. I need to get back in. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, the end of Sunday's video shows exactly the same thing. I think it's kind of... Oh, I'm eating this too quick. I just had one. I, I need to wait. You can eat a rotten fruit, but you can't eat two rotten fruit too close together, and I may well be doing that. It could cause me some grief. How do you deal with freshies who charge and stun lock you if you're holding a gun? I can't seem to block with a gun in my hand. It was great, Yakati. It was really good. I have to say, that area... That area what of... What socks does everyone have on? Mine are orange, blue, and black striped. They sound awful. Orange, blue, and black striped. Are those coloured socks making up for a personality deficiency? <laughs> Sorry, banana. <laughs> it was a low blow, but surely people that wear coloured socks like that have got other issues. <laughs> I, t I do apologise. I should be more grateful for the resub rather than questioning your character, I think. But <laughs> Yeah, that, that town, that town, that southern town is amazing for PvP. Right. I'll, I'll join in. I, I am wearing half very, very dark blue, almost black, striped with lighter blue, mottled. 
horizontal stripes, but they're not socks you'd wear outside, they're slipper socks. I've worn them for about the last three or four streams by running, so I'm wearing old man slipper socks. <sighs> That's what I'm wearing. But yeah, I think absolutely like you say, Cool One, one of the best things you can do is keep uh, keep your uh, keep your distance. One step away from a retirement home. The missus is starting to look at houses on the coast, like on, by the seaside. Like she wants to move to Southwold, but it's expensive. So, but she's been. I, I finished the stream yesterday, and she'd sent me a message of a picture of a of a house she likes the look of. Hello. 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 Twenty one. I'm a Bambi. Hello. Yeah, me too. Hello. I don't think she wants to move to that particular house per se, but it was more like a look at this. It's nice, isn't it? And Stanton is cheaper. Unstanton's Norfolk, though, right? It's, it's a bit out of the way. Hunstanton's okay. I think Southwold is nicer than Hunstanton, but Hunstanton's pretty cool. Like, uh, I don't think she'd want to move there. Her parents have got a holiday, like a, a holiday apartment in old Hunstanton. So I, I don't know if she'd want to move there, but she particularly loves Southwold. So uh, the, ha the houses in Southwold are crazy expensive, though. It's one of the, the more expensive places to buy a house, certainly in Suffolk anyway. Norfolk is better than Suffolk. Eh, I don't really agree. I like both, by the way. I like both. I think they both have their charms. Uh, Southwold is one of the most popular kind of yeah. coastal towns in the UK, actually. Never mind, never mind Norfolk and Suffolk. It's where all the beautiful people go. It's like uh, Oscar Wilde lived there, I think, and it, it's very... Like, if you go there and you look around, you'll see somebody that's on the telly every time you go there. But yeah, I, I like Norfolk, by the way. We we'll go there quite a lot. I, I like Norfolk. I, I don't dislike it, but... Chroma's pretty cool as well. I don't mind that. Yeah, there's some cool places in, in Norfolk. The thing Suffolk definitely doesn't have, I mean, Norfolk doesn't really have, but there's not really a destination city in Suffolk or Norfolk. Like, like Norwich is kind of okay. Suffolk, well, the biggest city, it's not really a city, is Ipswich, I think. They're, Bury St. Edmunds, maybe, but there isn't really, like, a city in either one, really, of any size, you know? Uh, I've never read Oscar Wilde, other than the quotes they put on the pier at uh, Southwold. Ipswich isn't really a city, no. It, it, it's also a shithole. Sorry if you're from Ipswich. There's there's really lovely parts of Ipswich, but the High Street is not one of them. <laughs> Ipswich High Street is a it's it's fucking dicey as far as I'm concerned. But everywhere's got good and bad bits. Ipswich, Ipswich is the same as anywhere else. It's got nice bits and not so nice bits. What did I think when Klopp left said he was leaving at the end of the season? I thought, yes! Get in there. He's been holding us back. No, I was gutted. Obviously, I was gutted. I'm, I'm gutted, but it's been long enough now that I'm quite excited to see what's going to happen. And vaguely positive, naively positive about Alonso coming in and winning all the trophies. He may not get the job, of course. Banana, thank you very much for the support. Somebody else asked what I thought about Hamilton going for to Ferrari a little while. Uh, I'm quite excited about that as well. I uh, I hope he gets a good car. I suspect he may not. Uh, MG Stallion, yeah, sorry about that. I, I did wonder if, I, like, there was quite a lot going on in the town. And you let off fireworks and I shot you in the back. And then when I got close to you, I realised it was the dude that had given me the... Uh... Yeah, it was the dude that had given me the uh, dealie. Did you watch the video about what Toto said about, Afri uh, about Africa? It, they did a, Toto did a song about Africa, didn't they? That's where that came from, just subliminally. It wasn't even intentional. But No, I haven't seen any video about uh, Toto Wolf talking about uh, Hamilton. I don't think they're leaving on bad terms from what I've read about it, but I've not seen the video. King Wolfie, how you doing? You're new here. Well, thanks for coming in, dude. Hmm. 
I did I actually read an article where he he sort of uh, I, that was quoting Total Wolf, sort of saying that uh, Hamilton had spoken to him about how it was his last chance to do something like this. By the time he moves, he's going to be forty, and it seems like a really cool challenge to to do in his last moments. And he's never going to get going to get the opportunity again, you know, which is completely fair, isn't it? You know, like. He's, he certainly doesn't owe Mercedes anything. He joined Mercedes before they'd won a World Titan. It's not like he joined after they were winning stuff. He joined and then they won all of the stuff together. And it's his last job before he retires. And Ferrari are Ferrari. I think everybody knows that Ferrari have got that that certain thing. They've got that, like, je ne sais quoi that no other team has. None. Not even Red Bull or McLaren or anyone. Ferrari is, a, is Ferrari. This is not official now. I'm using some modded guns. It's not official. That's 9 by 19 that's 9 by 19 but it's damaged, that's damaged too. Let's just have the bullets and fuck that off. Bills are German. So the potato is a bit of a bit of a contentious subject in Daisy. You have to peel it in order to eat it. You can't eat the skin, and it really irks a lot of people. Because obviously if you eat a potato, like if you make a jacket potato, a baked potato, the skin is the best part, right? But uh, in the game, the potato has two purposes. You can grow it in the ground, like you could a real potato, and grow more potatoes with it. So you can plant a potato and water it and shit, and then grow more. As soon as you peel it, it stops being a seed in the game and becomes something you can eat. They still haven't worked it out as far as I'm concerned. You peel a potato, sometimes you get to next to nothing to eat from it, you know, like... Admittedly, I was peeling it just then with an axe, but... You can often peel it with a knife. And you get hardly any potato from the... It, it's really annoying. Love to see the farming mans. Ooh. We do need a potato peeler, you right? How you doing, Lexi? I hope you're good. God, I've just, just read the, the age-old saying about it should be the base of a recipe. The years we've been talking about that. I hope that happens one day. Congealed milk, dude. Ugh. It's still inside its date for three days. Someone left that out in the sun, didn't they? If it's going off three days before it should, there's definitely something amiss. That's not... That's a rook? What? That's a sporter mag, right? They're just calling it a rook, rook -a mag. The type of blade you use for cutting things up, not opening cans, doesn't actually impact the amount of food you get. It used to. It used to be how you killed it affected how many pieces of meat you get. And what you use to cut it up with, i.e. the condition of your knife, whether it was ruined or... Well, not ruined. Whether it was damaged or badly damaged or worn or whatever. Would affect the quality of the individual cuts of meat. We heard shots before. This dude was shot from the police station. Sorry, the fire station. Lost in labels, like I say, in the game you can't eat the skin, but there's a very good reason, because it, it's considered by the game as a seed until you skin. Because it can't be both food and a seed, as far as the game's code is concerned. It has to be one or the other. So you have to cut it in order to turn it into food as such. My kids won't eat potato skins, it really annoys me. Okay, they quite like jacket potatoes, but basically it's mainly like mashed potato with cheese in it. <laughs> cheese and butter in it is what they actually eat. They don't really eat the, the potato skin and it's really annoying. All lovely buttery goodness, right? Inside, uh, jacket potatoes are amazing. My gun is not jammed, no. This, is, this server's got a mod on it that means you can't tell how many bullets are in the mag. The plus just signifies there's a bullet in the chamber. Still the same, if it, if it was jammed it would be an X. If it's loaded it's got a plus. Can this be a full auto gun? No, semi-auto only. 
The radio. Let's take the battery, I guess. You know you're desperate when you're taking someone's shitty ass second hand jeans. They're open then before I forget I've got a can opener. Philip McCavity, thank you very much for the support. How did that happen? 22 months. Two little ducks. Any intention of doing Twitch con San Diego? Meza, I, I, I can't be sure either way. If I'm being on it, I want to do a TwitchCon at some point, and the next few are at San Diego, so it's likely to be while it's at San Diego. Uh, but if I'm being honest, I'm a little bit unsure whether it might be this year or next. Depends on factors I can't really talk about, basically. It depends what me and the missus are doing, whether we've got anything booked ourselves and one or two other things as well. But yeah, I'd like to go at some point. I'm not going to know until much nearer the time, though. Uh, separately to that, I, uh, I've got, I've got a couple of things, a couple of irons in the fire for this year. Not really Daisy related, but break related, which may or may not happen as well. So I, I may not have the available time. Is watching here or on YouTube better? Outcast, uh, the actual video quality is better on YouTube, but a lot of people watch the Twitch streams because... They've been in the chat for years. They're kind of used to the stream on Twitch. And the culture between Twitch and YouTube is different. There are pros and cons to both. Uh, before YouTube pipes up, I'm not suggesting one is better than the other. But everyone on YouTube thinks Twitch is sick shit. Everyone on... Uh, everyone on Twitch mostly thinks the same about YouTube. And, and so the world continues. Just like everyone from Boston thinks that New York is shit. And everyone from New York thinks Boston is shit. I would imagine. There's a rough guess. Same kind of thing. The reality is they're all shit. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot for the support, guys. Diamond Clubs, thank you for the Prime. I hope you're well. Uh, cheers for using your Prime sub on my channel. Both the same. You get ignored in either chat, Kappa. Damn straight. Uh, how you doing, dude? I hope you're good. Thank you very much for the resub. Bartlett, well, thank you for coming in, dude. Appreciate it. Now, something I learned the other day is that a lot of people watch YouTube on their TVs, and I believe if you're watching on a smart TV, YouTube is a bit more easy on the app. A lot more TVs are at work with it properly. Some TVs have the Twitch app, some don't, but it seems to be if you're watching on the telly, you're much more likely to watch on YouTube. Hi Zombani, how you doing? I'm from New York, I love Boston, it's just their sports teams that are shit. Well I hear those Red Sox are pretty decent. I shouldn't really get the sports teams names correct, right? But I hear the Fenway guys have done a... Sorry, Fenway Park, isn't it? I hear FSG have done a great job. Done a great job with the, 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 uh, the, Red, the Boston Redskins. I had to take those names away, didn't they? I think that's probably right. Obviously it's Red Sox, but I like to get the names wrong. Boston Celtics. They wear green. How do I complete Lightkeeper Quest? Johnson, I think you want to be in a... Uh, I think you want to be in a, a Tarkov stream, really. How do you complete the Lightkeeper quest? Well, the Lightkeeper quest in DayZ is to suicide until you can see 10 of your own body. That's how you complete light, Lightkeeper quest in DayZ. You have to have 10 complete full bandages and 10 pieces of fruit that you spawned with, all from your own avatars. But you're not allowed to take any of the fruit or bandages until you've seen the 10 bodies all on the floor. What football team do I support? Liverpool.
You know way too much about US sports. I used to know a lot about sports. Redline. I used to be right... I, I genuinely think I wasn't cut out to be a streamer. I think I was cut out to work in sports, like on, like, radio or, like, I don't know, presenting or whatever. Like, when I was a kid, if I'd have really... If I hadn't have been in such a backwater place with, like, such limited ambitions, I should have had the sense to aspire to do something in sport. Like, I, I've said it before, but when I was 14, 15, I knew so much... I knew the names of every... I knew the names of like the cricketers of all the main main international teams, not just like England, but Sri Lanka and Pakistan and India and Australia and South Africa and the same for the rugby and the same for like any sport you could mention. Like who who was the like world record holder in the women's 110 meters hurdles? I would have known that across almost every sport. I used to fucking love it. Very sad, I know, but I would I just was into it so much. I, w I was I like there's nothing quite so dram dramatic as like proper live sport, you know. Real sport is properly drama, and I used to really love it, uh, like live sport, and I, I just don't have the time anymore, but I definitely think I fucked up as a kid. I realised a little bit late, I kind of, my mum was a nurse, and I kind of wanted to be a doctor, I think partly because my mum was a nurse and she'd worked in the NHS and I kind of wanted to do something that helped people, and then I realised I was extraordinarily squeamish, and I scaled that down to wanting to be a physiotherapist because it involved very little blood. Uh, and the idea in my mind was that I wanted to do physiotherapy sporting related, you know, like if I could. But I really should have just thought about more media, I think. It would definitely have been something... If I could go back and speak to my 13-year-old self now, I'd go, get a fucking grip, lad. Get into media. You want to do sports presenting or sports radio. Go. Who do you think will get the Liverpool job if Alonso can't join? Uh, I, I think De Zerbi is Boston. possibly that possibly a shout. Alive. I think De Zerbi is probably like second favourite. <laughs> Logos, well, thank you very much for that info. Cheers for the resub, dude. I played a lot of sport flax. I played everything, but I was more of a trier. I wasn't. I was more of a. I, I, I used to play football. I, I played football for the te the school team, but I was pretty bad. I used to be a participator in almost every sport. I played badminton for the team. I played volleyball for the school. And, but I was, like, just making up the numbers. I wasn't any good. Oh well, they've cooked their chicken. Let's get back to the well. Kempus, yeah. Oh, well, I've always loved gaming, so I do. I d don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful to do this. I was massively a gamer. If I, if I think about the two things I did most as a kid, I, I, well, fishing would be one as well. But I did nearly every sport you could think of, but I wasn't very good at most of them. Uh, I, I used to go fishing all the time. I used to be a massive gamer. I used to, like, I remember playing, uh, like, the first Tomb Raider and completing it through with my sister and my cousin watching me. We would be, we were sitting on the double bed uh, in my in my bedroom and I completed Tomb Raider with a little mini audience, like, talking about it as we went kind of thing, you know. And we used to play games between little, uh, like, me and a few mates used to do, like, little, uh, like, Mario Kart battles and uh, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and stuff, so... I was massively into gaming as well, but it would have been sport, gaming, or or fishing. And I guess I should be very grateful to be doing gaming, really, but I probably, thinking about it, should have done something with sport. Uh, how do you sport store automatic watches on a winder? Chronicles, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't store them on a winder. The only watch I would store on a winder is if I had something that was really fancy, like an annual calendar or a... Uh, a, a, or a perpetual calendar that was automatic. Anything that's a bit of a pain in the ass to set, I might I might think about. But most watches are better off if you let them die and then restart them. My, like winders are a pretty bad idea. They keep the watches permanently charged, which is not so great. Like the, most watches, even if you own one good watch, you might take it off 
perhaps on a Friday night and then not put it on again until Monday morning sometimes or whenever, you know, like it's a good idea to let a watch wind down, sometimes completely die rather than keeping them fully wound and keeping the full the spring fully tight all the time. Nobody that knows anything about watches or services them would ever recommend any of the winders. You shouldn't use them unless you really have to. It's much more, and if you're into if you're into watches, you, you, if you put a watch on and have to set it, kind of alright, you know, like like winding a watch and setting it. It's, it. If you're interested in watches, it's kind of part of it. My first dream was Tomb Raider. Well, it's probably not. I, th I remember both, uh, like in the summer holidays. You know what summer holidays are like. You're all bored. I, I, I would have. I remember playing Premier Manager and taking uh, like a Conference League team to the top division uh, in the game Premier Manager. And I would have done that with a couple of my cousins and well, maybe my sister around and stuff. And we would all kind of make decisions and stuff. But uh, thinking back, it was really bad. But I was the one that mostly played the game. <laughs> I played the game. <laughs> Everyone else just sat around. <laughs> when you retire, will you do a face reveal? Andrew Virus, I've done a face reveal. There is, there's, my face is out there, you know. Do any cars go up in value? Uh, not really beating inflation, Dan. There are some that you can buy. If you can walk into a store right now and buy a brand new Rolex Daytona Steel, you would more than double your money if you sold it that day. But the point is you can't. That's why they cost so much on the secondary market. You can't go and buy one, right? I don't have one. <laughs> but yeah, there are watches that massively cost more than they are. They sell in the shops, but they're so hard to get. You have to spend crazy amounts of money in the shop on other things before you'd get allocated. Thanks for the stream. For less than three, I've been struggling with anxiety a lot recently. And it's nice to have a bit of company with the stream, sometimes smiley face. Ollie, thank you for coming in. Cheers for the support. Call me Rick, thank you for the resub as well. Slingshot, uh, Logos, Allergy, cheers for the support. All of you guys, you're very kind. Uh, voice modding, thank you for the new sub as well. Sorry, I might have missed it, but thank you. But no watch really goes up in value, but you might you might not lose so much, you know, like there aren't many things that you can buy. Like say you bought uh, uh, an Amiga Moon watch today. They're expensive at the moment, they're, like you, you'd be better off buying one that's a year old. But say you bought a one year old one and you paid five grand for it. They're about seven in the shop. So let's just say you managed to get one for five grand. You bought a year old Amiga Moon watch. It still had a four year warranty. If you keep that for 10 years, or let's say you keep it for 20 years, it will be worth more than five grand in 20 years. But you might have had to have it serviced at least once. You'll, you may be in, t in 20 years time, it will be worth, let's say nine grand, you know. It's not an investment, it, it, it's nowhere near an investment. There's many things you should invest your money in that would be way better, but if you did buy that, you'd have owned this thing that you really loved. You'd maybe wore it when you got married, you'd maybe wore it when your first kid was born, you maybe wore it on all your holidays. It's gone with you everywhere, and after 20 years, it's still worth a little bit more than what you paid for it, you know? There aren't many things that you can do that with, but that doesn't make it an investment. <sighs> right, so the server's just restarted. We're just waiting for it to come back up. I don't know if they're doing any mod updates. It's a bit of a weird time for the server to restart, to be honest. Uh, I use OBS Go Sniper. Uh, Streamlabs is fine, but OBS gets a lot more of the uh, it gets a lot more of the plugins and things. A, a lot more third-party stuff is made for OBS. If you want to have it from Streamlabs, you've got to wait till Streamlabs do it. Whereas with OBS, if there's going to be new features, they get them earlier. Like you could multi-stream on OBS way before you could do it on Streamlabs, like in a better way with better quality. Ever. No, I logged out geared on, on Arteria. We're going to do more of that noise, later. Every time you climax, what noise would it be? I do make a noise every time I climax. This is the noise I make. I may make this noise. Yes! Finish first of the game. Get in there! 177 nil! Come on! <laughs> That's the noise I make. <laughs> Uh, cheers for the support, Squidgy. 
What are my PC specs? Uh, there isn't really anywhere to see that on YouTube. Uh, 4090 graphics card, 13900K, lots and lots of gigabytes of RAM and other things. Great, eight, very nice. Uh, I think they've come down a bit, dude. If it's a black dial one, you might only get your money back now. I think they're more than 7.2 now, by the way. I, th I think the, the Explorer 2 is about 8-ish. Could be wrong. I haven't checked in ages. I don't check very often, but the prices go up quite often. But we're bored while we're waiting. So uh, The white one sells a bit above. The black one sells... I actually think I should be a Wox dealer, to be honest, as well. <laughs> but like, if you've got a black dial one, you'll probably get your money back. If you've got a white dial one, I suspect you'd make a little bit of profit. That would be my take, anyway. Yeah, they're eight and a half grand now, dude. So the, the, the new Explorer 2 is eight and a half K. Now you've got, if it's Polar, then very nice. Yeah, the, the Polar one sells a bit above. Uh, if, if they're selling on Chrono 24 for about 10, you can realistically call that about eight, like nine, nine and a half. Because what people ask for on Chrono 24 is not what they sell for. But nonetheless, the Polar does sell a bit above retail. I really like it, actually. I think it's one of the best steel watches that Rolex make. I think that's a really good choice. Machiavelli, thanks for the 74 months, dude. Hope you're good. Thank you. The jiggle bites, yeah, that, that, that's the main issue. I don't know what's gone on there. Try again. The server wasn't showing on the list for me. It is now, so I, I should be able to get back in. Why do some streamers not upgrade to 1440p? Uh... Dan, maybe some people aren't even playing at 1440p, possibly. Uh, on top of that, it, it might be they don't have the internet to stream at 1440. Maybe they don't have the bandwidth. Maybe they're not in a neighbor area where they've got full fiber, so they can't physically have the bit rate to enable it. There's a lot of things that can bottleneck Ooh. you to not do to 1440, but no, 1440 isn't 4K. 4K is... 1080p is, is kind of standard resolution. 1440 is... 2 million pixies and 4K is 4 million pixies. Hey, hope you're well. I'm watching on YouTube just for the quality. Chatting in Twitch. TRMZ love, TRMZ love. Under City, I've done a little bit of Deerile since the update. I will do more. Uh, I do need to do a bit more Deerile, but I'll, I'm kind of saving it for when it feels right. Maybe I'm playing with Ish on Friday. We haven't talked about what map we're going to do. Maybe we'll do Deerile. I, I don't really know. Hi Kojo, uh, seems late now for Happy New Year's, but Happy New Year, dude. <laughs> Imagine in the future when you're no, no longer playing DayZ. Well, it'll happen one day. DayZ 2. DayZ 2, dude. That'll be the that'll be what I'll be playing. Remember when they uh, they were on point six two for eighteen months, Sunny? That's what I'll be saying. I'll be playing Daisy 2, it'll come out on early access, and it'll be three years in, and there's only 1,500 people left playing the game. And and everyone will be going, why are you playing this shit, you absolute fucking idiot? What are you playing Daisy 2 for? Didn't you know that Dead Matter 3 is coming out? I'll be like, fucking hell, I've been here before. Just what I wanted. I want to get in your clobber. Do all zombies scream when they spot you? Just like women do, yeah. <laughs> they normally scream and run away. <laughs> when do you think Daisy 2 will be ready? We don't even know Daisy 2 is being made, dude. So I, it, it, it's all guesswork. But I wouldn't think it will be a... I would love the announcement that they're going to make. There's going to be an announcement that's going to be a big deal for the game this year. I would really love that announcement to be that Daisy 2 is coming within a year. I don't think that's what the announcement will be, I'm afraid. I wish it would. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I think personally, I'd love it to come soon, but I think it'll be about three or four years away if, if there is one. And I believe there will be one one day.
One sec. That's how it works with those kinds of watches, Jambon. You have to... Uh, I, I, I personally would only go in once and then wait and then if they don't get back to me then fuck them kind of thing, but... If you want to get something like that, you have to go on a wait list, and the wait list is kind of bollocks. It's whether they like you or not. If they believe that you're a legit person and is likely to buy other things, you might get something that you've asked for. It's like it in so many things. My missus was telling me about fucking Hermes bags, right? Now, she doesn't want a Hermes bag. She wasn't dropping hints about Hermes bags. They're about ten fucking grand as far as I know. But apparently with Hermes bags, if you've never bought from them before, you go in and you ask for... You might say, I really want, I don't know, a Hermes bikini. Three shots taken, three shots hit. Thank you very much. It's a shame I can't use the leather sewing kit. Yeah, so l just back to where where I was before for a second, right? You you you, uh, you go in and you say you want a, a Hermes Birkin, not a bikini, bikini. I know I know the proper name, right? You might say you want a Hermes Birkin and you want one in whatever colours they do. I've no clue, but you won't get one of those. They will decide whether you can buy anything or not, and then they will tell you what you can have, and you'll just have to buy whatever they offer you, you know, like, you could say you want a particular shaped bag, and they come out with something that's tiny and fluorescent fucking green, and you can either have that or nothing. It, like, the only way to get the bag you actually want is to buy a shitload of other things that aren't bags, so if you spend five or six grand on a load of bollocks that you don't want, then maybe they'll sell, me, sell you the bag that they actually do want you to have. And in the world of true luxury, if you're a peasant like most mostly like well like me but most of us are like all regular people that wouldn't be going into Hermes spending 200 grand a year on fucking luxury leather goods right but if you're just a regular person that wants one you're fucked you can never have it you know not quite why you'd want one is another story but that's not the point is it you know they just won't let you have it if they only sell to the fucking super rich fucking elite and if you're not one of them then fuck off basically <laughs> here's the way it works Sounds a bit like carries. Yeah, but they, they will only sell to you if they can be bothered to stop talking to each other about football. Total from your charity stream? Keep up the great content. It was something like 67,800 was the total on, on the fundraiser, plus uh, gift aid on top, which adds more onto it. I have to say, that was remarkably calm. I really genuinely believed I was going to hit those shots, you know, like, and then I just hit them. Which I think is kind of cool. I just thought, well, I'll just kill him then. And then all of the bullets went into the dude and he fell down dead. I quite like that. I should do that more. His gun jammed, which may have helped me a touch. Hi, Paul. I'm trying to get better at Livonia. I started in Graben, which is northeast part of map, and made my way to Rotka, having trouble finding good military loot. Any good areas in tier three? Good luck, dude. Uh, good luck. It's it's tough. Looting on on that map is tough. Uh, if if I'm in Grabin, I tend to go like Grabin Sitnik down to Giralto, and then I go to Kulno because there's a lot of houses around Kulno that have got military loot in them. There's even though it's not a military uh, base, there's military loot in the broken buildings at Kulno. It's a really good spot. It's quite worth going. So I tend to go. Grabbing Sicknick, Giralto, Kulno, and then usually I try and find the uh, shooting range, which is a high tier military loot. The, the military loot, top tier military loot on regular Livonia is really hard to find. It can be a real ball lake. The military bases on Livonia are not like military bases on, Chir on Chernerus. Like, like Lembork, for example, has got a military base. There's fuck all loot there, but you go to Carlin, which is very close by, and check all the roofs there, you might find SKSs and UMPs in the town. It's really weird. But I like Livonia, but the best loot, if you want the best loot, Swarog military base, Palana town has military loot, and then try and get into the bunker in, in, uh, in the southwest corner of the map if you can. T 
T-R-M-Z-N-U-R-S-E. Uh, first trillionaire. Fucking hell. Trillionaire, that's insane. I, I, I can't stand, like, coming back to that thing, like, if I go in a shop that sells, like, uh, like, I go in some fancy watch shops sometimes. I never look like I should be in them. And I normally don't buy anything, to be fair. That's very much the case, but I get really self-conscious in places like that. I hate it, you know. I, like, if I go, like, I got my missus a Louis Vuitton bag for Christmas. It was a very nice bag. It wasn't cheap, quite expensive, right? But I had to go in the shop and exchange it for the right one because I picked the wrong fucking colour. I, I, stupidly, I picked the colour that I thought she wanted and I got, there was a choice of three and I picked one and it was not the one she wanted. So I had to, but I hate going in shops like that. I shouldn't. I shouldn't feel self-conscious, but I do. I, if I go in a place like that, I just feel like I don't belong there. I, can't, I just don't feel like I should be in that shop. And the reality is, and I'm, I, I spent 20 years in retail, right? But the reality is, you're only you're only talking to shop workers. And whilst I'm not trying to look down on shop working, I did it for 20 years. And people that look down their nose at people working in shops are dicks, right? But there are some shops where you feel like the shop... Uh, the, the staff are looking down their nose at you, you know, and that really shouldn't be the case, you know, but I definitely feel there are certain types of place where you get that and, and Rolex ADs are fucking renowned for it, you know, they're like, like, like you go in and say, yeah, I'd really like to buy a Rolex Samariner, please, and then they chortle to themselves and then send you on your way, you know, like. When we're in Italy, the security out the front, etc. All of those shops, I just have no interest. I understand that red line. There are some stores that are highly likely to... Like, if it's like, I don't know, AP, you know. If each watch is 100 grand, then they tend to have to have security. Otherwise, they're not allowed to be there, kind of thing, you know. But when it's more like... Uh, like, you have to queue to get into Pandora shops in the UK at Christmas, for example. Like, fuck that. Uh, fish nasty. I don't think so, no. Do you feel like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman? No. That's a really famous scene. My missus brought that up this morning, actually. My missus, uh... This, my missus sold some boots on eBay. Uh, for... Uh, 85 quid. And she paid a tenner for them. But she bought some boots for a tenner and she sold them for 85 quid. And she was just going to put... She, she, she mentioned about how she'd... They were LK Bennett. And then she, she mentioned the Pretty Woman thing. Said that she'd been into an LK Bennett store looking at shoes. And then ended up leaving because she felt like Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman. But that's that's the point, Grey Tape. Like, I, to be fair, just coming back... Like, there are some really good ADs. There's some really good salespeople. And, like, I have somebody that I know that works in a deal in a dealer that actually occasionally watches this stream there are some really really good ones but there are some awful if you walk into a random one there are some awful experiences out there you know and that's the case for anything really Jambon yeah she does she she does she she doesn't do it crazily so uh, and in, anything if she makes too much profit obviously it has to be declared as well so he tries to do it as like more of a like a little bit of a hobby more than anything else. But occasionally something like jumps out of her and she she sells it on. DGE, when you when you're at the level you're saying don't buy it just because they say the stuff is good doesn't mean it is. You're right, but it doesn't matter what the the staff say. There's a market for these things. So, it, like I was talking about fucking Hermes bags. Now I'm no I don't know anything about the bags. I don't know what a Birkin looks like. I know it's a bag, but I don't even I wouldn't know one if I had one, you know. And I definitely don't. <laughs> but so I don't know anything about them. But if you can buy the right bag in the store, you can sell it the next day for a huge profit, dude. So. It doesn't matter whether the salespeople say they're good or not. The reason they're so protective over it is they don't want people coming in, buying it from them, and then selling it the next day for loads of money. They don't want scalpers, you know. Like It happens so much now. It happens with trainers, happens with PlayStations when they first released the PS5, and so on. You know? like, the reason they're so fucking 
arsey about it is they don't want anyone coming off the street and making a quick five grand. They don't want that. How is all going today? And so they, they get really snooty and they only sell to people they know. It becomes like a fucking club that nobody's in. I don't know if that is true. Well, it is true, DGE. Uh, there are there are certain things out there that are intentionally rare. The whole point of like uber luxury is that you maintain a degree of rareness so that more people want the item than can have it. And then it maintains the value in the brand. I, a, a, example for watches, right? You go and buy a, an a AP15202, right? I, I don't even know what they cost because I'll never buy one. But I'm guessing they're about 25 to 30 grand and they sell for 50 grand. You know, if you can buy one, that's that's a Royal Oak. If, if you can go and buy a Rolex Daytona, I think they're about 12 or 13 grand. They sell for about 25 to 30, you know? That's a fact. That's not made up. It's a fact. Because there are fucking sheeple that are desperate for it and they won't wait to try and buy one in a shop, which because they just physically can't. They'll pay more than twice the value of it to own one. Doesn't make it right, but it's the way it is, dude. That that, that exists. Meza, that's exactly right, yeah. It's kind of shit, though, isn't it? All that stuff, like... It's just shit. Like... I, it's one thing I notice when I go around London, you know, like... The more expensive the, that people's clothes are, the s more stupid they tend to look. And maybe that's because I wear shit clothes and normal clothes like normal people do, but... I see someone that looks to be wearing, like, a thousand pound trainers. They look fucking awful. Like, like, like the really expensive designer stuff usually looks horrendous. Occasionally, I get an advert come up on Instagram and it's for Gucci. And the people that are dressed in Gucci stuff look like My they've just got stuff from the fucking Lost Property Rolex box. They're, 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 they're shocking. <laughs> I have got a, I have got a can opener. Like, they look ridiculous. Like, I, if you ever see anyone walking around like, what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> what are you doing with your life looking like that? But that's what they do, you know? Well, fair enough, I suppose, but... Paladin, Scoped Rat, thank you so much for the support. Really, really appreciate it. Cheers for the resubs. Dark Vet, thank you very much. Original Grizzly and Fancy Tickler, cheers for the support, guys. Benjamin, there's a Jacob and Co. watch with a with a roulette wheel. It's kind of crazy though. Like. Work spent 1,000 on LV trainers. They look awful as he split, <laughs> spilled, spilled beans on them. Hey, big dog, I'm back, and you still owe me a green flag from yesterday. Sorry about that, Brock. Yeah, uh, I, I should have gone back, shouldn't I? <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Norwegian, thank you very much. Cheers for the support. Paladin, thank you. One thing I know, and this is this is just talking about me, but so, someone's just said about the kid at work with his thousand pound trainers, right? The only time in my life where I'd have thought it was reasonable to spend a thousand pounds on trainers was when I had no money. I used to work in a shop. I remember my take-home pay after tax was less than a thousand pounds a month. I used to earn something like eight, nine hundred pounds a month after tax. That's what I earned as my take-home pay for a, for a month's wage. And I used to go out. I, I used to live with my mum. I didn't pay any rent. I, I used to contribute next to fuck all. A handful of pounds once every couple of months to order food shopping or something, but really nothing, to be honest. So but what I earned, I kept, and, but I had no bills, and I used to go out living with my mum with no savings and no future, and I'd go out wearing, like, Armani or Versace jeans and tops and Ralph Lauren and, like, whatever else. Like, maybe not the most expensive brands, but going out in a, in a jumper made by Iceberg that was 230 quid 
when that was more than a week's wages for you was ridiculous. But I used to do shit like that, you know. <laughs> like I'd go out, I'd, I'd be wearing maybe five or six hundred pounds worth of clothes in 1999. Uh, and then I'd go and play pool wearing like crazy expensive stuff. And in that pool team were like accountants and people that owned their own like uh, electricity company. Like they owned their own like they were electricians, but they'd started their own business. There was people earning decent money, and there's me, the lowest hourly rate, wearing the fanciest swagger whilst uh, sweat fanciest clobber while I'm living with my mum and dad. And the reality is, with the kid that spent his thousand pounds on trainers, is that he probably doesn't have any bills. <laughs> it just. Uh, it probably doesn't have any bills or any value of the money he's had to earn to get it. Certainly from my perspective. And that's the way it is. Update is released, not as far as I'm away. Why do you wait for the zombies to scream? Gollum, I don't wait for them to scream. I just kill them when I kill them. I, I'm not trying to stealth them. See, see, I don't know if it was you that's saying why do they scream, but the zombies aggro onto you, so if you walk around and they hear you, they lock onto you and then they scream and they come and chase you, you know, but I, I'm not really that bothered about the zombies right now. I'll just kill them when they get near me and that'll be that kind of thing, you know, so they're not that huge of a threat if you're only dealing with them one at a time. So I'm just kind of handling them when, as they as they come up, basically. I should have kept the other mag. I don't know why I didn't. Fucked up there. Let me get rid of that. Aritos, I, I kind of see your point. In circumstances like that, yep, no, no, no shit and no future. You kind of have to do what makes you feel a bit better, even if completely stupid. I can understand that, and that's probably what I was doing. I was spending all of my money on clothes and alcohol, and I was probably spending slightly more per month than I earned. You know, and I think that's where a lot of people's problems come is from is that you feel like you're in a cul-de-sac with nowhere to go, so you just have fun with the little bit of money that you make and fuck, fuck the future. But after five years have passed, there could have been a little bit of future if you hadn't just wasted the last five years, you know? Like, it, it takes... It's incredibly hard to get out of that, you know? It's easy to think you're having a great time when you're 22, but all of a sudden you're, you're then 28, and most of the other people in the pub that used to be tw 22 with you have moved on. And you're the, the oldest swinger in town all of a sudden. You know? And all you've done is piss all your money down the toilet in the pub. Now, I didn't do that. I uh, I kind of moved out, got married, and bought, bought a house with my now ex-wife at about 25-ish. But up until then, I'd kinda, like, I didn't have any money. I should have had some savings by then, but I didn't because I'd spent it all on alcohol and fancy clothes. I didn't have any deposit for a house. We bought a house that cost 200 grand and we got a 5% uh, deposit because it was a new build. We got the deposit for free. So we got a 190 grand mortgage on a 200 grand house. Do I still have these fancy clothes? My missus sold some of them on eBay. Uh, she sold like that. I had some of the Versace jeans and whatnot. They like old retro clothes like that have decent value, so she sold uh, sold some of them on eBay. Pack. Well, to be fair, dude, when I moved in with my ex-wife, I earned I earned at the time roughly twenty five grand a year, and she earned fifty grand a year. So uh, I wasn't wasting any money on my ex-wife. <laughs> Damn, but I don't remember. I, I, it was like jeans made by Versace when I was buying them were about 100 to 150 quid, but that was that was then. You can use a broom as a torch, Zombani, but it will also give you the plus symbol as well, so it warms you up too. Gamer, I completely agree, but the, that's the reality, you know, like, sometimes you're trying to make yourself feel better, and like, going down the pub wearing fancy clothes and looking really smart, and at least, it's kind of like peacocking to some extent, but 
it's making yourself feel better. But when you get home and then you wake up the next day and you're in your your bedroom at your mum's house. I keep saying my mum's, not my mum and dad's, but at my mum and dad's house. Uh, maybe the reality's a little bit depressing, but then I used to go out four nights a week and I just used to like enjoy those nights and that was it, you know. But it's very, uh, very short-sighted. I regret it now, but if I hadn't done all of those things, I probably wouldn't be here, would I, you know? Hundred plus centimetres of snow, holy shit. Statistics, I'm always on, on high pop servers, you know that dude. I just got shot at in uh, Berezino and killed the dude with a repeater. Zomb, I think that's true as well. I think that's a very good Zomb, Barney. If you don't make mistakes like that, like, you can't be told everything, can you? That's something that, as a parent, I really struggle with, you know. I, I want to try and help my kids make the right choice all the time, and that's bad, you know. So I do try to back off and let them make mistakes, but... It's a lot easier to, to learn who you are by fucking up here and there, you know. Nobody gets everything right. If you don't make mistakes, you don't grow as a person, do you, really? There's no ETA outcast. Uh, uh, Muller, not Muller, sorry, I've just read a question about Muller as well. There's no there's no ETA on Lights Out. Uh, Cooper messaged me overnight. He's, he's downloaded all the footage and he started editing it, but... We're not sure if it's going to be two videos or one video. So if it's one video, there may or may not be one out of the weekend. If it's two videos, it'll definitely be two weeks from now. Bristow, yeah. I think that's that's true. Uh, CJ, that's a very confusing question. <laughs> H1Z1 is a standalone game. Uh, that kind of got shit canned. It was a survival game that turned into a like a battle royale game. Uh, I, I haven't got a team up booked with Muller and Sour yet quick, to answer that question. And still having fun. I'm sure there'll be one Don't at some point soon. Uh, the team-up for this week is on Friday with Ish, but i am not uh, got any other team-ups booked at the moment. I thought people th wear things that make them happy every time they look at them. I don't. I've, I have, like, I lost quite a bit of weight last year. I bought some, some slightly nicer clothes, so I'm not a complete fucking layabout, but I, I, I don't really wear things to make me happy, you know? I... Occasionally trainers do. I've got I've got a pair of green Nike Air Max that I love so much uh, much I bought another pair for when they were out. But I very rarely do shit like that. Like not much makes me happy clothes wise. As long as I'm as long as I'm warm and I don't look like my bollocks are hanging out the bottom of my shorts, I'm kind of happy enough. I don't give a fuck. I don't dre I don't get any joy from clothes per se. It doesn't make me happy whether I've got a new pair of jeans on or a ten year old pair. I couldn't give a shit. D different things make different people happy, don't they? Hey. I know, it's nice to look smart for the right occasion, but I don't go to those kind of things very often. You know, like I've got one suit to my name that kind of vaguely fits me now. It's a bit big, but I, I when I left my last job I, I used to wear a suit every day for work you know like as soon as you don't have to wear a suit every day for work guess what you don't like wearing suits you never wear them again you know like I'd only wear a suit if it's for like a wedding or a funeral or something like that beyond that I don't want to wear one ever Serif well GG Game of Zero, you're going the patches route, eh? They have phases where they're in, right? That's okay. Dark vet, I've never found my own flag. No, well, not true. I found the armbands. I've never found the actual flag. 
I found the armbands a couple of times, but I've never seen the flag. But you never know, today might be the day. Very nice, Riley. GG. I did 757 just randomly in a bush next to a hunting stand. Where somebody else would find the flag and cut them up. You know, N, thank you so much for the support. Do appreciate it. Thank you. Panic Mad Sheep, thank you for the resub. Rogue in Disguise and Tyler, thank you for the follows on YouTube. Uh, who else have we got? Nefret, thank you for the Prime. Regular Andy, uh, Menstrual Krampus, thank you for the resubs. <laughs> Sounded cool. A bit loud. prefer being nude, but the cops keep bothering me. Yeah, they'll do that, won't they? I'm gonna quickly, I need to quickly just log out and fuck about with something for a sec. Eggonator, I'd only do 12 hours on a Monday, so there won't be a 12 hour stream today. I do 12 hours on a Monday, it just works. I, I, my Sunday streams are normally a little bit less, so I do about 5 or 6 hours normally on a Sunday. Then I do a 12 on a Monday and then 6 to 8 hours every other day. Right, just getting back into the server. Where is the summer, summer camp? It's next to Elm Street. So it's, if you're in Kelm, you turn towards the big hill that's kind of going inland. Big hill to the west of Kelm town. That hill is called Clem, just to confuse you. And on the south side of Clem Hill, there is a summer camp. So the easiest way to find it, if you, if you arrive in Kelm, the most southerly side, there is a red brick house and a well. And next to that is a road, and that road leads straight to the summer camp. Is there any way to play with you or is the line too long? Justin, I, I, the only way to play with me, I don't try to schedule this, it, the only way I play with people is to randomly meet people in the servers I'm in, dude. I, uh, I'm in position one in the server, by the way, guys. I'll get in in a sec. But I, I, don't, I don't arrange team-ups with viewers because it literally would, there'd be no way to not, I like that, have like literally a never-ending queue, you know, it just doesn't work. So I, uh, I, uh, I just try to play randomly. I either play with somebody I know that's a friend, like I'm playing with uh, Ish on Friday, or I uh, I just low wolf and meet people randomly in the game. You know, it's just a much better way to keep it kind of randomly interesting. Uh, lawyering tuner, thank you. It's been great finding the stream, being such a comfort. Thanks for coming in. Hope you're well. Hi Norma Jean, how you doing? Hi Dan, hope you're good as well, dude. Let me uh, let me use one of my leather kits to fix this vest up. Do you have back hair? I was thinking for a second what that what that reference to. 
Yeah, I do have back hair, yeah. I'm not hairy like a gorilla, though. But there's a, I have a little bit of back hair. What an interesting question. I've never, I've never taken it upon myself to wax my back or shave my back, no. I'm just about cope with my face. <laughs> uh, I'm not posting any pictures, just so you know. Uh, cool one. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Thank you. Is CZK Czechoslovakian krona? I'm trying to learn all the currencies. I'm, this uh, super chat thing is enabling me to learn about currencies. Cheers for the support, dude. I'm not. I'm not trying to learn the currencies in terms of what the the exchange rates are. I don't give a shit about that. But it's kind of cool to know what countries have what money. Did I say Czechoslovakia? I meant Czech. I, yeah, as in Czech Republic. But Czechoslovakia doesn't really exist anymore, does it? Czech crown. Yeah. Czechoslovakia is no more, isn't it? You know, they, that, that's not, not that's not right. But that's just showing my age, I guess. I'm going to Salon on my holiday. Why am I streaming Friday? Because I missed Hi, uh, I missed Sunday. So. If I'm being honest, I, I was a bit knackered on Sunday, but mainly Liverpool were on the telly, so I chose to miss Sunday's stream and then uh, stream Friday instead because I wanted to watch the Arsenal-Liverpool game. In reality, naturally, I wish I'd just streamed now. Return of the King, yeah, definitely not. Do I have a favourite place to visit in the United States? I've only been Bristow to... Uh, at Vegas and, Amer and New, New, New York so between the two places I visited my favorite of the two was New York <laughs> uh, but I don't have a favorite I've only been a couple of times super squishy thank you for the support dude first time catching you live I appreciate it thank you for the super chat dude why is that I, I don't I, I think Vegas is a, I don't really like the New York is just a city that's gradually grown over the years Whereas Vegas just feels like a, a, like an artificial place planted in the desert for fun, which is great. That's exactly what it is, right? But I don't like. I never. I have no. I, I'm sorry if you live there and you really love this place. I'm about to mention, but for the same reason, I've not really got any grand designs to visit Dubai. The the places that feel like they've been artificially created specifically for tourism or growth or whatever. I, I, I struggle with it's a bit like going to First a theme park but it's a city you know Love your content. I'd, I'd rather go somewhere that's got more of a heritage that's kind of great like organically grown uh, rather than somewhere that was created to attract people to it as such did it work out for you in the US like it did for Colin in Love Actually Colin uh, what's his name Colin Frizzle or something It didn't work out for me that way, no. But then I went when I went to New York both times. I went with, I went to New York with my my missus now, and when I went to Vegas, I went with my ex-wife. So I was I was already taken. My name's Colin Frizzle, and I've got a big knob. Yeah, I think it's Frizzle. It might not be. I Dubai actually, I'm sure, is a lovely place. I, I I know I'm I'm being a bit harsh. I've never been there, so it's a bit narrow to judge a place you've never been to. But the kind of gimmicky things, you know, like the world's tallest building or the 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 uh, the islands of sand put into the sea to be in the shape of the earth or to be in the shape of something else, it all just feels a bit fake. I, it's not somewhere I want to go, you know. I'm sure you could go there and have an amazing time. I'm sure I could live there and have an amazing tax-free time. You know, it'd be brilliant. Tax-free living in... I think it'd be great. I bet it's a lovely place to live, but I just... I don't know. I'd rather live in York.
America is an average place. Many other places better to be. And as America's got some amazing places, amazing scenery, amazing areas to visit. But everywhere has got amazing places, you know. That, like, the UK has got cool places, cool cities, cool countryside. Just the same as everywhere else has. But it's whether you've got the energy or the, the, the desire to go and visit those places, you know. Whether it be America or Canada or Mexico or wherever. Like, like just thinking about North America, you know. There's loads of places you could go. Like, like Canada looks amazing, but I, it, it wouldn't rank in my top five places I should visit at the moment, you know. Hi, Substatica. We're doing okay. One dude tried to shoot me with a pistol. I, I done shot him with a Peter. start shadow play after I rejoined. I best do that. Have you ever been to Bamber Castle? Nope. Like, like, it's pretty hard to argue that, like, the Grand Canyon isn't an amazing place to go. One of the natural wonders of the world, you know? That's in America. Niagara Falls is halfway in America. Another, another kind of natural wonder, you know? Then there's loads of other places to visit, you know. Like, like there are plenty of good places to go in America, same as many other, you know. Better be on the lookout for the cops. Yeah. Did you take his last breath from him? Yeah, I keep it in my pocket. <laughs> uh, Cynic, thank you very much for the support. Cynic, maybe. Cynic, thank you very much for the for the super chat. Yeah, CST. I think a lot of people might feel that way, wherever they're from. Most people do distract the the the, the uh, places in their own country. For example, I, I only went anywhere near the uh, Buck Buckingham Palace. I only went anywhere near that a couple of years back. I've never been inside St Paul's Cathedral ever in my life. You know, like I've only ever seen it briefly from the outside once, and that was in 2023. I've never been near St Paul's Cathedral before that ever. You know, like, just to name a couple of famous places. If people were coming for, as tourists to London, they would definitely probably want to go to Buckingham Palace and they'd probably want to go to St. Paul's Cathedral. I've never done those things, you know, like... It's... it's when it's your own country and it's on the news and it's, it's not very exciting in the same way, you know. Like, if you live in New York and there's a film on, it's probably not that big of a deal. But for me, personally, like... Like, for example, when I was walking around New York and I saw that, uh, the building where, I think it's a library, I forget, someone could correct me, but the bit at the end of Ghostbusters 2, that, uh, like, you see the buildings from the films, right? It's cool. I, like, I remember, I'm like, a oh, fucking hell, never mind the actual history of the building, that was in Ghostbusters 2. <laughs> you kind of see them from that and they stand out, but if you live there, you know, they don't mean anything, do they? That's, you already know it. It's like where you live. Uh, I've done Madame Two Swords. I actually can't stand Madame Did you Two take Swords. His last breath from him? Uh, cheers for the super chat once again, dude. Thank you. Yeah, I I think Mad Madame Two Swords is really weird. I I I I don't get the fascination with it. I've done it once as a kid because my family was going, or I might have done it with the school. I can't remember, but like going to see waxwork models of celebrities, like. I'm amazed that it was popular before, like, was, everybody is so celebrity obsessed nowadays. You can see why, you can see why something like a Madame Sue Two Swords might be popular, but who wants to go and see a kind of bang average waxwork model of Elton John or something? Like, what's, what's, I don't get it. I've never understood the fascination with it. Like, I can see pictures of people that are the actual people. That seems more a, 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 a kind of, uh... A realistic version of what they look like than someone's model of them. I, I don't know. Maybe that's, uh, I'm obviously a, just an uber cynic, but I've never really understood Madame Two Swords. It seems like such an inane place to go. My uh, my ex-wife's sister met Madonna in. Uh, the uh, Tower of London. 
Madonna was going around the Tower of London. Uh, my ex-wife's sister was much, much younger. And she was really pretty as a young kid. And she was walking around with her stepdad, I think. And she met Madonna and had like a half an hour chat with Madonna and whatever kid she'd taken. Which was kind of cool. But, like, like meeting a real celebrity might be kind of fun. But seeing a waxwork model, nah, I don't really. Substatic are very cool. Uh, Pedro, thank you. Yeah, I, I don't really give a shit about like like. There's loads of gamers that are playing games since they were a kid. Like my my main consoles when I was a lad were the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo, as it was called in the UK. Right? I didn't have a Master System or a. Uh, Nintendo. I think I had a Nintendo second hand years later and played like Mario 1, 2 and 3, but uh, I, I've, I've been a gamer ever since then. I've had breaks though. I didn't, in the PS2 generation I wasn't a gamer for a long time, so I had a PS1, I got a PS3 for the Blu-ray player and then got back into gaming after a very long break, but uh, I, I don't know. There is a stigma to games, like like video games, like it's there for kids, but the reality is that People have been like doing it since they were a lad. It's it's just it's like a pastime or a hobby, really. It's all good. I don't really get it. There's plenty of people my age. I meet them and like like you say to them, "What do you do?" And I, I'm like, I do Twitch stream. And what's that? And and lots of people don't understand it. That's okay. It was a level in Rainbow Six Burritos. That is cool. <laughs> that's definitely something that's on my uh, to-do list, is to see Chernerus IRL. That is absolutely on my to-do list at some point. I'd like to do that. Uh, Syndra, thank you very much for the support. Were you the guy that I, I met yesterday? I, I bumped into a player yesterday and teamed up briefly on Bitterroot. Was that you? I, I, it, he was called Syndra, I think. It probably wasn't you, but uh, thanks for coming in and thank you for the super chat. I'll have my own wax work soon, Paul. They'll need a lot of wax. <laughs> I can I can envisage Madam Two Sword herself stirring a great big vat of wax, going, "We're gonna need more, Captain." <laughs> That's how she'd talk, I'd imagine. <laughs> uh, Paul, thank you for the resub, and Syndra, thank you very much for the. Uh, for the super chat, dude. I think you're right. I think it was Cinta, not Cinder. I think you're correct. I think I'm. I think I'm uh, misremembering. Wow. Almost two years. Thanks for all the entertainment, Paul. Nock is Norwegian kroner. There's Norwegian kroner, there's Swedish kroner, and there's Danish kroner, and I've learnt all of that because of Super Chats. I thought they were all using Euros. I had no clue. And uh, in Czech, they use uh, the Czech crown, and I didn't know that either. Icelandic Krona. There we go, see? Just spent the entirety of this stream trying to figure out the Prime sub. Well, thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, I didn't kill that zombie. leave. Post haste. Yeah, Krona stands for crown. That makes sense. Carbine is on semi-auto. Yeah, that's because that's all it does. It doesn't do full auto. 
as a prime sub as beneficial as you to a, as a normal sub? Uh, right now, 10, yes. In the future, possibly not, but right now, yes. Twitch are changing it. It's meant to come in from about May the something or other, but they're, they're changing how it works. But for the moment, no. Be cool to see Running Man's running a marathon. No, it wouldn't. I've never been a uh, big dog. No. It's something I would like to do, though. What they're changing about the Prime Subs, Dara and I, they are making it regional, so there's a bigger... You can go and Google it in, in full detail, so at the moment, how it's meant to be is it's the same as a regular sub, so let's say a sub is $5 and you, the streamer gets $2.50. So if somebody subs with Prime, they get $2.50. Wherever that person lives, they get $2.50 for that Prime sub. But in some countries, having Amazon Prime for the year costs next to no money, so they're going to change that. So in some really, uh, like, like off-the-beaten-track countries, per se, for maybe Twitch audiences. So, for example, if somebody subs with Prime and they're from America, I think the streamer's going to get $2.25. If they sub from the UK, they're going to get $1.80. If they sub from Turkey, the streamer's going to get $0.07. <laughs> uh, and it's basically related to how much the Prime cost is in the country where they're subbing from. And then you're getting a portion of that. So they're, they're making it regional. Like every fucking thing else. So it's going to it's gonna be worse for streamers in some ways. But they've done other things to try and make it better for, other, for streamers as well. So all in all, it won't be such a big deal, I don't think. Unless, uh, unless I suddenly grow a massive following in Turkey and they all use their prime subs, you know. That, that, that won't be so great. But. Lewis, emojis are just for the for chat. There, there's no benefit either way, but if they if they help you in the chat, then that's no bad thing. Uh, I I quite like red wine, uh, Michael. I, I don't drink a great deal uh, at the moment. Yeah, that was loud. That sucks because it's a hunting house. It's a house that can. Uh, Spawn rifles. Not today. Is it better for the stream if people just sub through Twitch? Uh, Captain Mitchell, uh, I, I think uh, I think it's any streamer is going to be grateful for a sub, whether it's Prime or otherwise. You know, what's better is is almost irrelevant based re what the streamer is really grateful for is regular viewers and if some sub then great you know like uh I naturally at some point down the line a paying sub is going to make a streamer a little bit more more money than a prime sub but a prime sub is something that some people will be able to do and paying sub is something that that same person won't be able to do you know so they're still very beneficial right so if someone's getting prime and then they get a free sub with it they should use it you know if they go on to use that with me, I'm grateful, you know. Uh, bad Rooster. Well, thanks for coming in. Cheers cheers for that, dude. Gibby, I'm only eating small bits of this at a time because it's unknown. And if you eat it all, it can make you sick. Kempers, the, the colour differences on YouTube is just to how YouTube processes stuff, dude. It's the same stream. It, it, I'm not doing anything different with filters or anything. In fact, it's not possible as far as I know. So uh, whatever makes it look different colour-wise on YouTube is to do with how YouTube processes stuff. Yeah, there's nothing, there's no filters or anything for, for quality. I, there are similar quality settings, but I've got them set the same on YouTube. They are for Twitch, but the bit rating. But 
YouTube uses a codec, a VP9 codec, for uh, compression and whatnot. It's a different codec to Twitch, so it could have different uh, outcomes, you know. Uh, Maury, thank you for the Prime. Fat Juicy Bish, thank you for the Prime. Turtle and Gibby, thank you for the Primes as well. You're all very, very kind. Metascorpion, Ben Ennis, Ramirez, Chris, thank you for the resubs. And Killer Clams, thank you for the bits, dude. Throw cans as a distraction. It'd be kind of interesting. They'd have to despawn quickly, I think. Otherwise, it would be just butter for the server to remember. But I think that would be cool if, like... It's something people have brought up, but if you ate a can of food and then you dropped it on the floor, if it lasted 15 minutes or something, that would be really cool. Like, you, you could track players by the refuse they left behind, you know? I think one of the issues is that the devs have tried to remove meta like that, so you can't do it. So, it used to be that if you found paper on the ground, it was really recent, but now it lasts longer. Uh... Like, they've tried to make drop loot last longer in the server, so you can't meta players' locations from what they drop. I kind of think that's a shame, really. No recoil on that. I was expecting recoil. <laughs> oh, well, that went fairly swimmingly well. I'm not going to bother taking the food. I, I don't want that shit. Sega sounds like an AK from Wish, yeah. I think it sounded pretty good, to be honest. And it's only 9mm, right? It should sound weak as piss, but I think it sounded surprisingly strong. Pop, you don't need to be sorry for being late. Thanks for coming in. Jay Sams, how are you doing, dude? I, I, I don't know the answers to that question. And, and my, my kids, it, it relates to you, so I'll answer. I, I don't have any qualms about you asking that question, dude. It relates to what you're going through, dude. It's all good. Uh, my kids were around six and three-ish. They were coming up to seven and four uh, when we broke up. The little one took it really easily because she was a little bit younger. Uh... Anyone that's got two kids will probably uh, have gone through the same. Like, the one that's older, the dad kind of naturally gravitates towards because the, the baby is literally stuck on the mum for the first six months. To, to some extent, you know, and to put it in really simplistic terms, that's kind of the way it goes. So the older one was very much a daddy's girl, and she, she really struggled for a good long time. And, I, and she may still have struggled with it to this day, for all I know. You know, it's really hard to know. Uh, but the six-year-old really struggled. One of the worst days of my life was the day I told her I was, like, I moved out and I would, it was meant to be a trial. And then my ex told me it was no longer a trial a few weeks later, which I'd already knew. But uh, the day I had to tell my six-year-old that I wasn't coming back was one of the hardest things I've ever done. It was fucking awful. She was like, she just crumbled in, in my arms. It was horrible. I don't even want to talk about it now. And now I'm saying it. It's not good for me, you know. But yeah, it was it was not a fun time. Let's just say that. Uh, but yeah, I, she's certainly doing a lot better now. For example, this weekend she uh, she stayed at mum's because she what she had homework to do. But the reality is, she's fifteen. She stayed at her mum's because she wants to be where she lives. And she, I, she, I've let her, of course. But I had the twelve-year-old this weekend. But the 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 bigger one decided to stay at her mum's because she had a lot of homework to do. And there may be an element of truth in that, but there may also may well be. 
an element of I want to be in my house where I live. I'm kind of cool here. My friends are here and such like. I, I don't want to go 70 miles and spend the weekend with my dad still, you know. Tortilla, it wouldn't be free money, dude. No, you couldn't do that. Because you only get seven cents if, if somebody subs to you. And you're going to pay more than seven cents for Amazon Prime, right? So no, it, that wouldn't work. You'd still be out of pocket. But yeah, I, I'd certainly that there was a noticeable change in them as they kind of got more adjusted to it. They struggled a lot more in the first year than they did thereafter. But it's been pretty hard. Like my my ex-wife remarried and then broke up with the person she remarried with. So she's already divorced again since we split up. You know, and I, that my kids that that was hard. You know, that was really harsh. It's not it, it really not easy thing. You know, like that sucked. Turtle, you don't know the facts, dude. Please don't say shit like that. Like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So I don't know who you think you're talking about there, but that that's not right. Like, me and my ex-wife fell out of love, for sure, and we split up. It was her choice, but I think it was the right choice now in hindsight. But the breakup afterwards, as far as I can tell, was not her choice, you know, so... Uh, I don't think she was particularly happy about it, and the struggle to come to terms with that herself, I believe. Hi Garrett, how you doing? But yeah, uh, that's hard on the kids though. It was it was a challenge at the time. I think they're doing okay. You know, it, it's it is kind of tricky though. It as, as uh, like you said that you were having your kids for ninety percent of the time. That comes with a lot of challenges in terms of your own life. But one of the things that I really struggle with is trying to parent my kids from afar, you know? I, I I have so little control over my own kids, I fucking hate that. I like lots of people be in that, that boat, but like, I, I know my kids are on their phones too late at night. They're allowed their tablets or their phones kind of carte blanche. You know, they're 15 and 12, but they come here, I pick them up on a Friday, and they look fucking knackered. Now, I know they've had a long week at school, but they're not sleeping. They're not going to bed early enough. They're going to bed too late, they're staying on tablets and technology way too late, and I have no fucking say in any of that, right, and when they're here I'm like, right, leave your f I, I make my 15 year old still when she goes to bed, she leaves her phone and a and a, and a Apple Watch downstairs, she doesn't take them in the bedroom with her, you know like, maybe that's a bit harsh, but I want her to fucking sleep when she's here, not spend all night on her phone, you know, I don't need matches I've got a lighter but certainly not, like, the day before you're going to school would that be a good thing. I've done a face reveal fuzzy. My face is about the place, you know. Uh, do they play Daisy? No, they don't play Daisy Shark Media. They're, 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 if they're playing games, it's more like uh, Minecraft or much more likely to be Roblox than anything else. Roblox, whatever. I always say it wrong. They get they take the piss out of the way I say Roblox. <laughs> but they, they're much more likely to play that. Uh, and all the different mods that come with that as a rule, right? They, they don't play much else. They've got a Switch and they occasionally play the odd thing on that. Uh, they might watch my stream. Uh, they don't, and they're at school right now, but they, they don't watch my stream. Uh, Jay Sams, it will get better with time, and your kids are kids are very uh, resilient. They will they will get through it, and you'll get through it together. But it's it's tricky, you know, like I. 
I, I've always tried to not badmouth my ex ever in front of the kids, ever. Like, I won't badmouth a very, like, I didn't just now, I was kind of defending her, she left me, you know, but I try not to, I try not to badmouth my ex ever. I don't think for sure, or this is maybe could be construed as bad mouthing, but I don't think for sure that's always been the case the other way round, let's say. Uh, certainly in the early days, perhaps. Uh, but I think things like that are likely to be remembered. There's a dead zombie there, and there's a base in there. I don't have any bullets for this. Uh, this do I know? There's a dead zombie out the front. And there's a base inside. Could be playing with fire here, really, but... King Daddy, Shilly, thank you very much for the resubs. Captain Mitch, Killer Clams, thank you again, guys. Cheers for the support. I know, like, this is quite, like, open, but to be fair, I, I, I went through the breakup and all of this when I was streaming. I've been a full-time streamer. Like, I went full-time full about four or five months after I broke up with my ex-wife, right? I was streaming that the day she asked me to move out, I streamed that night. And I, I told people about it that night. So it's this is not, none of this is new news. It's it's like old news to me anyway. But like me and my ex were were gradually in the process of breaking up as as things do. But we were we had kids and I would have just stayed together because of the kids. You know, like a lot of people do. Uh, but we we were kind of drifting further apart and whatnot. And I'd started streaming. I was massively in debt. And I I got Twitch partnered in. June of 2016 and I ended up moving out at the end of November the same year 2016 and when I got Twitch partnered I'd said to my ex look I, I know you think this YouTube thing I've been doing for for I've been doing YouTube less than a year I'd been streaming three months and I was Twitch partnered these were big deals Twitch partner was a lot harder to hit then than it is now you know it was much harder to achieve then than now um, and, and I was like I've been Twitch partnered I've only been streaming three months I've not been doing YouTube less than a year this is going to be the way that we dig ourselves out of the problem that we're in, the debt that we're in, the things that are making us unhappy. A lot of which I've caused, to be fair, but nonetheless, this is this is the way out. This is going to work. I believe in it. My ex did not believe in it. She thought I was taking the piss and she thought I was just gaming and having a laugh and that it was all a joke. And that She used to call me streaming geeky stuff. That's her, that was her name for it. And for two years after we split up, the kids would come and say, are you still doing your geeky stuff? Are you still, are you still, like, she, like, like, <laughs> like yeah, uh, but it gradually stopped, and then the kids started understanding, you know, like, that it was, uh, it wasn't a hobby, yeah, and then it kind of changed a bit, but yeah, I, I, I kind of, when I got partnered, I was like, this, this is going to be the, the, like, I was looking at getting Keep like I was running. I was PRM looking at applying to be like a pizza delivery dude for like Domino's or something. I was a regional manager in retail. I didn't earn crazy money, but I had a fairly okay job. Uh, but I was so much in debt, like what I earned was spent on debts and bills and food and whatnot, and there was nothing left over. I was paying like minimum payments on things, and I had an overdraft that was huge and whatnot as well. And I was looking at like how on earth am I ever going to clear out this debt? I'm going to have to get a second job. And try and do something maybe i can do like friday and saturday nights i'll do pizza deliveries or whatever and if i just do that whatever i earn i'll pay off the debt and i'll it'll take me years but I'll, how else am i going to do it you know and then somehow stumbled into streaming and thought well maybe i can do that on the side to help clear the debt instead but she didn't quite see it that way so we saw a dead zombie back there at the house uh I wonder if the guy that or girl that did that might be at the castle. It could possibly be. How does she feel about it now? I don't know, 92 Raiden. We have a, a decent enough relationship because of the kids, but 
it's a bit weird really like like we talk about the kids like if they have a dentist appointment or if there's something at school or whatever we talk mostly via text but that's it anything to do with the kids we talk about completely but like if she, when she picks the kids up on a Sunday she knocks on the door goes and sits in a car I never talk to her I never like on a personal level it's just like we're strangers right like but when when it comes to the kids like that that's when we talk and and to be honest I'm fine with that and that's kind of fine by me Herman, uh, we effectively we have joint custody, but in the reality, if joint custody means we make equal decisions, but I don't get equal time. I get half of every weekend and half of the holidays, but they need to be based somewhere in order to go to school, right? I live in Suffolk. They live in Hunts. Not only said Hunstanton near Huntingdon. They live. They need to be based somewhere. So, in reality, the kids. Unless there's a wider issue, you nearly always end up living with the mum. Because that's like if, if you were to go to courts and such like, it's nearly always it's going to go that way. But that's just the way it is. That's the way it almost always is. And that's the way it was with us. But uh, like, that's one of the, the things things that kind of sucks, right? We, we moved into the house together. We paid half of the mortgage together. I'd lived there 11 years. And then after paying half of the bills for 11 years, I moved out and got one quarter of the, uh, I got a quarter of the, the, uh, the, the amount of money we'd build up into the house. You know, the, what we, what we owned of the house, I got a quarter of it. That's what happens though. <laughs> because she's keeping the kids, the kids need somewhere to live. She's got to pay the mortgage on her own. That's how it is. That's how it is. If you get, let the courts decide, you're not going to get half. Doesn't work that way. Yeah, the equity is the word I was looking for. Thank you. Someone has definitely been in. This is Devil's Castle with a few extras, so uh, it's modded to have some extra bits in it, but it's Devil's Castle. have any shotguns. Okay. I've got four bullets. How did I not find those? I... Idiot. Okay. I'm just going to load the blaze for now, actually. I kind of prefer the blaze. Iron sighted. Not that keen on the savannah sight. Or the tundra sight, for that matter. I decided not to go with the norm. The kids are with me. Well, in in reality, dude, certainly in the UK, it, it you don't get to decide. Like, I don't. I didn't get to decide if 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 we're breaking up and the mum she earned more than I did, by the way. But irrespective of earnings, if the mother wants to keep the kids and wants custody, that's likely to be what happens. That's the way it is. I can't decide any different. I could try to fight it, but I would lose. Hello. Hello. Are you friendly? Yeah, I ain't looking for trouble. I'm, I'm looking for a scope. I don't suppose there's one up there, is there? Um, there is, I've got a scope. What scope do you need? I need a hunting Maybe scope. We can do a little trade. Hunting scope for a, a blaze. Scope. Guess what? I've got a blaze of a hunting scope. <laughs> well, what are you after? I, d I might not have very much, though. That's the trouble. Have you got any ammo for the car 98? I'll trade. Uh, no, I have. Well, I don't think I have. No, I've got. I haven't. I've. I've. I've only really come from the coast. I've. I've got. Uh, I've got a Savannah. You can have a CZ 550. It's ever so good. It's got no mag and no scope, but <laughs> I haven't got anything, dude. Oh, it's all yeah. good. I haven't got anything. I've really. One of them ones. Um. E
Let me think about what it one sec. Let me have a look what I've got. What the fuck are those guys doing in Grishino? That is mad. That's what I thought it might have been you. <laughs> I was hearing shots on the way up here and I thought, what the fuck's all about? And I heard you and I thought it might have been something to do with you. I've got some sticks. Sticks are good, <laughs> right? I've got some meat. Tell you what, yeah, I'll give you the blaze and you give me the thing. Why not? I can get out of here alive. Cause yeah, well, I've got no gun in I've my hand. I've got potato shots. I'm coming up. I've got no gun in right, my mate. hand. Okay. I've got one, but there's no... Um... Are you sure you're you're all right with this trade? You seem to be getting the shitty end of the stick, to be honest. It's not really a trade, is it? I am getting the shitty end of the stick, but I'm... I don't want to die. <laughs> all right, fair enough. I am an absolute stone-cold killer. I can, I can hit the eyes off a bird at 100 paces. Oh shit! Oh, well, yeah, that's just as well. Me, I well, no with about a hundred attempts, maybe I might hit one anyway. You know. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to go to Crescino with my four bullets and shoot those guys. Thank you, dude. Good luck. All right, mate. Love cool, you, bye. bro. I'm not going to go to Crescino. I'm going to die. Fuck. Oh no. He must have heard that conversation as well, right? The fucker in there must have known we were friendly. No, it wasn't him. It was a different guy. He was waiting outside. I think it was a third party. I genuinely don't think it was hit anything to do with that guy. I think it was a third party. Oh, man, that fucking sucks. Maybe could have had my gun in my hand, but because I was with the other dude... Like, it wasn't even a very strong gun. That was like a modded SMG or something. It wasn't that good of a gun, I don't think. Maybe like a Vepper or something like that. But it wasn't even a very geared dude that killed me. But I had no uh, no gun in my hands because I didn't want to appear dangerous to the other dude. This is why we PR said love you, Paul. The honesty is able to get revenge on that guy. We're going to end up with the same fucking spawn. Oh. You think it was an AK-12, do you? I don't know. It sounded weak to me. It could have been an AK-12. It, you might be right, but... It, it, it certainly was a modded gun anyway. God, that fucking sucks. We just put all that time and effort in. Is this? Oh my god. This is cool. I didn't know you could... I guess this is an extra spawn that's been added on the server. I didn't recognise it, and the way... I, obviously, I do recognise it now, but I haven't spawned in Bolotta for years. It, this server's obviously got some extra spawns on it, right? But you can't spawn in Bolotta Town on most maps for, for many reasons, but Bolotta spawn is insanely good. I, don't, I obviously recognise exactly where we are now, but my brain won't cope with a Bolotta spawn, so I hadn't even considered it as a possibility. When I saw the little thing there, I thought maybe we were at Salt Nietzsche, but then I was like, this isn't Salt Nietzsche, that doesn't make sense. That is amazing. <laughs> oh well, shit happens and then you die. It, it's kind of annoying, it was nice to have a friendly encounter, it sucks to get shot by the fucker outside. I don't really want to go to Pavlovo, even if it's not gassed, it won't have any... My experience is the servers that take Pavlovo off of being a gas zone, the loot is always fucking terrible there. Ghost, ghost, you can spawn on the west edge of Cherno, but you can't spawn in Bolotta or, or anywhere more west of it. The most westerly spawn on uh, Cherno is around close to the lighthouse, just on the edge of on Chernerus. By the lighthouse, just on the edge of Chernerus itself, on the western side. So you can run to Bolotta Airfield pretty quick. Is 
DK, thank you for the subbing. Divers, uh, keep on running. Thank you, King Daddy. Thank you, cheers for the support. Lev and Kryptonic, thank you for the resubs as well. Kempers, it doesn't happen often, does it? Not knowing where I am, but it's just because it's a spawn I wasn't expecting, you know? Charlie, you definitely don't get this spawn on official, dude. So I, I don't know if you're playing on console, maybe the server has changed some spawn points, but there's no Bolotta spawn on official. It's not a spawn point. Unless they've added it recently. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they've added it recently, but it, it they might have added it in the last patch and I've just not had it, but it, it hasn't been a spawn point for years unless it was added in the most recent patch. Maybe it has, and I've just not been lucky. But that's if they've added, if they've added Bellotta as a spawn, that's kind of cool, you know. But it, it certainly wasn't one until very recently. It's cool if it is, though. That's incredibly good because it's a very good spawn to have. I'd love to get this spawn on official. It almost wake, makes the death kind of interesting now, and we had. We had reasonable loot and a bit of a chance. I wish I'd got my blaze in my hands. Now, I might have still died, but I certainly would have had a better chance if I had the gun in my hands, wouldn't I? Mongolo, that, that's, what I'm, that's what people are saying. So, uh, it, maybe they've added them recently, but there hasn't been Bolotta spawns for years. Uh, but they may have added them in recent patches. They have changed the spawn system on the last patch, haven't they? So... Maybe they added a couple of new spawns that I've just not had, and that's great, you know, GG if they have. Why do I never play official? The last four times I died on official, Callum, was to hackers. So I... or cheaters, if you want to call them that, but... I, I, I do a play official every now and then, but I don't advertise it if I'm on official, but... Uh, you get cheaters everywhere, but I, there are way, many, many more on, on official. I tend to get geared fairly well when I play on official servers. I tend to find gear. I, I've had SVDs, fouls, DMRs relatively easily on official most of the time I play. I tend to get a decent gun. As soon as you're geared, you get killed by a hacker. Like The last time I, I played official, I was on official Chernerus in December. I was a new spawn. And then somebody killed themselves in a sandbag compound and left a DMR there. They did that on purpose. They killed themselves and left a DMR in the very next building that I was about to go to. I picked up the DMR and then I shot it, ruined it, and then moved on. And I did that because it felt like it had been left specifically for me. And then about five minutes down the road, I got killed by a cheater. In other words, a cheater had killed somebody with a DMR, gone in front of me to try and leave me the DMR, and then when I didn't take it, they killed me. So, yeah, I, I, that's why I don't play official. <laughs> the very last time I played official, that was it, December. Less than three. Uh, the official isn't absolutely riddled with cheaters. You know, being a streamer, maybe I'm a little bit more likely to see it. But... Certainly, if you're playing official on PC, try to resist the temptation of the very best guns. If you've got an Org AX or an M4 or an SVD or a FAL, something that really makes you stand out as geared, you're, more, you're much more likely to die in a really weird way. Like, half an hour after you've got an Org AX, you get shot in the back by a gun that makes no sound, and there's nowhere there you can be being shot at. You're in the middle of a forest on the edge of, like, running up a hill. And it feels like you're getting shot by something suppressed from a kilometre away, and then you're dead. Rinse, repeat. That's just kind of what happens. Uh... J Sams, well I hope you get get on okay, dude. I'm sure you will. And GG, I hope hope you and the kids are okay.
It was close to here, Captain. I got killed along this road. I think that's right, yeah. Or just in the forest, the other side of the house, yeah. So I, they dropped it in the sandbag compound at Bolotta Airfield. And when I ruined the DMR rather than keep it, I got killed along here somewhere just a few minutes later. Cheers, ten-legged worm. Hope you're good. Have a good rest of the day. Run back to the castle 757. It's not worth it, dude. It's such a long run. If you're playing on more of a survival-based server, it's actually a real ball ache to just run to run to Devil's Castle. Uh, it, it could take me the best part of an hour to get there, by which time the bodies have despawned. Even if I got an absolutely red-letter life and found three packets of rice and drank it a well and ran straight there, what did I actually have? I had a I had a blaze and four bullets, you know, and the guy that killed me will have looted me, so that that'll be gone, you know. I didn't have anything that's worth the journey. I'd rather just go and find better loot. Like it, let's say it takes me an hour and I end up with a repeater and no, maybe I end up with that nine mil SMG. I found that in fucking Berezino, you know. I could find something better than that in the next half an hour anyway, you know. So I, I'm not, I don't see the point. If I was really geared and I knew there was many dead people there, it would feel worth it. But given that I wasn't really geared and I'm going to get looted and I'm at the bottom of the stairs of a very high traffic area, it doesn't seem worth the bother. It's not hackers that ruined the game, it's the game designer that sold the hacks for the money that ruined it. Well, that that's the hacker, Langdon. <laughs> the, the actual real hacker as such is the one that, that is selling the coding to the twats that buy it, right? Not the person that's doing it. That, that's not a game designer, That that's, that's someone that's actually likely a very smart person that recodes the game and sells those codes, you know? Like, that's the cheater. It's nothing to do with a game designer, though, right? It's like... Someone profiteering, selling the cheeks. I've missed a hunting stand, I think. But no, I got a Zagorki bar out of it, maybe. I don't remember. Let's just go this way. Yeah, there is a deer stand in the trees, Nate. Uh, that's what I was looking for, but I was reading the chat. I must have ran past it while I was, but I'm not going back. I was further along than I realised, so I've missed a deer stand. I certainly agree with that, Substatica. Like, whoever's buying them is equally to blame for it happening, you know. If nobody bought uh, cheats for video games, there wouldn't be any cheats sold, would there? You know, it's a chicken and egg thing. So, like, if if, uh, if there was no market for it, nobody would sell it, would they? Because they wouldn't have any customers. I think I, certainly the people doing the actual coding are much more to blame. If you can catch them, it solves the problem. But if then nobody bought them, then that would also solve the problem, wouldn't it? Well, Rolex is a legitimate product, Lind. I'm struggling to compare that, you know. Maybe you could compare it to, like, a fake or something. But anything that's, like... Obviously, if nobody bought them, then they wouldn't exist. But they're actually... They're, they make sense, right? It's not... Not a legitimate product to cheat for a video game, is it? <laughs> uh, the back seat in getting old. No, I, I just get a bigger back seat as the years go on. Johnny, thank you for the bits. Thank you for providing my entertainment while working. I hope you have a good day. Uh, Nim, I, I certainly think they used to... I do think they're actively involved in it now, and by the looks of it, the, the DayZ team is getting bigger. But there used to be 60 to 80 people working on DayZ years ago, and I think they had more capacity to try and directly stop the cheats from working, you know. There's been times in the past when DayZ was early access where they, would, they seemed to be only focused on closing down the, the cheats for a while. 
I don't feel like that's the case now. They seem more reliant on Battle Eye than, than before. But they do still work on it, and they're trying to... I know they, they help to, to try and catch the cheaters. They did last year and the year before, but maybe we might see more of a targeted effort on stuff like that if the team gets a bit bigger again, perhaps. They say Daisy is just super easy to treat. Russell, that might be true, but every game is super easy to cheat. They're, like, there's a, a whole fucking raft of cheaters on CSGO or Tarkov or whatever. If there's a game with players playing it, there seems to be cheats cheating in it, you know, unfortunately. It's just an unfortunate part of gaming, isn't it? But I'm sure lots of people have seen the wiggling video on Tarkov, you know? Like, I'm not trying to throw Tarkov under the buff, but I don't think it has any issue much greater than DayZ does, potentially, but it's not just DayZ, it's nearly every game, dude. So, whether Daisy's code is better or worse than any others is kind of a bit of a moot point, you know? Like, Tarkov's on Unreal, isn't it? I forget what... I always forget what engine's what, but... Like... They, they all get cheated on. Uh, Tarkov's on Unreal 4, I think, isn't it? No, Scum is. I always forget. What's Tarkov on? Unity, yeah, but... Like... I, I, I just seen a comment there. I, I, I could be careful. I could make myself a target, but cheaters called it Barnhemia because the code was so bad. <laughs> One thing about people that do hacking, they do tend to have a little bit of a god complex. Maybe streamers do too, but I've met a few cheaters in the game, and not necessarily people that were doing the codes, but the early game, early cheaters, you know. They, they, they kind of act like they're like the god of the server that gets to decide who lives and dies. And they do have a certain uh, mindset, let's say. And those kind of people are going to talk shit on the thing that they're, like, it's not easy, they're not going to big it up, are they? If they're literally trying to destroy a game and its player base and and corrupt it, they're not going to be going, oh, I have to say that Bohemia have done an amazing job with this code, it's a really good job, now I'm going to fuck it up and spoil the game. That's not, it, it doesn't wash that, does it? So they have to shit on the things they're doing. If they didn't, how would they reconcile with themselves what they're doing to it, you know? Uh, you have to have a certain mindset, otherwise you wouldn't do it, would you? You're not likely to see people bigging up the code and really bigging up the devs while simultaneously trying to <coughs> break it. Now, I'm going to take a risk and just go to the prison island. If I don't find Tack back, I'm going to be starving fairly soon, but the knife is kind of useful. We'll, we'll probably do okay. Do people really need a... D I think people tend to... Everything you do, Danish, you will reason it to yourself. That's how, how we are. If you're in the supermarket and you're trying to decide between three different loaves of red, you'll come up with a reason to pick one or the other. That's life, dude. Everybody has a reason for everything they do. Like, occasionally you can drift around the supermarket like a zombie and just put something in your trolley, but nearly everything you do has a decision and then you make a reasoned choice, whether you think about it much or you don't. That's life. Like, you decide what pair of socks to pick out of your sock drawer in the morning. You pick one. Maybe some people just pick the top one, but that there's a reason why they did that. It was easier, you know? Like, that's that's life. Don't drop the soap whilst on Prison Island. Or maybe I will. Uh, Jack Burton, thank you very much for the support. Twisted, FX Raven, Johnny, uh, Goplex, thanks again. Cheers for the support, guys. Angry Chair, cheers for gifting J-Sams this up, dude. Thank you. Young Prune de Mechanis, thank you as well. I'm not really explaining that, Ling, but there is definitely a thought process behind the why people do things. Certainly, like, if you're cheating in a video game. You know, like, uh, I, 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 going back to the early days of Daisy, uh, 
like maybe just after Dean Hall, but while Brian Hicks was in charge. So we're talking 2015, 16, maybe somewhere around then, 17. Some of the really common cheaters that were around back then were literally trying to stop Daisy being a thing. They would, they would, their mission was to try and get Brian Hicks the sack from from Bohemia, and to try and get Daisy from, like, to stop it succeeding, because they thought Daisy was a scam and it was a mod for Armor 2 and it shouldn't have been a standalone game, and they felt that it was a scam that it was being sold and people were buying it, so they tried to break it, and that's what they did. You know, like, they were literally seeing themselves as the righteous trying to break this game that somebody was selling and nobody was forced to buy. They like had like a crusade to try and achieve. Uh, they uh, they they managed What's to the coerce between male and female ghosts. These. They managed to coerce a streamer and a girlfriend of one of the developers into a uh, into a uh, chat room. And then record them talking about people at Bohemia and then released it on YouTube just to try and upset the apple cart and get people in trouble. I like there was all sorts of shit. Rexler, uh boobies. Boobies. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Rexler. Cheers for the support, dude. On. Any looting tips that 1500 hours wouldn't know? You should know most of it by then, Bombshell, really. I, uh, you don't need to loot every building, you know, like... I, I, I think I kind of... I don't use... I, I do it more on intuition, but... If I'm in an area and the loot feels good, I carry on looting more of that area. If the loot feels bad, I go to a different area of that area. And if the loot's bad there, I fuck off, you know? The finding fuck all fuck off approach to looting is that it's, it's the triple F's. Uh, if you don't count the F's of off. <laughs> if you're finding F all, F off. Uh, it is a decent mantra to live by in Daisy. I played Jungle to Mouse a little bit, kind of spicy. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Have you thought one day you might be 60 and still playing? No, nope. but let's be honest, everybody that works ends up 60, if they're lucky. I, I, I'd, I'd much rather be 60 and streaming than be 60 and working in retail like I was before. Mr. Twisted, a, a lot of server, community servers, class loot cycling as cheating, yes. Yeah, so, to answer you from that perspective, if you were get caught, like some streamers have admins... Months. Sorry, start again, not streamers. Some servers have admins that can float around and see what people are up to. If you were in a server like that and you were seen loot cycling, you'd get banned from the server. Now, I'm not saying that that's really common, but yeah, loot cycling would be considered a, a cheat or an exploit. Exploit might be a better word, but definitely a lot of servers banned for it if they catch you doing it. Orca Black. High insulation, we'll keep that I think. It's quite quite a lot of space. Johnny, I, I don't really want to go in in the ins and out of what loot cycling actually is. Uh because it's teaching people to exploit, right? But it's trying to game the loot system, let's say. Uh NZB, I have a uh Herman Miller Aaron Gaming. Which is just an air on Herman Miller, but with a bit of extra, one extra adjustment to the way, you, how you can move the chair, and it's a matte black colour. But other than that, it's an air on. Uh, it's amazing, though. I, I'm very glad I got it. I was having all sorts of shoulder pain, and then it went away.
I certainly don't agree with the statement that most cheaters are failed gamers. That's definitely not the case. There's all sorts of reasons people cheat. Not just about failed gaming, unfortunately. It, it's a bit like... Uh, th there's many reasons, but... People that are using cheats in Daisy are not playing Daisy. They're playing spoiling the fun of Daisy for other people. That's the game they're playing. Not all, but a lot. They don't get their enjoyment from getting gear and looting up and surviving and the, the reasons to play the game. They get enjoyment from spoiling other people's fun. That, that's what that's what chatting, uh, cheating is for most people. It's not about having good gear and getting kills in DayZ. It's about killing someone that's been alive 20 hours, having a really fun time in a game and thinking, fuck you, I'm going to ruin your time, you know? like It's like that. that that's the game. It, it's spoiling it for others. Red line, holy shit, Summit's retweeted something, holy shit. I, d I don't know, like... There's all sorts of things that people do that are weird, but... But certainly a lot of it is to... I think there's a like a power trip to it. I've certainly met cheaters in the past that are... Like getting like a power trip out of it because they can talk to you briefly if they want, and they can let you know that you can't, they can't be killed, and they can do whatever they like to you. And then depending on how you are, they get to decide whether you live or die or not. You know that it's a power trip. Nobody's been here for a little while. Kind of hoping that we'll uh, we'll get some fat loots. We shall see. Three day old account, three hundred and six kills, two deaths. Holy shit! Yeah, it would be better if they could. I, I don't know. I, it's, a, it's an age-old conversation, but talking about cheaters in games and it being a problem is not new. I, unfortunately, it's, a, it's something that's not likely to go away anytime soon. You know, it, I, it, I'm not suggesting it's okay to just go, oh, well, but the reality is you either play games or you don't. You're going you're gonna to bump into some cheaters over the years, unfortunately. It sucks, but it's true. I don't know why I thought I could cut that up. I don't think I can be asked with the NBC stuff. I want to go up there, but I'm going to use use like it's going to take me ages to come down if I can't slide. Well, I I don't think Daisy or or EFT that they're both reliant on having clean experiences as much as you can. Redline, you know, EFT doesn't really have community servers as such, where people can be banned and like like, gotten out of the server so easily, which community servers are the lifeblood of DayZ when it comes to cheating and, and the problems of it. But I think cheating is just of a bigger deal in DayZ as it is in Tarkov for, for the same kind of reasons. The amount of time and investment it takes and what the cost is if you die, you know? Like, I think the cost of, of dying in DayZ is much higher than the cost of dying in Tarkov most of the time, unless you're... Unless you've been trying for a week to do a particular task and then you're just about to do it and you get killed by a cheater or something, you know, but you could have been alive for 10 days on Daisy and then you get killed, you know, that, that. Well, it's under the stairs in the camera. All right, Tony, I'll grab him in about 10 minutes when I get back down to the ground. 
Lance, cheers for coming in. Redline, yeah, but you're not the same as everybody else, though, you know, like, so, like, you were saying the other day, yesterday, that quite often you were happy to knock people unconscious, steal some meds, and then let them keep all their guns, you know, that's not an average player, that's a unique type player that you might see once every now and then, you know, like, uh, like, different strokes for different folks, but if I've put 10 hours into a character and it dies to a cheater on day Z, that's heartbreaking, you know, if I die in a raid in in Tarkov or if I die in a round of PUBG if if my hideout's all done in Tarkov there's nothing I've lost in Tarkov that I care that much about I can just rebuild the same loadout and go again I'm not really heartbroken to be fair but I certainly like when it's it's bafflingly annoying when you've been playing I played last year I played on official for the first three days of the year I had a character that lives three days at the very beginning of January last year First three streams of the year I played on official. I lived for three streams running, was on a really long running life and died to a hacker. And then I moved to Livonia from Chernerus and died to a hacker in 20 minutes. Uh, that, to me, that experience of dying after three, three, at three days is so much more frustrating than losing a character in a Tarkov raid. I don't think, I think it's just what you think, dude. If you think it's more painful in Tarkov, you're not wrong. I, I don't. Because you might be level 15, but if you've just lost a three-day-old character that you've put, maybe you've put three ten-hour days into if you're a streamer, or maybe you've put six five-hour sessions into, really big sessions, and then you lose that to a cheater. It takes a lot more effort to get that 30 hours back. You can never get that 30 hours back. You can soon become level 50 on Tarkov. Even if you do get chick killed by cheats every now and then, you won't be level 15 for long. You'll become rich enough with the hideout and whatnot at some point that you'll be impervious to the issue. But that doesn't matter if you feel differently, it's all good. But you're not level 15 for long. You know, you see streamers that really know what they're doing that are into the 20s like two days after a wipe. Or more. Quickly checking the windowsill. But most most players that really enjoy Tarkov Redline are gonna get beyond level 15. It's not like they're stuck perpetually at level 15, are they? You know, like of course the time put in it. But that argument is the same for both. If you've got 30 hours in a Daisy character and it took you two months to earn those 30 hours, if that character kills dies to a hacker, that's just as painful, isn't it? You can see that, right? If your whole gaming for two months is killed by a hacker, how is that not any more or less? It's, of course it's just as bad. Who would I like to be killed by a hacker or stream snipe? Nobody. I, 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 don't, I don't have a grudge at all that would be like, I'd like there to be none of those things if possible, please. That would be great. I, I I think stream sniping is never going to go away. I think cheating in games is likely to never go going to go away. But if I had to pick one, I'd much prefer to pick that cheating was never a thing. Like if there was no cheats in games ever, that would be a much better thing than if there was no stream snipers for sure.
Well, that's the point of Daisy. Those 30 hours are always going to want to an end. You're not going to get beat, Daisy. I, I don't agree, but that's okay. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to say that the deaths that I felt the most painful about were the ones that I didn't earn in Daisy. If you get killed by a cheat or you're alive for 30 hours and you step off a step and you get killed by a bug, they're, they're much worse. They're the ones that I felt where I've had an amazing run, I'm on an amazing adventure and I'm robbed of an ending, you know. It's like being told to leave the cinema 10 minutes before the film ends, you know. You don't get your ending. You get killed by a cheater or you get killed by a bug. They suck. So I, it's okay if you disagree, like you definitely enjoyed the adventure, but if you get killed by a cheat after that adventure, it's like your your story has no ending. You're robbed of your, you're robbed of your story. So uh, like, like I'll have to agree to disagree on that. I'm afraid. Like, T R M Z G Heart. Like Daisy's all about the adventure, but if you've robbed of the crescendo, then that can completely sully the memory of everything you've done before. You know. And, like you're just saying there about police stations, that's a really good example of exactly that, you know, the police station bugs back in the day, fucking hell. Like, just, like, dying on the stairs in a police station or getting parachuted or kicked out of the building and stuff. My god, they were painful. Right, I'm gonna go with that. I've got a few more bullets, we should probably load. Damaged, what was that was damaged as well. That's pretty good. I need to find some food fairly soon. I can give you an example of that, just just as an example. And I, I really hate this, if I'm honest. I hate, I'm, I'm proud of it in some ways, but I hate this. My most popular channel, sorry, my most popular video on YouTube, the video that's got the most views ever on my channel, ends with me getting killed by a hacker. You know, I, don't, I can't remember anything about the video. The only thing I do remember is that at about 40 minutes in, people keep telling me that I've missed a player and it's a zombie. Even now, it's been about 14 months later, I'm still getting people telling me that I missed a player after 40 minutes and it's a fucking zombie. And I talked about it in the video. I even said, oh, that grenade's aggroed zombies or words to that effect. And people are still telling me for 18 months that it's a fucking player and it's a fucking zombie. But nonetheless. <laughs> there was bacon in the barracks, was there? Okay, let's go back. But I can't remember anything about that video. I can't remember anything about the adventure. It's my most popular video ever. But I died to a hacker. I can't remember the story at all. I can't remember what happened in it whatsoever. I remember I died coming from Bolotto to Cherno. And then I ran back and died again. You mean that? I think you do. I hope you're right. I'd like bacon on the bed. There's no bacon on the bed. I saw the rubber slugs. I just didn't want them. Maybe I should take the rubber slugs, just as a backup, and they worked on me yesterday, didn't they? I'll take those ones. The rubber slugs look like bacon. <laughs> if if uh, bacon comes in a square, square box with blue and white on it, rather than a can that's black and white, I guess, but yeah. <laughs> Eat the rubber. Mmm, num num num. That player I missed got the bacon, bastard. Kusnaf, thank you for the 30 months. Phantom, Phantom, thank you very much. Quiz Schwiz, thank you for the prime. Not not a, firm, not a famous man, thank you for the bits. Cheers for the support, guys. Uh, 
something that I am kind of uh, vaguely proud of. This is a weird thing to say, but that video is is my most popular ever video. It's I can't remember the name of it, but it's very easy to find it. Anyway, it's my most popular video on YouTube. At the end of it, I get killed by a hacker. And at some point, a week or two after the video came out, I had a message from somebody at DayZ thanking me for being gracious about how I handled the video because I made the video and it had a hacker in it but I didn't do what a lot of people do and absolutely throw them under the bus about it you know I was just kind of like it was part of the story on that particular video but I had a, <laughs> like I, I, that's not something that they had to do but it's kind of nice really I like for a long time if there was a cheater that killed me it 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 scrubbed the video and in fact I remember on stream after I died in that way on the stream on the day we ended up having like a, a laboriously long conversation about how I might not be able to use the footage because I don't want to have a really cool adventure and a really cool story ending with a hacker because it's just advertising all that's wrong with the game you know not because I'm trying to sell people on a game but I don't want to advertise the hacker you know I feel like the hacker wins if they make it to a YouTube video I'm not going to lie, sorry, Anarchy, but I feel like the hacker wins if you make it into an Anarchy video as well. I, I really like Anarchy, but if you make it into one of his videos, that might be the aim, you know. That you're actually giving them what they want, I think, you know. They, they might be getting what they want by being in the video. Thoughts on the Arsenal? Everyone's saying Arsenal played really well, but to be honest, I just thought Liverpool were poor. Liverpool with, with Salah and Nunes starting would have, would have lost that if you ask me. Man Spider, I, I think Arsenal were the better team on the day. I think def Liverpool were missing some key players, but at this time of year and most games, you're going to be missing key players. They've coped really well while Salah's been out for the most part. Uh, I think they did miss the key players. They missed Sabozlai. I think they even missed uh, Connor Bradley at right back. You know, Trent came off early. He wasn't exactly at his best. Uh, he's coming back from an injury himself, you know. Robertson's coming back from an injury, so maybe he didn't want to start Robertson on the left. Uh, but yeah, I, I I don't think there's many excuses. It was a way to Arsenal. Arsenal were better. Arsenal won, you know. Uh, could it have been a different result with different players on the pitch? Yeah, but Arsenal could have had different players on the pitch and won 5 1, you know. I did see that text uh, from Mudrick to a fan. Yeah, kind of stupid, really. What I want to know is how the fuck is he getting texts like that? Like, well, how has he got d open DMs to people that are going to have him like that? Like, if I got a DM somehow to me that was moaning about the way I played in DayZ, I think I'd just block the fucker. I don't think I'd be entertained. Now, I do reply to some people that say stupid things on YouTube, but if someone's managed to message me directly about it, I'm not going to entertain that. That's just fucking stupid, you know? Who snap? Uh, thank you again. Well, I don't know if I really need shit. That wasn't great, but we still did all right. We've got we've got a shotgun that we didn't have. We've got well, no, I got the shotgun before, but we've got the shotgun. We've certainly got this. So we an SSG and two hey, mags could, could be worse. Do you open bananas at the wrong or right end? The guy who messaged him saws his shoes and clothes to footballers. Well, that's not good for him, is it? That's weird. Like, if your business is sourcing stuff for footballers and then you're bitching at one of your customers, that seems to reflect poorly on the guy, you know? Like, I, I'd imagine there'll be a lot of footballers thinking twice about using that guy anymore. If, 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 do you know what I mean? I don't. Why would you do that? Yeah, we got a stab vest and the helmet as well. It wasn't a complete fail. Do I like armadillos? Yeah, all right. Why not? Ronald, thank you for the 26 months. Appreciate it. Do you open bananas at the wrong or the right end? Uh, I think I open them on the wrong end like everybody else does. Good shout. I did pick up a Vega Mag. Good, good shout. Hey, I'm new to the stream. Can you do a 30 second intro to bring me up to speed on who you are? No. This is exactly who I am. I'm the cantankerous fucker that wouldn't do that. That's who I am. Watch the stream. If you like it, great. If you don't, okay. 
<laughs> Never heard that. Thank you for coming in, though. I am grateful. What's the difference between being hungry and being horny? I don't know. They both equal angry for me. If I'm hungry, I'm angry. If I'm horny, I'm getting knocked back and then I'm angry. That, that's basically the size of it. Hangry, or how can you make the word horny into hangry as well? Hungry. Horngry. Doesn't quite have the same ring to it, does it? Sorry, t just, just, the, the, uh, thank you for coming in, new chatter, but I don't know how to do a 30 seconds of who I am, dude. Like, I've, I've been streaming nine years. It feels a bit like, you know, when you're used to, well, maybe depending on the job, you go to like a head office thing, or you go to like a, like, you go to a meeting and there's other people from different places, and then you have to do that thing where you say who you are, or you go on a training day and there's other people from different companies or whatever, and then you have to, a first aid day would be, I did a first aid day once. And there's different people from different walks of life and they're all doing a first aid course for the day. And then you have to sit down and, and do that 30 seconds of who you are. I, that, I fucking hate that. I hate that. 30 seconds about who you are. Blech. Hello, my name's Paul and I just so desperately don't want to be here. Addis Twitch donated $3. Hello, sir. Can you do an in-depth questionnaire and FAQ about your persona and life on Twitch? <laughs> <laughs> Minimum answer should be 15 minutes long with bonus credit per minute afterwards. Dude, I could do this that verbally. This is a requirement moving forward. Thank you. Do I think Luton Town will stay up? I think it would be cool if they did. Rasta Herb, thank you very much. Uh, Addis, thank you for the tip. I'll get right on that, dude. Rest assured. Uh, cheers for the support, Addis. And uh, Rasta Herbs, thank you for the tip. I'd like Luton to stay up. I don't think they will. But I kind of hope they do, though. I think it's cool when teams like that stay up. I think it's cool. It's good for the league. I think Leicester will stay up when they come up next year. I don't think that they really are a team that should be in the championship. I know they were, but I think Leicester will come up and stay up. But I think that's rarer these days, isn't it? Teams that come up invariably go down now. Uh, I'm going to say no. As to answer it honestly, I think they'll go down. But I'm hoping they won't, because... I think it's better if teams like that stay up. I think Everton, uh, even though they've had 10 points docked, Everton will probably be... They're bottom three now, but they won't be at the end of the season, I don't Do you think Luton Town will stay up? Now, thank you very much for the support. That's in... Now, Brookers. Brat Brookers? Brookers, thank you very much for the support, dude. And that's incredibly generous. I think that might be my highest super chat ever, dude. That's insanely kind. Thank you. No message either, just straight in and bang, eh? Thank you. It's not not so common that all three stay up is the point though, Wid, as it's very common that teams go down. Uh, and certain teams you think are much more likely to. It's it someone's just asked, do I think Leeds will go up? They're on a they're on a good vein of form right now, but so are Southampton, right? And if you look at that, like if you look at the teams that went down last season, they weren't normal teams that go down, were they? Southampton have been in the Premier League for ages. Leicester have been in the Premier League for ages, won the league, won the FA Cup, and Leeds, Leeds slightly less so, but the, the teams that went down last year were abnormal, you know, you can see that, right? Leeds, Southampton, and and Leicester, they they were an abnormal year, not, not your norm. Doesn't mean it can't happen, but it doesn't usually, is the point. It's going to be tough, isn't it? Leicester are shooing for top of the league. Uh... And then second spot is between Southampton, Leeds, and, and Ipswich. At Ips, uh, people are writing Ipswich off a little too soon. Ipswich are still in with a shout of finishing second. They're, they're probably outsiders, but they've got a shout. <laughs> How fast do I think Poch gets binned? I hope he doesn't. I hope he doesn't get binned. I think he deserves longer. I'm not sure he'll get it, though. I just don't know. Like, thing is, they've bought young players. Poch, Poch is the right player for a young squad that needs to be developed. But they've bought so many young players. They've got a young, really young team. I think Poch is the right manager for a young team. But he needs a couple of seasons to nurture a squad out of them and to nurture the players into the players they need to be. You know, they've bought young players and they need development. Poch is probably one of the right managers for that, but he might not get the time. 
Were they to do something stupid like sack Pochettino and bring Mourinho in, that, that would just completely shit can Chelsea. You know, they bought all these young players, and Mourinho's not that manager. You know, he's a he's a sign them and and like run them into the grounder. Pochettino is a little bit delusional, dude. Yeah, to say that Liverpool smashed Chelsea and no one made a fuss of Arsenal beating Liverpool. But Ars Arsenal, had, like, they were legitimately in the title race last season. They're legitimately in the title race this season. It's a little bit blind to try and make that comparison when Chelsea are, like, bottom half, well, top of the bottom half of the table, if you like. But, yeah. But managers will say any old shit, you know. They're, they're just trying to get the pressure off them, and it, it doesn't really work, does it? Oh, that's no good. thought that was food. I, I'm interested. I really hope Ipswich go up, to be honest. I, know, I, I live in Suffolk. I'd love to see Ipswich go up. When a team's vying for second place, like all three of Southampton, Leeds and Ipswich are... The team that just misses out and ends up in the playoffs, they they often do badly in the playoffs as well, don't they? You know, like the team that's imper like imperious but just misses out, like way better, but only just misses out on second, they often end up struggling. You know, Paladin, I, I didn't get there, did I? It's too late now, dude. I can't do it prompted too late. I've missed the boat there, haven't I? Next time. Found two as well, didn't I? Pondology, who would we sack him for? Well, you could say the same about Thomas Tuchel and they still sacked him, you know, like uh, I think Graham Potter wasn't given enough time and they sacked him. Maybe it was the right choice, maybe it wasn't, but the owners are the owners. Like Chelsea literally seemed to be like like the spoiled rich kid who's got billionaire parents and they can just have whatever toy they want and then they're not happy with, with the toys they've got, you know, like maybe not the best analogy, but since they've been taken over, they've dumped so much money on everything and it doesn't seem to have made any difference. They just seem to be getting their light in, in free fall. Now, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Thank you again. I really appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Beef in Brian Bailey. Thank you for the bits. The fact that Chelsea could get in trouble with financial fair play if they sack Poch is hilarious. I've, I've not been keeping up with the news so much about it, but apparently they are, they are like teetering on financial fair play, like lots of clubs are, you know, but... I don't know. I... I don't even know the names of half of the Chelsea squad. They seem to have signed so many players. Uh, I've got to be honest, when Liverpool were after the two that ended up like Lavia and Moses Caicedo that went to Chelsea, I was gutted at the time. But less so now, you know. But I, 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 they are potentially... They, they might be in three years' time. They might have got it right. They've got this young squad and they're all amazing. And they might be really title contenders. They might be in the Champions League. They might be amazing. But if you make five signings, sometimes only two or three of them work out. But if you, if those five signings are on eight-year contracts and nobody else wants them, you know, like if, if four of the five don't work out or whatever, you know, if that ratio is bad, they could be paying wages on incredibly long contracts for players they can't get rid of. And they could be having managers come in and they're like, well, we've spent all the money three years ago, you know, like we've got no more money. We're still paying off the players that you don't want now.
Pornology, exactly what I'm just saying is what you've just written. Uh, I, if the players aren't good enough and you're stuck with them, what on earth do you do? It might look incredibly clever while while they were signing all of these exciting players and long contracts and like scrubbing the financial fair play by doing it on like a like how they were structuring the deals kind of thing but they need to hit the ground running and like maybe 70% of those signings have to really work and if it's only 30 or 40% that work or less fucked Ten million for Casido, and Liverpool bid that much too. You know, that's the thing I don't get. Liverpool bid that much, uh, <laughs> but then after they didn't get him, they then didn't spend. Like they'd already bought McAllister and Sobosly, I think. But like they had that much to spend on Casido, but they haven't spent it anywhere else. You know, I guess it's not being spent now because uh, Klopp's leaving. Obviously, they, they'll they'll have more of a kitty for whoever comes in, maybe. might kill that deer. I think that would be quite useful. I'd, I'd probably best do it after we've been to the military base, but uh, hopefully an SSG to the face will, will kill a deer, but I think it would make sense to hunt it. We need, uh, we need food. It's only 10 to 5 IRL, right? 10 to 5. I am absolutely ravenously hungry today. I've ham, ham and coleslaw sandwiches for lunch. They were pretty decent, but I, I feel like I've not eaten them at all. Do I aggro that? I don't think I do. They're a bit spread. Look at that, that reflection. It's awful. With the zombies being spread like that, Makes me wonder if there's players here. I'm sorry, when, with the zombies being spread like that, it, it it could mean there's players here. Like normally, they spawn in in a little cluster close together. So if they're spread out like that, they may have spawned in for somebody else before I got here. But there ain't nobody here. It's a shame I've not got some kind of a pistol. I have to wait a whole hour to eat the lasagna. Ooh. At least you can have lasagna. There's no helicopter crash site here, though. I don't think the zombies are left over from that. That's what you mean, or you mean there might be leftover loot. I don't. I I sometimes check for leftover loot at convoys, but I've I've never really made a habit doing it for for uh, heli sites. Only one thing we could really do with, and that's a can attack back. Not to be confused with rubber slugs. like nobody been here for a while based on the loot it's kind of all right
I have got the, 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 the mag. We ought to take it, I suppose. Someone's been here. There's a dead dude. Keep on swimming. But he killed himself. The knife is next to him. It's almost like he maybe I don't know. He hasn't doesn't look like he's been looted even. Main point. Let's stop starving to death first, shall we? He could have died to a landmine. You might be right. It could have potentially been a landmine. His backpack's ruined. He looks like he's fallen backwards. Could potentially have been a landmine. That's not a bad shout. Do you know what? I can't even be fucked with that. I'm not even going to keep the bullets I've already got. Can't be bothered with it. It's too big. Too stupid. I don't know. I've got a box as well. I've got two. Maybe I should take it. I have got other bullets that I can combine onto each other and make a bit more space, but those aren't them. Oh well, good job we got some of the loot while we did then. Uh, skillful Vandal, thanks for coming in. I hope you're good. Cheers for the support. Thank you for the reset. That's oddly convenient. Oh, not really. I think I had more loot to get from him, to be honest. Big machete and bottle can go on the backpack. Yeah, I'll have a look at that in a minute. Anyone else tired of winter now? It's not too bad weather-wise in, in Suffolk at the moment. Uh, it's it's in some of some of uh, the UK right now. We're getting quite a lot of snow, but the weather's not really made it to us yet. In fact, I think it's not getting cold around where I live until uh, well, not at all. Oh, there's no there's no cold temperatures coming up. I was I was thinking it was going to we were going to get a cold snap here, but I think we're going to avoid it. Have you ever seen anyone roaming in the UK using the right to roam laws? Addis Twitch, the only time you ever see right to roam laws is when someone's making the most boring Facebook video you've ever seen. I think you'll find that I don't need a driving license or insurance for my car because I've got the right to roam. I've just got the freedom to travel. <laughs> uh, what a of shit. <laughs> like, in, unless somebody walks around with a right to roam neon sign above their head, I guess you wouldn't know they were doing it, would they? You know? I don't need to do any of those things, Mr. Police Officer, because I say so, and that's that. You didn't need a driving license for a horse and cart, and I'm just travelling with this Audi, okay? Now, fuck off! <laughs> they are so stupid. 
I hate those videos. <laughs> I fucking hate them. I really can't stand them. Uh, skillful, thanks very much for the support. Mac Moore, thank you for the tier three, dude. Thank you very much. Uh, Jamo, Moggio, uh, Keith, cheers for the resubs, guys. And, but then they make a video of it as well, you know, like, I can't stand those videos. There's a few in, th there's one that goes round of a, of a guy that's a lawyer and he gets pulled over by a police officer and he's polite. But then he starts telling the police officer the way it is and they're kind of vaguely, old. I understand why they do that. A bit. But the ones where they're like needlessly abrasive and intentionally like annoying for no reason. Oh God, I hate that. Yeah, the drones, the, the guy that does the audits as well, mostly, Mikey. I, I've talk, talked about that, that. There's a dude that does it. But they call themselves an auditor, and it's literally, I'm going to fly a zone over your car park until you get annoyed at me, and then I'm going to make a video of your response, and we'll call that an audit. I mean, like, fuck me. I, I'd, love to, I'd love to make videos being the dude that shoots the, the drone out of the sky, the drone auditor. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to be a drone auditor. <laughs> God, they are stuck. frustrating. Yeah, I have got the leg holster. You're right. I, I should use that. I'd forgotten I'd got it, to be honest. I don't consent as you slam the door. <laughs> nice metric. There's nothing quite so, like, quite so, uh, like, uh, what's the right word? motivating as watching a self-appointed auditor who's literally just pissing people off to try and see what their reaction is. <clears throat> I guess people watch it, right? There's a few that go around London on bicycles and uh, record all the things that happens and sometimes there's an interesting video there but sometimes it's really dull this fits. It does. Where did it go? Well, where is that now? It's like vanished. It's still on the hot bar, but it seems to be not there anymore. That's confusing. Yeah, I'm not convinced. Somebody said that's convenient. I'm not con sorry. I suppose you ought to see, really. I'm not convinced that the restart was convinced was convenient because it would have suited me more if I could have killed the deer and took the meat from it before the server restart. And I think there was still a little bit more loot on the dead body before the restart as well. I could have checked just to make sure I didn't miss anything as well. take it but then I remembered I'm carrying the crap already bad rooster thank you for the gifted membership in it dude. pixie dust Lou Villis thank you both of you guys for the gifted memberships as well cheers for the support guys thank you all right let's get the fook out of here uh, we'll kill get another one up there See, these have actually spawned in quite spread. They must have spawned in for me. And they're not all in a cluster, so maybe they're different. I don't know, but they're pretty spread out, aren't they?
on tap, baby. <laughs> got here. We've got a lot of SKS rounds. Uh, I think we could probably get shut of that. Let's get rid of that. Start putting some junk in here. Probably don't need the rope to be honest. I could fish. I could have fished but I lost the dead body didn't I? Stank rat. The pike. Is, is the one tap baby guy. Uh, here's for the support on YouTube. Skillful uh, Vandal, Pixie Dust, Lee Villis, and Bad Rooster. Thank you. Poop shoot. Yeah, I've, I've been watching. I I subbed to Stank Rat on YouTube about a week ago, after realising that I'd been giggling at about six of his shorts without subbing. Uh, I I yeah. It's a weird thing. I feel. Uh, I feel mixed about liking those videos because I hate exit camping and I, I hate the idea of it. I, I hate it. But the videos are good. You know, good videos are good videos, you know, like <laughs> I don't I don't want to be a, a, a stank rat myself. I don't want to do it. I, I don't think it would be fun for me personally, but it's fun to watch. I guess you can respect the player, but not the game, if that makes sense. Oaken, yeah, being able to drag bodies would be cool. It would be good. It, being able to drag unconscious players would be cool too, maybe. But, yeah, it's been something people have wanted for a long time. It never comes yet. Yeah, the black gorka top looks pretty good, Garrett. It does. I agree. I dropped the stove, Scary, so I didn't take it. I already dropped the stove to make space in here, so too late. Alex Smith, thank you for subscribing in. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Shout out to Tyler and the kids. I know they sit here, they're they watching you. Lee, well, thank you. I appreciate it, dude. Uh, thank you for coming in. Hello, Tyler and others. Uh, 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 Tiddlers, hope you're good. That's exactly how it is, poop shoot. Uh, shoots a guy about 30 times, uh, maybe he goes behind cover and then he hits him again some more and then he goes one tap, beep. it's beautiful. That doesn't get old. I didn't think the peaches were gonna last long. Should probably eat these peaches. out to Tyler and the kids. I know they sit there watching you all day. Absolute legend streamer. Lee, thanks again for the super chat, dude. Thank you. I thought that might be the case. Uh, when you look for servers to play on, how did you decide if a server is worth playing or not? I, I read the description of the, the mods, dude. And once you've found a couple of servers you like, just talking in general, you don't need to move around very much, do you? But, uh, like, if it says infinite stamina, for example, I don't play on it. If it says trader bases, I don't play on it. Now, those players, are, those servers are great, and some people really love them. They're just not ones, ones for me, is all, you know? Oh, God. So once you get a kind of familiar, familiarity for what you like and what you don't like, you can kind of read the mod list. All I ever do, if I want to play Chernerus, I go to Chernerus, I filter for high pop servers. And then it'll look at the servers that have got quite a few players in it. Now, you, not everybody needs to look for high pop servers. Depends on what you want. But I want to play on a server with lots of people in it, right? So I filter for high pop servers. And then I completely discount all the servers that say high loot, trader bases and such like. And then you're left with a selection of not very many to pick from that are lightly modded. And then I pick one. Ugh. 
I could disinfect the sewing kit. I got some bandages off the dead guy, so I, I don't really need to. I think we're going to use the sewing kit for sewing. Yeah, I, to be fair, I, I don't quite so often play on servers with base building like this server has. It's not really my thing, but it doesn't really affect the gameplay too much. Aside from it stops you going in some buildings from time to time, you know. Do you think the devs should add player on player stealth kills? No. The animation does the work. Yes, it's kind of cool if you sneak up behind someone and they don't hear. But you can stun lock them to death if you do it right. You know, like, uh, I, I think the stealth animation being for zombies makes sense. I don't think it makes sense for being, being for players. When you do the stealth kill, you're kind of disconnected from the game. The game does most of the hard work for you, you know. Like, yes, you have to be patient and get around, but... Uh, no, I don't think there should be that for players. I just joined an Xbox server and got onto a server that forces you to join their Discord community and then I found out you can buy a UAV through your Discord. Well, that would be me immediately leaving that server then. Day 1 is definitely not a dumpster fire, Bad Rooster. I completely disagree with you. Day 1 servers are great. They run really well. They're, they're generally high pop. They're low, low mods. Survival servers, I think they're great. I would like them to add auto stacking of bullets when you pick them up. That would be kind of nice. Yeah, it wouldn't do a great deal, but it would save you having like loads of crap in your inventory, wouldn't it? You know, that would be quite good. I agree. The uh, convoy would normally be here. There's no convoy, no loot, unfortunately. Creme Roulet every day or Emily Blunt for one day. So one day of, of bliss or a lifetime of type 2 diabetes. If I can have the creme brulee with no calorie, like it tastes the best creme brulee I've ever had, but it, it doesn't affect my blood sugars in any way and it doesn't add any calories to me, then I'll take the creme brulee. But assuming that, uh, assuming that that's not the case and we're living in the real world, I'll have the other option. In fact, no, I won't because I'm desperately in love with Mrs. TRMZ and I could never do that to her. <laughs> None of the above, just like, uh, just like Brewster. Well, I think playing in it on the day it came out and saying you didn't like it doesn't really make it a dumpster fire, Bad Rooster, you know? Like, that's a bit... I'd, I'd say you polarise a touch there, don't you? You know, I played it and didn't like it very much. It's not what I'd consider to be a dumpster fire, you know? I just watched Brewster's Millions this morning. It's on YouTube. It's an absolute classic, Brewster's Millions. Also, you'd know that Emily Blunt was disappointed for a day. That's not true, Alf. Emily Blunt would be disappointed for the rest of her life. Every morning she'd wake up hoping desperately that John Krasinski wouldn't be there and it would be me. And then it wouldn't be that and she'd be disappointed. Every day for the rest of her life she would be disappointed. Like, like, oh matey, oh matey. Like Bill Murray in Groundhog Day when he wakes up and it's the same day every day. Except she'd wake up, it'd be a different day, but John would still be there. Well, my point is, dude, that if you play a server for one day and don't like it, and then the servers have been around for like four years, if you play it once and try it once, don't like it, four years later describing it as a dumpster fire is not an opinion, it's a bad opinion. <laughs> That's my point, right? It's okay you don't like it, but maybe shitting a server you haven't tried for four years is perhaps not very fair, you know, like... Do you know what I mean? I think that's that. That's not. It's okay to not like things, but maybe try it again before you, like, 
I, I think that's a fair point, you know. <laughs> like, the first day of any server is not necessarily the best way to judge it, you know. There's teething issues, there's problems with the, the tech that the box might have issues. There might be way more people trying to join. Day one was hosted by Smoke, who's the, the biggest streamer on Twitch, right? Maybe there was shitloads of people trying to get in and it ran really poorly, you know. Like They've had four years worth of experience now, haven't they? You know, it might be a different scenario now, I suspect, to then, you know. Maybe, maybe I'm labouring the point, but I'm just like ab absolutely opinions are fine. But uh, toilet water. Thank you for the sixteen months. I like this loot route we're doing, I really like it, but it's a bit slow at the moment, isn't it? I should probably eat this crap as well. How do I get my knife back? It's there now. Oh, it's there now. Why, why was I not seeing it before? Oh, well, I've got it now. Anyway, that's the main thing. Opinions are fine, but they have to be the right opinion. That's not what I said, Grisco, is it? Opinions aren't very uh, aren't very valid if they if you watch the credits of a film and don't see any of the film but you judge the film based on the credits your opinion of that film is not very valid right if you judge a book by its cover your opinion is not very valid I think that's a fair point you know if you judge something that's been four years in the making on the very first day and never any any day since that's not a very valid opinion that's a fair point like. That, that, that's that's completely fine. That that's not my opinion. That's a fact. <laughs> like, I think that's completely fair. And the point is, all opinions are completely fine, but at the point at which you decide to share it to a group of people, it would probably be worth thinking about whether you'd think it's worth it or not, you know? Like, for example, uh, like a community server is, like, day one, they may take donations, but as far as I'm aware, it's kind of mostly self-funded, you know? Maybe they, maybe they have, like, a Discord and take donations. I think it was funded by Smoke for a long time. Uh, could be wrong, but I think that's the case. No, it, like, there's no money in it. Day One is not doing it to make money. They're doing it to provide servers for people to have fun on, you know? At the point at which you decide to say that the servers... Sorry, I'm not really trying to talk to you, Brewster, here, by the way. But I'm making the point to some other pedantic fucker. <laughs> not you. <laughs> You're not a pedantic fucker. Don't worry. But the, the point here is that at the point you decide to share that with a large group of people, it might be worth thinking about whether it's... It's... it's uh fair to shit on someone else's freely provided server when you didn't play it since the first day it was released. I think that's a fair point. Seems alright, you know. Like, if you uh, watch someone's YouTube video and it was the first day they'd ever made a YouTube video and then thought, fuck that guy, he's fucking terrible. I'm never going to watch their videos anymore. <laughs> that would be a bit harsh, I think, too, you know. <laughs> Uh, on to more pressing matters. Your plan should there be a zombie apocalypse? Uh, put all of my worthwhile things, such as knives, survival tools, anything that anybody would want in my house, out in the front garden, so people can just take it. And then I'll 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 get down to Winchester and wait till it all blows over.
KMK Jenkins, you can still get sick if you eat unknown. Yeah, if you eat the whole can, you can still get sick. So you need to do it slowly. You, you have to be tantric with the unknown food. We met a dude a couple of weeks back that was throwing up. He'd been sick four times because he'd eaten a full can of unknown in one go. Am I a prepper at all? Now, I, I, I subscribe to the Bill Boyer approach for prepping. If you're a prepper, you're just getting all of the stuff for the for the biggest the biggest guy in your town or the the strongest guy in your town, you know, like or girl maybe. But if you if you're if you're prepping, you need to be able to defend that prep. <laughs> There's no point. I, I'm not going to be beating anyone up. Well, that's different. I guess as far as prepping as I go is sometimes we have like 20 rolls of toilet paper in the house. Like 20 whole rolls. Well that sucks. A clock. Still sucks. Well, to be fair, like, they come in, like, packs of, like, 18 quite often, don't they? Ray Swagger, just eat unknown until stomach icon. That's not true, dude. It's possible to get sick without the stomach icon. Uh, you, you can get sick even if the stomach icon doesn't come up. That's exactly true for cat food and dog food and the like, but you can get sick. It, it's not... The stomach item comes up, comes up. It's not just that you throw up. Once again, I met a dude that had eaten unknown food as a new spawn the other week. He'd been sick four times, not because his stomach was full. Unknown food can be poisonous. If you eat the whole can, it can make you it make can make you get poisoned. It's designed that way. So yeah, you should eat unknown food a little bit slower. Everything else you can eat as as quick as you like. But if your stomach gets full, some things like like dog food, if your stomach gets full, you kind of instantly throw up with it. But unknown food is not like that. It, uh, <coughs> it can poison you. It's, there's actually a bit in the Daisy Wiki about it. That's still correct. If you want to have a read about it, it's in there. There are things that make you more susceptible to it. Like someone's just said there, you can eat unknown food with multivitamins. That's probably true. If, you're, if your health and blood are full and you're in a fairly good way, then you should be able to just eat unknown food because your uh, immune system is maxed. And just like the vitamins just max your immune system, right? So in theory, if you're fair healthy, you should be okay. But if you've just been twatted by a zombie a few times and then you try to eat it, it could you could come unstuck. There's a car here that's drivable. So I don't think I really want to drive it, but... So Boz lies out for a month. That sucks. When they said hamstring, I, I did kind of worry that it might be a bit of a while. It, that really sucks. It's vanished again. That's weird, isn't it? Now it's back. Oh, well. What is that thing? MP-153 shotgun. That's a semi-auto shotgun. I definitely want that, I think. Does multivitamins help with blood illness? Uh, no. 
if you blood illness by by blood illness you mean uh, like you've uh, bandaged with a unclean bandage or a non disinfected rag or whatever. If you uh, ow, needs a sparkler. Why can I not get? To, oh, okay. Why do I even care? Anyway. Yeah, if if you've got the blood infection, nothing nothing like vitamins can help. No. Love the streams and videos. In the first the stage. The first day's vid I watched was yours, and you had a standoff with a guy for half an hour. I fell in love with the game. Dude, thank you very much. Cheers for the super chat. Uh, I do bomb. I think that is. Dude, thank you very much for the super chat. Appreciate it. Cheers for tuning into the video as well. Cheers for finding me, and thank you for the for the super chat, dude. Yeah, if, if you've got blood illness from bandaging with the wrong thing, uh, the only way to cure it is, in the first 15 minutes-ish, is applying uh, alcohol tincture, iodine, or detergent spray. If you hold it in your hand, it allows you to put it on the wound, so you just keep applying it to the wound until it doesn't give you the option anymore, and then you're cured. As soon as you roll out of stage one, then it's tetracycline, and that's it. That's the only cure. You might need many, though, so... You don't know for sure how many you're going to need. You might need three, you might need six, you might need fucking ten. Ah, oh, bollocks. Quite a lot Keep of growers. Work, TRM dead love. Lots of growers around these parts, isn't there? Hunter, cheers for the support, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you. Door barricade. Take the black ones. They kind of look better with my top. Hunter, cheers, last one to know. Thank you as well. That's very kind. Average player 57. Thank you very much for the support as well, dude. missed an alert. Oh, intentionally. In shower, not a grower. I have missed it as well. It was 11 minutes ago. For shame. It's having loud, didn't it? Capri Man, thank you for the 38 months. Uh, toilet Water, thank you for the resub. I read that one out as well. But Garrett, thank you for gifting Toad the sub. Cheers for the support, dude. I definitely didn't uh, different miss it. I didn't miss it. I was just leaving it for now. <laughs> yeah, alright. Uh, thank you, dude. Appreciate it. You're a shower, not a grower. Maybe you should get yourself on Prawn Hub. I'm definitely not a shower. What is my opinion on cheese? Uh, I likes it. We got we went to a fancy cheese shop for to get cheese for Christmas. And we got uh, Devon Blue, some Italian, sorry, no, Spanish blue cheese that I can't remember the name of. Uh, Devon Blue, then we got Brie and Camembert. It was fucking amazing. It was so good. Like artisan it was. Artisan. Artisan cheese and all that, right? It was lovely, but probably not a thing to be having on a regular basis, but it was great for Christmas. Really liked it. Is it true if you eat drenched food you can get sick? No. Spanish blue sounds like something you catch on a lad's holiday to Ibiza. Wasted's been to all the classy areas of Spain, clearly. <laughs> Xenomorph, I am in the UK, yeah. Almighty Truffle. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Uh, it was a cold. Tried myself again. It took a few more pills and, and my guy was cured. Then got into four separate firefights and won. Dude, GG Truffle. D 
to be fair, I've spent more days in in uh, uh, Magaluf than I've spent anywhere else in Spain, which is quite embarrassing, really, isn't it? I went for a week with a load of people from the same pub to Magaluf for a, for a week. Beyond that, I've only had a couple of days in a couple of places in Spain when I went on a cruise around the Med, so... Yeah, I, I'm kind of no better. Isn't it called Shagaloof? Not when I went there. I was attached and the girl I was with didn't go, so I, I played ball and was a good boy. And she dumped me about six weeks later. Uh, I'm uh, thank you for the support, a AWAX. Uh, here's for the super chat. The question is going to get read out by Robot Lady, but I'll answer it before it gets read out. Was curious to think about console ever getting a hold of Namask. Is that possible? Glad to catch you this morning. No, is the quick answer, AWEX. It's not possible. Uh, you, I believe that there's going to be another mod. Um, sorry, another mod. I believe there's going to be another map announced for all platforms at some point soon, with any luck. I don't think Namask is possible. Uh, for many reasons, but the main one is that it's got a load of stuff in it that's directly taken from the game Stalker. And that's okay for somebody to mod it and give away for free, but it's not okay for Bohemia to sell. You can't just completely rip off stuff like that. Uh, like, it's not just a slight rip off, there's like complete like bits DMR from other games in it. Was you know? curious what you think about console ever getting a hold of Nemosh and if that's possible. Glad to catch a morning stream finally. I wonder if Robot Lady will ever learn how to say Nemosh. Nemosh. Maybe she's right, she probably is. But yeah, no, I, I don't think the mouse will ever come out because Bohemia would have to sell it. Like, they can't release things like that for free because there's charges on console. To, even to release an update on PS5, there's a charge, right? Like, there's Sony charge, right? So it'd have to be a saleable thing. And as soon as a company is selling something that's copying other games, there's issues, right? Naki, it doesn't have anything to do with the government, dude. <laughs> it's nothing to do with the government, and it's not competition, it's plagiarism, dude. Like, It's all well and good saying, saying like, off-the-cuff things like that until you're having your stuff stolen and someone's profiting on that, then you might feel different. <laughs> there are some half-life assets in there as well, yeah. They're, so, good guy, the devs themselves have said that when they do an update, uh, when they do an update to their game, there's something like a $30,000 charge to do the update on console. So when you when they do an update, they get charged by Sony. They've, the devs have said that openly themselves, so don't call me a liar. Go and write to the Daisy devs that are, and tell them they're lying, because they're the ones that have talked about it in the past. Sorry, dude, you're wrong. When, when the devs do an update to the game, there's a fee for that that they have to pay. Uh, the reason there's no experimental build, Uncle Food, is not to do with that. I don't think Sony, in theory, allow an experimental build. They, like, with, with Sony, you're only allowed to release finished games as such. You're not allowed closed. Like they're not allowed early access games and stuff. They they don't. They just don't allow it. So in theory, they won't allow experimental builds because that implies that you're still developing the game that you've sold as 1.0. Pretty sure they have to pay for Sony or whoever it is to QA it to make sure it does not kill consoles. Maybe that's that's the thing. Oh, that's good. What do I think about Armour 3? Not a lot. Uh, I, I think it's a great game if you like Milsims, but I like DayZ. I'm looking forward to seeing how Armour 4 turns out and what it means for DayZ, but I don't find the, the military sim side of things quite as interesting. It's just not so much for me, you know.
Good guy, I'm not arguing with you, dude, because I've got... I, I, I don't sell games. I'm sure you're a developer that, that sells games left and right via Sony's Marketplace, but the Daisy devs themselves have said that there's a fee when they update the game on PlayStation, so go and take it up with them, not me. That's the point. Love you long time, thanks for all the entertainment and YouTube videos. Am I not the role-playing type? Eh, I enjoy messing around in the game when I meet other players, but I don't really like to play a particular role as such. What do I think of Glenfiddich? It's alright. I, I, I don't... I don't buy Glenfiddich anymore. There's the better whiskey for the same money. Cajun, thank you very much for the five months. Uh, Zetherix, thank you very much for the support as well. Thank you, guys. Glenfiddich is... There's nothing wrong with it. It's single malt. It's space side. It's pretty decent. But there are much nicer whiskies for the same price. You know, like, if you look at space side, for example, Glenfarclas is... Uh, a smaller distillery, nicer whiskey for less money. Just as an example. There's loads of really nice uh, space side. Glenfiddich is like a really well known, kind of fairly famous brand. But there's better out there. Still okay though, it's not bad. If someone gave me a bottle of Glenfiddich 15 or something, I wouldn't be unhappy. I'd be very grateful. I just wouldn't buy it myself, is all. Wasted. I'd quite like to do that. I'd quite like to go and do a, a tour of a few distilleries when I'm not driving. That would be cool. Uh, I've had monkey shoulder. It's okay, Rocker. Monkey shoulder's okay. It's uh, like a... In the grand scheme of whiskey, it's a fairly entry-level one. But as entry-level kind of mix of whiskies goes, it's pretty good. Cajun, thanks for the five months. Ever had Pappy? Uh, only Pappy O'Daniel. <clears throat> used to be you'd find, find sniper rifles in these, but... Not so much lately. Smarty, no, I, I, I logged out on last night's character. I've not played Alteria as yet today. Started on Chernerus. Might do Alteria later. Let the liquor take hold, Paul. Jim Lay rip. Am I playing on Chernerus or Deer Isle because you don't want to see some players? No. I played Winter Chernerus last week. I killed seven players before I got killed myself. You know, like... Uh, I've, I've killed one dude on the last character and then died at Devil's Castle, but... Chernerus is a big map, but I'm hoping to see players. But I'm also hoping to play DayZ, the survival game as well, you know? I think so, Ridley. Your preconceptions are incorrect. Where did Johnny walk to some gullible people to sell them sell them whiskey? Uh, damaged. I. I uh. It doesn't fit on there, but I don't want the cookery. Z 
Xenomorph, the, the best part of DayZ is different for different players, but I agree with your sentiment, you know, like... Uh, like, if you got what you wanted every time, all the time, it would get boring, wouldn't it, you know, like... I, I agree with your sentiment, but I guess the, the point is different people play the game for different reasons and for different end goals or different fun, you know. But I, I kind of agree with you none, nonetheless. It's the not knowing when you're going to get attacked. And like you, like I'm rambling around here trying to uh, well, take the last death. I, I, I was in Devil's Castle talking to a guy. He gave me a blaze with a pillad scope. It was a kind of a cool, friendly interaction. And then I stepped outside and there was another player waiting outside who mowed me down and then I was dead, you know. You never know who you're going to meet and what's going to happen. And that's kind of, kind of the, bu the beauty of the game is that it's random. You might go two or three hours without seeing a soul and then you might have some crazy fucking moment happen that you just weren't expecting, you know. Like, that's Daisy. No, the map is huge. But it's meant to be. Like, I, I've been playing the game for ten years. I... There are there are maps like Alteria that I played last night and Bitterroot like I played yesterday during the day where you can get it's a smaller map you can bump into players much more quickly but there's more to Daisy than just bumping into players you know like, like when you're playing Churner I thought I saw a player I thought I saw a player that's crazy Oh shit. That should have knocked him and it didn't. That knocked him, I hit him through the tree! I hit him through the tree, that is insane! Let's just run up this way for now. I'll just take his tundra and we'll go this way. I, as I was talking there, I thought I saw movement in the tree. And I did. I thought I saw movement. I did, I did a second take briefly. But I wasn't really paying full attention. And then as I got near it, we saw him again. Oh my god, that was cool. So the SSG on vanilla, I believe, uh, will will knock you on con. I've shot people on like official servers with an SSG and a press vest. At that range, it will uncon. But this server slightly tweaked the uncon so that you don't go as uncon quite so easily. I'd forgotten about that, and, and I should have known it when I took the shot. But anyway, it worked out. That is cool. But yeah, I'm playing Chernerus, so I don't ever see anyone, you know, that that's why I'm playing Chernerus. That kind of proves the point, right? That you, you, that's the beauty of Daisy. You don't know when you're going to bump into someone. You don't know when a geared dude is going to cross your path. Now, all right, I only shot him in the back, but he didn't go on con, and it took a kind of crazy shot through a tree to finish him off. You know, that was cool. Daisy is not a battle royale game. It's not PUBG where the map is small and there's a hundred players. It's a survival game where the map is huge and you can intentionally avoid players if you want. So like, lots of different things to do and uh, experience in the game, not just PvP. Says the guy that just killed a dude for not much reason other than wanting his loot. He's been fishing as well. What a nice guy. We'll take your fish. Thank you. Thank you, mother, for the rabbits. There's a gawky bars are on you. He looks like he's been doing some fairly speedy speed looting by the look of what he's carrying. Uh, oops. I might want that deagle, I don't know. 
Don't need that. We'll take that. Right, let's go. Probably missed something, but let's go. What, see, the Golden Deagle is... Uh, it felt special when they first added it, but it's not that special. It's just a Deagle, but... The best thing I got from that guy was the Tundra. That was a really good find. Tun the, well, Winchester, as it's called on this server, but that was good. I should probably take the press vest. He has got... Yeah, I should probably take it. All right. I'll just run back to him with my gun in my hand and take it, shall I? I think it was badly damaged, but I'll be able to fix it up at least a little bit because I've got a leather kit in his bag. Let's just get a little bit this way. I still kind of like the Golden Deagle. It is kind of a cool thing to have, but I, d I use a Deagle so rarely. Like, the bullets can be quite hard to find. And there's it's just so much easier to use a MK2 or a Glock or something. They're much more usable. He has got epoxy as well. Didn't you know you get the same amount of views on YouTube as you do Twitch? That's crazy. XO, over the course of a week, I get slightly higher views on Twitch. But I've been doing YouTube for longer. If you just take my YouTube channel, I, I've been doing YouTube since 2014. I've got more subscribers or followers, if we want to use the Twitch term. I've got more followers on YouTube than I have on Twitch. So it's gone really well. I'm enjoying multi-streaming. But yeah, I do get similar views on both, yeah. Occasionally, on slower days, there are times when YouTube has got higher viewership than, than Twitch. But on Sundays and Mondays, when I stream at my regular hours, Twitch usually beats YouTube. Yeah, there's quite a lot of people watch streams on XO. I know what you mean, dude. But I guess the thing is, if you started streaming on YouTube, Day Z, you're not... Uh, you're not going to get found very easily, but if you start streaming on Twitch, it's the same difference. But if you've been making videos on YouTube and you've grown a, quite a large following, then you're going to get your views from that for that reason, if that makes sense. You know, like, I think that's that's where the viewership is coming from. It's from my own audience that I've been growing with the videos for such a long time, you know. And then hopefully finding some new people as well from like just being streaming on DayZ, you know. But yeah, you're right. It's quite hard to find streams on. Uh, like if I go to YouTube, I only really see streams of people I'm already subbed to from their videos, you know. I think that's definitely true. But because I've been doing YouTube so long, it kind of worked, you know. Alright, how are we going to do this exactly? Let's try and work it out. Wrong bag. What is that? That's uh, 380. It's got a mag. That's kind of good for killing Zeds. I think I might just go with that. It's got a mag and a built-in suppressor. I think we'll, we'll use that for Zeds. And we'll, we'll drop everything else. I, I have been dropping 380 rounds, though. I've had quite a lot of 380, and I've not been keeping it. That's 9 by 19 That's 380. Oh, well still going to do it. I, I, I don't think I'm going to bother keeping the deep. you got a box. That might not be 380. That might be Toka Rev rounds. It's, it's yellow and blue or beige and blue rather than beige and green. I'll have a look in a minute, but I have a funny feeling I've got Toka Rev rounds on me and not, not 308. That's uh, 762 by 25. And I think the other box is as well. I think I, think I had two. I don't know where the fuck it's gone, but yeah, I, I don't think it's what... I don't think they're the bullets you think they are, anyway. Rage donated $5. Been watching the videos for a long time. Just want to say love it and keep it up, winking face. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. Cheers for the continued support. Thanks for coming in.
Might as well put these in here. I, I could potentially run back for them. I, I don't think I would for this crap, but you never know. I might be here and want something. Well, I'm glad the weather's turned out kind of nice. That's cool. Yes, man. Well, thanks for finding it, dude. Yeah, I am a little bit at the mercy of what YouTube chooses to share because I'm, I'm pushing over the course of a week quite a lot of different things, like usually five streams in a video. So, what you see, what you see might not be what like the latest video. You know, it's just unfortunately it's part of it. If I keep uh, keep pushing the stuff, different things might get shared as such. That was kind of cool, though, to shoot him through the tree. That's badass. Yeah, there's another bottle on the side of that. Maybe I'll take that as well. I think that only just came up. Should be able to get away with that. Where's my duct tape gone? Has it used the whole duct tape? I think it has. So I don't need to take the other one. It seems kind of pointless. One, one more will do. It might be modded so it uses a whole... This server, I mean, might be adjusted so it takes more duct tape to make one. Bottle suppressors are quite powerful, so some servers make it hard. Like, day one's like that, I think, for example. So we got well, ACP rounds, might as well keep those. And they're not going to match with those. Load of old bollocks. Right, that'll do. Let's go. I could have done with a weapon cleaning kit back there, I guess, by the look of it, but that was still very cool. Definitely could do with a cleaning kit. A bit of a, bit of a jump, wasn't it? Three hunting knives, have I? I've got two. Oh, I have got three. Okay, you got me. I'll get rid of that one. I'm not getting rid of two, though. I'm keeping two, and that's that. I'll go this far and no further. Ah-ha! I could have done with the hunting... Uh, sorry, I could have done with the cleaning kit, he says. Let's tap it in. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. I could have done with a three-man squad drinking at a well, all rocking DMRs and Mosins and... Sorry, DMRs and M4s. I could have done with that. <laughs> How often do you say you have a gun stashed away or something? How does stashing work when loot despawns? Well, I, I, I only really stash for the day I'm playing, so I don't build stashes in the sense that you might mean. So when I stash a gun, it's literally hidden for... Uh, I'm not going to fix that yet. When I stash a gun, I'm playing on a server where if I leave it in a bush somewhere, it'll last for eight hours. So like, if I'm streaming for eight hours and I die an hour, I, like, I've got two Mosins. I might hide a Mosin in a bush, and then if I come back six hours later, it, it will still be there, you know? So, I'm only stashing it for later that day. Definitely sapient. Gran Turismo, dude, GG, I hope you have fun. On the subject of things arriving, I got my box of free stuff from Twitch today. Now, I, I, it was an incentive thing they ran, and uh, I got the, I got to this. It was a, a Twitch hype thing. I, I talked about it briefly yesterday, but anyway, I started the stream today, and the delivery arrived five minutes after the stream started. Just as the, so downstairs I've got a Nintendo Switch and some other swag, 
uh, that I haven't even opened yet. I'm, I, I, sh I should have, uh, I should have opened it already. Mr. Twisted, I hope you find a million pounds that you, you then share 50-50 with me. Done. Live stream the opening. I haven't even got the tech to do that. Oh, I could do it on my phone, I suppose. That's not entirely true, but no. No thanks. This is... This is, uh... Different as well. That plane's a bit... I, I, I obviously need to try and get a kill from the top of the wing of that plane. Maybe not right this second, but one day. You're already a millionaire. I am not, Bamboo. I'm afraid to say I'm not. I'd like to be one day, but I'm not right now. That's not me going, oh, poor me, poor me, by the way. You said it. I'm just saying it's not true. I'm quite happy with how things are going. Mr. Twisted, you'll soon be a millionaire. What, what, what happened to sharing it 50-50, you fucker? That's gone out the window immediately, hasn't it? I talked it in. You keep it all, eh? Well, fuck that. <laughs> I hope you find a million and then someone else takes it away. <laughs> I've got to go up here, even if it is suicide. I have to do it. If I see a plane wing and it's got an overwatch potential, I have to try. this scope wasn't it's, it's uh what is it tridgecon acupoint I'm not sure i know what no it's basically a hunting scope really but no i quite like the green it's okay isn't it that's fine it's basically like a hunting scope when i miss though i'm going to blame it on the scope Hey Zorinto, how you doing? Uh, that's not true, by the way, about about Nick Frost's quote. There is a specific reason why I don't use a webcam, and it's not because I'm it's not solely because I'm fuck ugly. <laughs> it's because I don't need one for this game, and the people streaming it kind of bear out that you don't need one for this game, such as Smoke and me and Sour, and Tope, and lots of other people too. It's, they can definitely work, but there's no reason why you have to have a webcam for a game like DayZ. None at all. I could go a bit more in-depth than that, but I don't really want to right now on the basis that I'm uh, moving Moschino tents and it's feeling somewhat open. I think it should feel like this. I, I, Mishkino Tense is meant to feel dangerous and overwatched. It's meant to be somewhere you don't want to be very long. The Mishkino Tense on official is too... Uh, I, I preferred... What I really liked was the old official Mishkino Tense. It was like amazing. It's one of the few places from the old map I miss. Where are the Zeds? There aren't many Zeds. You're right. There's one behind me that we just heard, but there's only a couple here. This is trying to recreate, this one is trying to recreate a bit of a feel for the old Mishkino tents.
I'm going to take that one. I like it. I tried to melee that with F and it just didn't didn't work. Well, I don't know what he's, what he's doing. He's, he's, he's not playing ball, this one. That's a blaze. Oh, come on, so slow. Come on, get to the trees, please, please. I don't think I hit him, unfortunately. It bastard scope, isn't it? <laughs> it's not the scope. There were tricky shots. I had to fire the first one really quick because if I if I'd any 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 longer, I think I'd have died. I wish I wasn't yellow. I thought I just saw someone for a sec there. I hope I'm wrong. I thought I saw someone through the trees just the other side there, but I don't know if I did or I didn't. If I did, it wouldn't be the same player. It might be his buddy, perhaps, but... Flank is taking fucking ages. Sure, Fed. Yeah, probably. 
hadn't really given any thought, dude. It's weird there was some, like, rifle fire as well. Like, like he fired something closer range against the Zeds and maybe ran out of bullets and had to resort to using his rifle. Put the new bastard jacket on as well, hadn't I? There was a weird delay between the shots. So that's the same Blaze guy. He'd gone running back up the hill. Pretty sure that was a Blaze, but that was really weird with the sound and then the death. It felt like he'd missed. But yeah, I must have ran straight past him. He must have been in a tree back up on the hill. Oh well. If you've got a bet that's running now, it's, it's going to get cancelled, guys. Don't worry, because I've died before it's over. Uh, so I'm probably going to move to... Uh, well, I am going to move to the new... It's a shame, that, really. I, that would have been a good fight if I could have flanked around behind him, but he wasn't in the, wasn't in the tents in the back. Right, I'm going to switch to yesterday's geared character. I'll do that. I'll do that. Back in a sec. Be... That was kind of a fun fight, though. You know, GG2, and he pulled back up the hill. Yeah, right, won't do that.
Let me find the server. We were... So this character, I think I'd, I was on a run of like six or seven kills on this character. <clears throat> it was really good at Altiri yesterday. It was a lot of fun. So hopefully, maybe we won't jinx it now, but hopefully we can carry on with a bit more of the same. Twitch. Yeah, Altira is what we're trying to do, yeah. Uh, did I see the Orgo AX pessimistic? Not while I was in the game, obviously, but naturally you saw it afterwards when uh, told me on you. Self-imposed emote mode. <clears throat> Everyone watch it, is watching this just to get him dragged like a chicken, right? What the fuck does that even mean, dude? But yeah, thanks to Comp for coming in, Mr. Eight, I think. I don't even understand what that, that means, but yeah, GG. What are my th jo thoughts on Joey Barton? I think he's a fucking prick of the highest order. I'm surprised he didn't go back to the plane. Well, I kind of wish I had now, but... I thought that would be a bit narrow of a flank and it turns out it would have been because it would have been uh, and I did a wider flank and it was still too narrow if that makes sense. I, I think anyone that moves to France, I think he went to Lyon, didn't he? And then gives an, an English interview and talks like he's in LOLO because he's been in France for a week. I know Steve McLaren did it as well, but anyone that does that has... <laughs> <laughs> as revealing themselves if you ask me you know it's one thing to it's one thing to try and speak in french it's quite another to be english and move to france and after after a week or two be interviewed and be going well with this game we would like what the fuck is that with this game i really tried to see if i could get le roast beef what the fuck are you talking about joey you're english <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't agree. I think Joey Barton's always been a bit of a douche. I, I think the, uh, it's the stuff he's been saying about commentators is not true either. I, I really, forgetting about Joey Barton, he's had a bit of a pop at uh, women commentators. I'm not really interested in that topic. There's too much drama in there. But it's my belief that you can be a commentator on football and never have played the game because like, you can be Jose Mourinho who's never played the game and he's he's one of the best managers of all time you know like some managers weren't very good players and you can be more than capable to commentate and have opinions on the game like it turns out some of the best food critics can't even cook you know <laughs> you do not need to it's, it's a lot easier to be a critic than a creator it's a lot easier to be a food critic and write about who's made bad food than it is to go and become like a, a world famous chef that's definitely true but it's absolutely valid that you can know what food tastes like without being able to cook it. Yeah, Dissy Dre. I did move, but then I moved back, obviously, you know. But uh, the stuff he said recently, I, I think that's horseshit. You do not need to have been a, a, a player in the Premier League to have an opinion about the Premier League and have an opinion on the players of it. I, I, think, I just don't think that's true. Hey Paul accidentally found you live on YouTube. Never ask, did you ever read the original Stephen King story of TRM? I did, yeah. Yeah, I did. I, I wasn't a huge fan, if I'm honest. I uh, I really liked the Backman books. I've read them. I, I really enjoyed The Long Walk, and they've been talking about making The Long Walk into a film forever, and I'd really be excited to see the f a film of that, but 
uh, the, the name was inspired by... Uh, my name was inspired by the movie, not the book. I have, I have read the book. I read the Backman books because I was such a fan of the movie. And because I liked the movie, I didn't like the book so much. I was very young. I was at school. I was a kid. About 11 or 12, I think. Maybe 11, I think. But uh, I, I really liked the Batman books and particularly loved The Long Walk, but I wasn't a huge fan of the... I uh, wasn't a huge fan of the Running Man book because it, I'd, just, I'd seen the film and I really liked it. Watsy, I am on both platforms, yeah. Uh, Battleaxe, thank you very much for the support, dude. Matt Mahoney, thank you for the resub as well. Porkins, Mr. Pheasant, and uh, Big Hoss, thank you as well. Now, we've joined this server cold, and this is a bit of a risk. Like, there could be someone on the top of this tower, and they could have been shooting up here for ages, and I won't know, because I've just joined the server. Yeah, I don't remember the talisman from, but you've answered you've answered it. Exactly, what pork chop. Murray Walker was like he was synonymous with uh, with motor racing and motor racing commentary, and he was probably the best motor racing commentator or yeah, commentator that there's ever been. Certainly for Formula One, but he he wasn't a former driver, you know. That doesn't mean Formula Formula One drivers. You can get like like. Like, you can get a real colour and a real flavour for the sport, you know? Like, that's why with football you often get, like, a professional commentator and then you get a colour uh, commentator as well who's more adding some flavour from personal experience, let's say. You know, that's quite common. But both are valid. Like, on TalkSport, for example, I listen to TalkSport, former players very often have terrible opinions, you know, because they're biased towards the players. Uh, maybe unconscious bias, but they tend to side with players in ways that they really shouldn't because they were a player, you know? They see everything through the eyes of a player and not through balanced eyes, you know? It doesn't make them... Uh, like, having a former player doesn't mean that their opinions are more valid. They can actually be worse in some ways, you know? And like like, like you said there, Gabby Agbonlahor, he, he has opinions about players that are way better than he ever was and he'll say negative things about players that were better than him, you know? Is that valid? It's definitely valid, but so is having opinions about a player when you've never had, when you never kicked a ball in your life, you know. You can have seen a lot of football and know all about it. I don't know, it's not running great again today. I don't, I'd love to get this drilled down. My PC is not been feeling it. I've had, I've had to do a few graphical drivers and whatnot, but the last couple of weeks I've been having more frame drops and stuff than ever before. It's strange. Martin Brundle is good. Yeah, I enjoy Martin Brundle commentary. I don't mind DC. The Coulthard's okay. But I don't. I don't agree with uh, Jerry Barton's opinion on that. Like uh, taking aside the the whole women commentators thing, I think that's a subject that I just can't be asked. To. There's there's just far too much drama in that for me. So I'd I'd, I'd rather rather just talk about it in general. I definitely think you can be a very, very, very good commentator. A commentator, sorry, I can't even fucking say it. Without having to have played the sport before. I just don't, do not think those are... You're entitled to your view. Just because you've not played the game before doesn't, you know, doesn't mean you don't know whether a goalie should have stayed, saved a goal or not. You can have watched the sport for 40 years and built up a, 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 an opinion on what's right and what's wrong.
Blaze, yeah, it can be a bit tricky. It might be partly the map. Chernarus wasn't 100% A-OK. -okay. I think the ghillie's going to really help me up here. So there was loads of people here yesterday. This is a really good town for PvP. Quiet right now, though. It's far down south, but there's good military loot. Like, the, all of these containers. Now I'm guessing the boats as well. Might go and have a look in one of those boats, just to see, but... The boats have been added on the most recent patch, you see, so I don't know, but... All, all of those containers down there can have military loot. I found AK-74s and whatnot. Over that side, there's some military areas. Around here, there's a couple of Armour 2 barracks. There's one. There's one over the left there. There's the other. All around there is decent loot as well. You can, you can find really good guns. Like proper top tier assault rifles. I did candle like it was indoors. How am I not taking shots right now? Well, there might only be this one guy here. It's at, If there's somebody moving around on this tower, they're really easy to see, but if you're looking at this tower from 600 metres away and someone's prone on it, you could easily miss them. I'll definitely start taking shots when someone starts shooting at me, but... That makes no sense. You know what I mean. If I start shooting, I'll end up starting to take shots because I've announced my location, but... Until I fire, I could I could well get away with it. That tends to be the way. It does feel incredibly open to this hill. I think we're going to have to go and pick a new new location. This this location is not... I mean, there's clearly somebody over with an SKS over on the military base, but... Not helping me right now. I think it's inside that Armour 2 barrack there. I'm going to relocate, I think. I could definitely do this IRL. No problem. I'm going to get to the apartments and try and get on those for now. Uh, Balex, thank you very much for the resub. Once again, dude, thank you. Stand in a plant pot and make passers by jump. <laughs> Good work.
I agree about glove durability. I, I, I think certain things degrade crazily quick. The server we're on here, I think, has actually increased glove durability a bit. That was a particularly high ladder, but like, if you're playing on the mouse, for example, and you slide down a ladder like this, your gloves could be nearly ruined. It's kind of stupid. It's not that hard, but having to sewing kit your gloves, it's more annoying if you're a new spawn and you find gloves. The amount of times I end up I, having to take off my gloves so I can punch a few zombies is so frustrating. It's stupid, isn't it? They're the things you're wearing to try and protect your hand, but you have to take them off your hands to punch a zombie. There was other shots further away. I think there's, there was somebody in there. And there was other shots further away as well. I, I think we might... If we wait not too long at all, I think we might find someone else to shoot at as well. You can shoot the, through the crack on the balcony, yeah. Based Hornet, there's some zombies around. We've seen some while I was on top of the tower, for sure. We just crossed over a bridge where there was a zombie to the left as we crossed the bridge as well. There's one. There's the one that was on the bridge. There's usually quite a few around that industrial area around there. I really like Alteria. I love this town. I was thinking about this town this morning, actually, funnily enough. I've, pe people say, oh, here we are again. We, This town is brilliant for snipe-offs, you know. There's, there's plenty of buildings. You can counter-snipe. You can go and try and get in position. You can... You can be down there and then you can flank around, get in a building, try and shoot at the guy that's just shot at you and whatnot. This town is really, really good. It's got good loot, so there's reasons to come here, but there's really good spots to overwatch as well. It's 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 a really nice place to 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 be if you're geared. This wouldn't be a nice place to be if there's somebody up here already. Pull my finger. Pull. Pull it. Do it. Do it now. Extra mental. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give that a swerve just for now, if that's all right with you. You don't get many zombies down there, actually, at the military base. They don't seem to spawn. You get, you don't get them there so much. I saw him poke in the edge of the building briefly, but I don't know if he moved or if he didn't.
I don't know. I, I think I should probably move. There's obviously two. We've got one, but... see him at the moment. He's got to be around that area. I doubt he flanked towards me. I don't think he had time. I did load a few bullets, but I don't think he had time to run towards that much. I don't think there's a lot of mileage in baiting him. He already knows where I am. What's, what am I going to do? Tell him I'm still here. stamina to go over there. There's no ladder there, that sucks. He ran straight to you. Also, the book is only better if you read it first. That's very often the case, Battle Axe. I'm not sure he did. He might have done. He was running towards me, but I feel like he stopped and went back. Look at any object in the world and know what it's going to feel like on your tongue without actually licking it. Hmm. There's a lot I could say to that. There's a lot I could say, but I think I'd best not. <laughs> I don't know if I maybe should try go try to should have gone for that building maybe. They're all too dirty.
Uh, thank Lee, you thank you for the support. The game I love. J Boy, thank you for coming in. Uh, I I'm the, in the same boat on that front. I I love it too. Thank you for coming in, dude. I kind of want to move around. I, I don't know if this is going to be a good move. I'm going to a more highly populated area right now, but and we're also about to go over a bridge of of death. Quite pleased with the first shot though, it was alright. He may have come up onto this hill. He might have flanked around and gone towards the apartments. He may have come around. He might be in that house overwatching. He might... I know there's two. He knows I know that. But he may still be just covering his mate's Bobby body, hoping I'm stupid enough to go and loot him. Could have sworn there was three. I only saw two, but it wasn't for very long. You know, you might be right. Where's his dead body? Is he gone already? Oh, he's there. like this is incredibly obvious but let's just Bill uh, thank you for the three months appreciate it dude If I could meet anyone dead or alive, who would it be? Oh, fucking hell. Tyler, thank you very much for the support. <laughs> Such a big question. I don't know if my tiny brain is capable of answering that. SKS is still on the ground. Luke Littler. <laughs> the correct answer is alive, yeah. The milky bar kid. Well, he is strong and tough. Richard Feynman, okay. Isn't the body pointing, but pointing to what? Where the buried treasure is. Do not see the treasure. I don't know. I, I, I quite... I, there's plenty of people I find interesting, but on the spot right now, I'm drawing a fucking blank. Matt Berry, interesting. Uh, 
I think I'd find it quite interesting to spend a day with like some of like the, my favorite like comedians through the years, like Rick Mail, for example, at like Aid Edmondson. We were talking about Bottom the other day. Like, I was fascinated by Reeves and Mortimer when I was a kid. So, uh, like Bob Mortimer, Vic Reeves uh, would be fairly high up on the list, I'd say. I have absolutely no intention of looting that body. Now he has got an SKS. I might change my mind and the reason is I've got an AKM and I've got a drum mag and I've got shitloads of space for more bullets. But I just do not feel ready for such, such a stupid decision. It will get me killed. Air Fryer's V Microwave is on channel 5. Well worth a watch. Oh my god. A great philosopher once wrote naughty, naughty, very, very naughty. naughty. Ha 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 ha. I'll read. Ha 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 ha. Shit, I can't see it. I was absolutely sure I'd be able to see the dead do from it. I was so close to death. <laughs> I'm going back in. I'm going back in. Oh. Fucking hell. That was close. That was closer than I dared to even think about. That was dodgy. My longest relationship ever love you at three running months. Daisy is better than pizza, don't at me. I can see that. Certainly Daisy enables me to buy pizza. That, that's good. Uh, Pasty, uh, Cannibal, uh, Valix, Valix, sorry, Mozzie, cheers for the support. I don't know. I, I'm really struggling to, to, to really pin down, like, my one person that I'd like to meet, whoever I could meet. It's okay, Paul. You can say it. I can't. I can't say it. I don't know. Like I'm trying to like think like, like it would have been fun to like be around at the time of sort of Frank's, and I don't really like the music, but pizza. to have a night don't out with the Rat Pack, for example, could have been amazing. Uh, I just I'm I'm fucking lost. Hi Paul, hope all is well. Still loving the content. A little advice on a watch, please. I'd like to get my partner the Citizen Chronograph tie. Harlequin, Citizen are great. I don't know them. I don't know all of them uh, like off by heart. Like, but if if you're looking at Citizen, you can't really go wrong. They're they're a decent brand that make decent watches. So you're not making a bad choice. Uh, I don't know the the model numbers of them off by heart, but. They're they're a, they're a decent brand and they're good value for what you spend you get what you pay for they're good.
Yeah, just one more watch. Jody, his name is. He's a Scottish fella that lives in Australia. He's done loads of reviews on different citizens. He's, he does make decent videos. Right, here we go. Here's the death. Tapping R, I must have tapped R a bit slow. Easy. Night out with Bill Hicks and John Belushi would be better than the room. You might be right, Booney, alive, actually. That's a fair point. Only one person in the room to look for. Who would it be? You were in the room with everyone you've ever met, dead or alive, and you could be one person. Miss by 16 fist oh bump, Miss by 16 fist bump, Miss by 16 fist bump. I'm not answering that one. That, I don't even know the answer to that. Amish said, yeah, I, that, like, that, that's a decent answer. I'm going to read it out, but I can see, like, I guess if I was looking at, if I was in a room full of people, who would I look for? All of the people that I love are still alive, except for my dad. Not I'm quite true, because I've lost grandparents Loving as well, but in immediate family, I'd be, I'd be looking for my dad, I guess, because, like, there'll be people out there that have lost both parents or lost lost a partner and whatnot, but for now, like, my dad is the most significant person I've lost to bereavement, so I guess I'd pick him, you know, for the same reason, but, like, most other people that are really important in my life are still in it, you know? Thank you. If I could go back in time, I would go back to the birth of Ish and cheer him into this world. Mrs. just brought my dinner. Thanks, yeah, I don't have a second YouTube channel, no. This is weird. I'm eating pork steak whilst eating pork IRL. <sighs> uh, Dark Fit, dude, thank you for the support. I would go back to the birth of Ish and cheer him into the world. Oh, I'd like to boo. Boo! <laughs> boo! <laughs> boo! Just like the lady from Princess Bride. His buddy just ran away. Yeah, I can't believe it either, Bond. Milton, uh, I'm new to Daisy, loving the streams. Thank you, Milton. Cheers for the super chat. Gin and Sofa, super chat. Thank you very much. He was a hostage and I saved him. I like that. That sounds good. I'm not eating pork steak like with my hands, no. Dear Paul, my girlfriend has always been a daring and adventurous lover. However, when I left her house last night, I noticed her PC was old and runs slow. Can you recommend a good UK-based PC supply? Exclamation PC cat flap, I absolutely can. Check out PC specialist, sure. It, to avoid disappointment. Just to be serious a sec, exclamation PC guys, if you get the opportunity, it's just a link to the PC specialist website, but 
they are my sponsor. Have a little look if you can. It, it's no no great shakes. And if you're in Europe, use the code MENZ to get a little bit of money off if you buy a rig. The thing I want to know is how exactly does Ish know I'm, I've orgasmed? Who's been uploading my tantric sex so that he could find out? I saw it in my dreams. <laughs> Not a fake dino, Seb can. It was a 17 month resub. You can't really fake that, dude. But, but my chat and my viewers know damn well that I'm not very good at plugging the sponsor, so they remind me to do it once in a while. Fucking hell. Just bit into that pitter and a load of pork juice came jizzing out. It's a bit light sub like lights out substatica, but it's uh, food. I'm eating. Oh fucking hell. Yeah, I just took a load to my chest. even sitting at my desk properly. Poor guy. I don't think he's one of those two. I think he's a different player. And I'm basing that on the fact that he's dropped his SKS. I was drinking a. I was, I was having a little cup out, drink out of my cup of tea when he when he came in the house. I wasn't sitting forward. I was sitting way back. I didn't have my hands on the keyboard or the mouse. this food delivery service a vicious killing of an unarmed man the evil manse i didn't know unarmed he was unarmed until he was dead well i'm not do you want me to wait until he starts shooting at me before i return fire i'm doing that fuck that rules of engagement are if they get in your view shoot the shit out of them okay that <laughs> their rules of engagement are thus Nom nom nom, this is really good. <sighs> Gonna hide this just round here. Nobody will ever find. It is burning, yeah.
Well, I'm, I'm mainly... would have lost that fight. <laughs> That's possibly true. <laughs> you were cheering him on from birth a second ago. <laughs> uh, Dark Vet, thank you for the bits. Lord Vader, thank you very much for the support as well. Dutch Roller, a bargain. Yeah, I'm camping, as it were, because I'm I'm overwatching that guy. Is that guy's got a buddy? That dead guy's got a buddy. I was expecting him to come back, but I'm also eating as well, so I'm just not leaving here while I eat. Redline, I wonder how many of them are from you. This continued project. Thank you so much for the gifted sub bomb, dude. It's incredibly kind, man. Thank you. What is yours, fave day Z moments? Mine is the time I punched a fully geared guy to death with a chicken saying, eat my meat. Mine was killing that guy. Honestly, Almighty, I, I really don't know. I, so hard. That's partly why I make videos, to be honest. Uh, there's a... Like, Crazy Chris is, really sticks in the memory. Trumpet Brothers, Perfect Day and Daisy. There's an, there's an encounter on uh, 2014 with Hollis, a German fella. The one that's in the 10-year anniversaries where he plays... Uh, his guitar around a campfire. That really sticks in my mind. So it might be that. <laughs> sort of crispy pork belly with a kind of a sort of barbecue, barbecue sauce kind of tang. In Pitta with some lettuce and shit. That was amazing. Uh, right, let's have a look. I plan on starting streaming and making videos with Daisy. Any tips on streaming and content creation? Yeah. The biggest tip you need to hear, Cow Stout. Stop planning. It doesn't require planning. It requires starting. There's nothing to plan for. Download OBS, watch a tutorial, and start tomorrow. No, that's, that's it. That's the truth. What's to plan? Just do it. It requires zero planning. Jake, dude, hey, thanks for Tiara tuning in. Said, I plan on starting streaming and making videos with days. Any tips on streaming and content creation? The cougar in the dark was pretty scary, you know. Normally a cougar in the dark is quite an appealing thing, but not, not that time. Thanks very much, Cow Scout. Uh, cougar, thank you very much. Sorry, not Cougar. Jake, thank you very much. Obviously content creation is a bit more than that, but the honest truth is, dude, you learn as you go. Like... You don't know what you don't know. Like when you start streaming, you you, you start realizing the things that you need to know and how to do it and stuff. You know, you, you learn as you go. You had David James in, did you? He, he always does seem to come across pretty well. he just left his buddy watch this hey youtube chat in watching you t he t r m z love 
Uh, must not leave without taking superfluous item of loot that I don't need. That cougar in your last video would have made me crap myself. Cougar, uh, sorry, cougar, fuck me, I'm doing well. Red line, I'm not even going to justify that with a response. It doesn't deserve one. Uh, Dave, yeah, it, uh, it's slightly better. Yeah, it is. It's hard to know how it's going to work out in the long run, but it's slightly better doing both multi-streams than it was doing just YouTube for videos and streaming on Twitch. It's hard to know how it might pan out, you know. I I checked my stats for January. This time last year, I had 3,100 viewers as an average across the whole of January. This, this year, it was 2,850, so my viewership is slightly down year on year. But I think it was slightly down anyway, you know, so, but uh, nonetheless... My overall views My are slightly lower on Twitch, a few but... Years back, ...sent out an email saying, there is a cougar on the prowl. I told them, not to worry, just me mum. <laughs> it's just me mum, innit? Uh, thank you for the support, dude. Thank you very much. Well, I'll leave them in case we need them. Yeah, it's... Financially, it's a little bit better, but the main thing is that I'm growing slightly more subs, you know, that... My sub growth on YouTube is a little bit higher. I'm still growing lots of, lots of follows on Twitch. So all in all, I think it's been a, a reasonable thing so far. Uh, Jake, thank you again. Almighty Truffle, thank you very much. See, I kind of don't want to leave this area, but probably we should. Dutch roller, I don't know. I, I don't look at the stats very much. I only looked at that by chance, you know. I I wasn't really... I don't really study my stats very much, but I only looked... I was looking at something else. To be honest, I was looking at what days I was off sick in January because I had that stomach bug. Uh, I was looking at that briefly, and, I, I, and then I was like, I wonder how much my views are compared to this time last year. But I don't normally look at stuff like that on YouTube. But with the YouTube stats, it breaks it down into live streaming and video views and stuff, but... I, I don't really look at that overall. I just look at the overall bigger picture and just see where it's at. And it's 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 better. He got stuck in an undertow. Oh my god. I'm only reading out the punchline. I'm not reading out the joke. <laughs> I can't do it. I really enjoy the, the, the both. I, one thing I, I am still getting used to is getting used to reading both chats, you know. I am trying my best. I've been reading quite a lot of YouTube chat today. But it is quite hard to maintain both chats and keep an eye keep on things on and keep it ticking over. It's it's another level of uh, things to... And it's another plate to spin. But it feels rewarding to do. I enjoy streaming. It just makes it harder than maybe it was before. Have you seen the Valentine's bolt? It heals all illnesses. No. Have the devs done an update for Valentine's, have they? It is possible to combine them into one feed coder, but it doesn't work very well. So I've kept it as two. YouTube chat doesn't tick at the same rate as Twitch. It's kind of weird. So if you use third-party software to combine them, what you end up with is Twitch chat instant. Like, every time someone types a message, it comes instantly. But YouTube chat isn't instant, so you get... 40 messages one by one of Twitch and then you get 30 YouTube messages all in one go. 
uh, which is just like really weird and then sometimes it, it loses YouTube so you end up just with Twitch and you have to keep alt tabbing to reset it and the only way that I don't have to keep alt tabbing to fix things is if I have two separate chats it's just more reliable I have got envy and you're right I should probably use them it's not that dark but no point carrying them unless I'm going to use them Me, that's bright. Be surprised he didn't come for a go. A third monitor is something that's on the cards, Red Line. I'll, I'll probably have to get two monitors, to be honest. I think I need to get. I need to get a new main monitor, uh, but I need to get rid of this old AOC monitor as well. So I might I might get a smaller one. I might get a brand new main monitor, and then I might get a smaller third tertiary monitor that uh, can go vertical for chats, maybe. I'll, I'll probably do that at some point. I should do that. Thank you, uh, back in that. Yeah, we, 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 we I say we, the mods have done a very good job uh, over the years helping me to maintain that. Thanks, mods. <laughs> That's the yearly thank you out of the way. <laughs> but yeah, we, we have worked hard. Like Some people might not like the, uh, the modding, but I think it does help to keep the chat a nice place to be. really know where to go now. I don't want to go back to the airfield. I think I might just go north a bit. I, uh, we may end up walking in, like, bumping into new spawns. I don't know, but I, I'm going to go north and we'll find some towns to overwatch and just have a look around. I, I don't really want to go... It really isn't that dark. I don't really want to go to the airfield. It's a bit dull just going airfield to here and here to airfield. I, we got some kills at the airfield on this character yesterday and it was great, but... I think, we, I think I'm going to head towards, well, whatever we bump into. I don't know. We're going to go that way and we'll see where we end up. I think you need a punch card for the underground bunker and I don't know where you find it. There's no point going to the underground bunker unless I've got a punch card, I think. Did I get the second kill? Cody, I got a second kill, but unfortunately it wasn't the same guy. I think it was some poor bastard that had uh, came into the same house, but he wasn't he wasn't looted. He wasn't geared. Let's go this way. Excalibur, it was very much a wolf's day, wasn't it? Cheers for the super chat, dude. Thank you. Redline, thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Thank you very much. That's where we got knocked unconscious yesterday by the guy that took my uh, meds and then ran away. Frosty, that punch cards at convoys is Livonia, Alteria, I don't know. Maybe you're right. I've not seen a single convoy on Alteria yet, so I would expect it to be helicopter crash sites and maybe uh, maybe convoys if there are them, but I've not even seen one. There wasn't a player at the window, no. I hope not. There was a like a tree, like a tree, like a plant in the window there.
Abajam, I'm certain it wasn't him. I, I didn't see him enough to really be sure just from my own eyes, but based on the guy, I, the guy I killed didn't look quite so geared from memory as the guy that was still alive. And so there's no way it was that guy that was just dropping a sporter for an SKS, you know. It, that just wasn't him. It, was, it wasn't the guy. Even without knowing what clothes they were wearing and what vest he had and stuff, it, no way it was the guy. You just got the same ad twice, dude. You'd better buy two. But thanks again, Excalibur. Thank you for the support. Cheers for the super chat, too. Leonard Skinner or Rush? Bleh. I don't really know an answer to that. I don't know the music well enough. Genuinely, I don't. I'll, I'm sure I'll know the music, right? If I heard it, but they're not... They're not bands I'm... Oh, dead zombie. They're not bands I'm familiar with. I go, I'll go with Rush just because of the uh, connection to Trailer Park Boys, though. Shots on, shots on the far hill. Dead Z. I think we might go over towards this hill where the other shots were coming from. It might have been at that town there. It might have been someone shooting the zombies. Well, it's not really a town, but a couple of houses. bit of a military camp there. We could have a look at that too. I must be honest, music like Rush, Leonard Skinner and all of the other ones of, of that kind of era, I'll know the songs from films and such like, but it's not music I ever got into as a lad. Like, uh, it, It's slightly before my time, what with me being so young. <laughs> and a lot of that kind of stuff, I just don't I, I quite like some of the songs, but I've never been... I could say the same about uh, Mick Jagger and co. I can't... For the fucking... That's bad. I can't remember the name of the band that Mick Jagger's in. My brain is so fried. But same with them. I like some of the music. They're great when they're in, when they're in films, but... Uh, yeah, Rolling Stones. Well done. Fuck me. I'm dumb sometimes. My brain just... I think I'm dehydrated slash finished. I can't fetch things out of my uh, out of my memories. But anyway, yeah, I, same with Rolling Stones. I like I like some of the songs. I like like Painted Black in the right film is amazing, for example. But never bought an album. I've never listened to an album. Probably never will. Not that you buy albums now, but you know what I mean. Maybe we could go and overwatch that military camp. And there was shot somewhere on top of that hill, but by the time I get to that hill, the shot shooter isn't going to be there, is he or her? So. Paul is a Swifty, no. 
I, I don't really listen to a great deal of music anymore, but like, I, I quite like like American music that I like would like start and end with Johnny Cash. Not really. I quite like Johnny Cash. I, I got into Green Day and Rancid and a few like punky type bands when I was younger. They're very different those two. Uh, but I yeah. You're going dry, January complete. There's so much. My birthday in March, booze free. Hope you're well. Snapback, G G. Well, I didn't make dry, dry January. I didn't even start it until about 4th or 5th of January, so that was already a fail. I went 20 days with no alcohol, and then I had three days where I had a bit of whiskey. And I don't even know what day I'm on now, 8 or 9 or something since I last had any, but I'm not counting the days so much now. I'm, I've tried to set myself the goal of going February, March, and April with no alcohol. Uh, I, don't, I think... The last time I had alcohol was Sunday the 28th of January. Not that I'm counting or anything. But I'm gonna, I, I'm not really worried so much about that. I'm just going to try and do February, March, April. I did like Aerosmith, actually. I quite like Guns N' Roses. I like Nirvana as well. And they're quite different between them, but I, I quite like Nirvana. I, I, I did like Aerosmith quite a bit until they became mostly a ballad band. shot at. In fact, I I knocked someone on Con in, the, in the, one of the apartments of this town the other day. Yeah, I, I, I didn't oh, I didn't mind Radiohead. Thank they were pretty decent. Thank you for keeping me entertained while I'm feeling so ill. Keep on running, Mr. TRMZ. <laughs> you have to be in the right mood for Radiohead. Like, OK Computer, The Benz, but both amazing albums, but uh, OK Computer is uh, it's a great album, but if you're not in the right frame of mind, it'll bring you down a little bit. If that makes sense, you know they're great. It's a OK Computer is a wondrous album, but if you're not in the right frame of mind, it, it won't be the one for you. Where am I going? I'm just I'm just coming away from the military slash town I was at on the prowl for dudes. Wherever are, there are dudes, I'll be there. Is basically the plan. I don't need loot. But I want to try and find myself a little firefight somewhere where I've not been for a while. But there's a military base nearby. We're going to have a look at that in a sec. Really not sure I need these anymore. But still wearing. Do I like Marilyn Manson? Um, I quite like the, the the track mob scene, which is very, very popular. Never been a huge fan of Marilyn Manson, but I didn't mind that song. And I think it made me buy the album that it was on, but I don't remember much about it. Have I heard of David Gray? No, never heard of him. <laughs> David Gray, you're showing your age if you're trying to think of somebody bland, and David Gray's your answer. Well, this is a military base I'm meant to be overwatching, but at the moment it looks like we're just going in.
That one looks like he's aggroed. Far side there, arms out. When they do that arms out thing, that, that usually means they've been aggroed. Is there a reason you don't use flashlights on your guns? There's not much reason to, dude. That, like, the flashlight with on your gun obviously only works when your gun is raised, and you don't go around anywhere with your gun raised. You're far too slow. You make yourself a really big target. So, uh, if I was in an underground area which was completely, uh, like, impossible to see, I might do it. But beyond that, there's no certainly there's no reason when you're wearing MVGs, obviously, but... That aside, normally there's not really much of a benefit, it's just a hindrance rather than a help, you know. You're just letting everybody else know where you are and you only get any benefit from it when you raise your gun, which isn't very often. Approximate server population, substatica, it's always going to be very high or full, always, that's the answer always. Easy, dude. Take it easy. Hope you have a good day, day at work. Zombies down there. I don't know. I d I'm not sure I will have aggroed those. Sorry, not aggroed. Caused those to spawn in. Ever had an admin confront you or avenge a cheater for you? No. I don't do that kind of stuff. Right, so... I'm not judging anyone that does, but if I'm on a server that uh, is looking for cheats or is looking for whatever, I, I think that's a great thing and the admins are doing a cool thing, but I, I don't need it to be part of my stream, if that makes sense. So, if I get killed by a cheater, then I, I hope that the admins work it out and they ban whoever it is, but I don't want any of my gear back and I don't want the stream to be, oh, TRMZ got killed by a cheat, so he's being teleported back and gear and have given all his gear. Not actually true, actually, not not true. I, having said that, once on the Grey Man server, that exact thing happened. I got killed by, I can't, I can't remember the scenario now, but it did happen once, but that was something that was just, like, offered as it was and and. and yeah, I got killed by a stream sniper and it was blatant and so they they teleported me back. But it was a bit weird because I would I was streaming and it was Sacriel that was doing it and he was streaming. I was like, well, this is going to be a bit awkward if I refuse. I'd better go along with it. So I did. And I don't really mind that. They'd found him. They knew he was stream sniping. But as a rule, I try not to do that kind of thing. So it has happened once, actually. I'd forgotten about that. But no, like, if I die, I'd rather just leave it. I may not have taken the loot. I can't remember. Some people that watch might remember, but in f in f I'm, I'm, doing, I'm throwing myself under the bus. I was offered the chance to teleport back to my loot because they were a stream sniper, and I said no. And then I ran back ages later, and there was some loot still where I died. I think that was it, but no, I didn't get teleported back or my loot back. So I'm, do I'm doing myself a disservice on that one, but yeah. I've, I've been teleported back if I've died to a bug or something, as in uh, sometimes servers will help you if you get stuck in a place where you shouldn't possibly get and it's a bug with a new map or something. I've had my character moved once or twice, but only if that's what they do for everybody, not if they only do it for certain people kind of thing, you know?
I'm really not enjoying the fact that these Zeds seem to be aggroed, but they're not. There's nobody here. Let's leave the wolves before they. Uh, we should still be able to lose those wolves. God, isn't it colourful after wearing those uh, those goggles? It looks weird. So yeah, a bit of a roundabout way of answering, but uh, I don't take gear back if I get killed in an underhand way. Is that it? Like, and, uh, there are, maybe there are some servers and some streamers that do do that, and I'm not judging. I think as long as you have faith in the admins and you know them really well, maybe your own team are your admins, let's say. But from my own perspective, it's very easy for that to be misconstrued. You know, if I get killed and then the admins say it's a stream sniper and I get teleported back and get given my gear, it's definitely creating some unknown because I'm saying they're a stream sniper, the, the admins are saying they're a stream sniper. But there will definitely be people watching thinking, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, he's just getting his fucking loot back. And there's no point in that, you know, like, what? I'd rather just re-gear, ban the stream snipers so they can't do it anymore. But if I get all my gear back, I'm just looking like I'm getting a free pass. You know, like, like, sometimes in the past, over the years, someone has been banned for stream sniping and they weren't stream sniping. I'm sure it's happened, right? It must have happened. Like... I wouldn't want to get my gear back in those circumstances, you know. There's a fire in that house. I nearly missed it. This is going to be tricky. I think I'm just going to get close. If it's a big squad, this could come back and bite me on the ass. Oh! Seen him to the left. Oh, no way! Different player, that sucks. I wasn't going to shoot him as well. He's got no, uh, he's got no gun on his back, in his hand, so I would have left him. I got killed from behind and up the hill. That sucks. What an amazing life that was, but the fire did for me. The guy overwatching could well have been completely another player doing the same thing as me. Now, I got killed from behind and up the hill. The, the blast splatter on the screen kind of tells you that I was killed from behind and to the left. So, uh, I don't think they were together. I really don't. Looking at the guy, he's got not much gear. He's, like, just cooked some food. He's relatively a new spawn. I don't think that was some kind of really clever trap. I think that was somebody else overwatching the smoke and me being in the middle and getting killed. It came from behind. I like that quote. Oh, well, never mind. I'm not even going to bother trying to get back to where I died. I don't see the point. That was an amazing life that we just had. We'll just go to this castle and try and find some more shit. I wish I hadn't seen the fire now, obviously. I'd have ran straight into the dude. <sighs> Grimlove, I know the map to some extent. Yeah, I don't know it perfectly, but I know it a bit, yeah. 
Makara, I don't buy that it was his buddy, and the reason for that is that the guy that was there was such a lowly geared player. It's rare that you get somebody in an area like that where somebody's got no decent vest, no decent gun, and they're cooking because they're starving and then they have to cook food, chances are, and they're being overwatched by some crazily geared guy. I'd say there's about a 5 in 6 chance, or whatever, 80-90% chance, that the guy from behind was a third party overwatching because of the smoke. I think that's much more likely. There's lots of possibilities, but that's the most likely one. Uh, so, Louis, thank you for the new sub. Rico, uh, Virilian, thank you for the support as well. Great Hambino, thank you for the resub. Butterfly Blue, Mausovsky, thank you very much too. What are my thoughts on Hamilton to Ferrari? I'm excited to see how it goes, but I think if things maintain as they are, no one's going to be beating Red Bull, are they? You know, but. I would love to see Hamilton get a car that's on a par with Red Bull when he moves to Ferrari. That would be epic. Benjamin, I don't stay in one spot for hours. That's not true. I really don't stay in one spot for hours. I move around like a crazy person. On this map, I particularly enjoy that town to the south, but that that's not easy to be stream sniped at, to be honest. Yakety, thank you so much for the gifted subs. You've been Bob Skeg, thank you for the sub on YouTube. I might have missed that, dude. Thank you, Bob. Uh... Yakety, thank you very much for the continued support, dude. Well, I'll stay in one space during an event if needs be, but the events are set up that way, aren't they? You know, like, they're normally like, get to point A, wait half an hour, move to point B, wait half an hour. You kind of have to do that, don't you? It's in the rules. What's the vibe with Alteria compared to other maps? It's similar to, not in the way it looks, but in the way it plays, it's similar to Essica. It's quite a fast-paced, really good, fun action map. Uh, I think it's a nicer map for PvP like in general than Essica. I really like Alteria. I think it's a lot of fun. Alteria is a... Far, for, for me, anyway, it might not be what John McClane is designing, by the way, but for me, at, moment, at the moment, it's kind of fun if the loot is not amazingly hard to find and you can end up having really good PvP against squads or lone wolves or whatever. For PvP at the moment, I'm really, really liking it. Ish, yeah, you're the same. I, I think it's great. Would I partner up with Frankie and do a video together? I'm only playing the game because of Frankie on PC, so of course I'd be extraordinarily uh, happy to try to team up with him. So, of course I would, but... He doesn't do a great deal of standalone. He's not doing a great deal on YouTube at the moment. I hope that changes, but uh, I'd be very happy to do so. But I, I doubt that opportunity will arise anytime soon. So, runs it wasn't all, but a lot of it was uh, a lot of it was like scripted for entertainment more so towards the end you know like with multiple takes being taken and re-recording the same scenario to get the best possible footage and there's nothing wrong with that that that's that, he, he was making entertainment not making let's plays right uh, maybe in the early days some people might have had some challenges with it i didn't i enjoyed the videos right but uh <clears throat> that's by the by i it, if I had the opportunity to play with play with Frankie on PC and just play the game and whatever randomly happened happened, I'd be very very like happy to do that. That'd be amazing. But uh, like Frankie on PC is massive on YouTube, like properly massive. Uh, he's the reason I'm playing the game along with probably a million other people, you know. Like, and he's already got people he plays with. I, I, I don't see that opportunity arising anytime soon, so I ain't gonna worry about it. The 
The loot here doesn't seem great at the moment, does it? Yeah, Kitty, thanks again, dude. Really appreciate it, man. Thank you. Dip Squad, ir irrespective of whether it's me or anyone else, if you meet another streamer or another YouTuber, try to play the game as if you've never met... If you not, Like, play the game if you can, like you don't have any in knowledge of who they are. If you can. If you met them in game yesterday, that's different, isn't it? You know, if you met somebody in game and you go, oh, I met you yesterday, we were in Berezino, we teamed up, you know, that that is that's one thing, right? But if the only way you recognise the voice is from Twitch or YouTube or wherever else it might be, try to just play the game, you know, like, hello, what's your name? My name's Dave or whatever, and then play the game and just try to keep it, like, in-game if you can. If you kind of, you know, meta it from streams things, it kind of spoils it, you know, like, I, for me personally, I, like, nobody really wants to watch YouTube videos that start with, oh, you, I watched you on stream, I was watching you earlier, people, I, I would expect, some people won't care, but for the, for the most part, I think it makes for a more entertaining adventure if you're just like Paul and Dave and then off you go on the map kind of thing, you know. So yeah, I, with, that goes for any streamer, not just me, but, or any YouTuber or whatever, you know. Try and play it cool. If at some point, uh, that that's where it's really cool, is when somebody plays it like they don't know whatsoever, and then they have to go, like they've been on four hours, and they have to go, so they drop a love you bye before I get the chance to do it myself, or something like that, you know. Let them know in a really cool way. That is amazing. You're actually ranked higher than Frankie in terms of viewership. Only because he's not making videos, dude. Let's be real, dude. That, that's, that's like saying that... I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. Marcus Rashford is better than George Best because he's playing football right now, you know. Just the first example I could try and think of. Marcus Rashford is a great footballer, but he's not as good as George Best. But George Best doesn't play football anymore. And unfortunately, he's no longer around either, but you get the point, right? And Frankie's not dead, so that's not the best analogy, but he doesn't make many videos. He's not very active, you know. His YouTube channel's certainly not dead. He's got a huge channel if he decides he wants to make videos. Where is this zombie? Soren's cat. I, I, he was a solicitor, and I don't know. I, I don't know him, but... He was a solicitor, he gave that up and moved to South Africa and then he became a YouTuber again and now I don't know. He might be a solicitor again, I don't know. If you read the updates he's done, he did. He was a solicitor in the UK, then he moved to South Africa. Then he spent quite a long time planning his YouTube return. And I don't know now, I don't know what he's, what he's up to, but I hope he's alright. Anyway, the king is dead. Long live the king. Ah. Certainly not the king of meleeing zombies right now, am I? Impatience is the problem. Oh, shit. A 20,000 hour player aggroes everything around him. There was actually one I didn't aggro, I'll have you know. <laughs> it's a shame to lose that character. I'm quite pleased we got another a couple of kills today before he died. You know, it was a really good run that, but it's a bit like Essica, like I was just saying with, it, with Ish and whatnot. It, you play it, you enjoy the PvP, you enjoy the action, and then you die, and then you have another go. And it, it's, a bit da it's a bit daisy on steroids. There was a dude earlier that was kind of a little bit naively sort of asking, do you play Chernerus or Deerile because you don't want to meet any players? Well, you play Chernerus and Deerile and other maps for the, the real hardcore survival that Daisy has to offer. You play Essica and this version of Alteria, John McLean's Alteria, when he's finished it, might be really survival -y, you know, but 
this version of Altiria, you play for a, a quick bit of fun, you know, like Chernarus and Deer Isle are Tantric. Namaus, not Namaus, well even Namaus to some extent, but this, Essica, they're more like like a real quickie behind the bike sheds or a like round round the back of the club. Not that I ever did anything like that to be fair, but you know where I'm going. He's aiming for a PvP map. Oh, that's good then. Right, well that wasn't very good, was it? The loot was shit. Vacuum, thank you for the support. I think he was... I don't really know, but it all... I've, I've seen a lot of his updates over the years and his tweets about stuff and so on, you know, like... Uh, it was cool when he came back. I think that he did make a Daisy video that was much more like... No, no scripting, just playing Daisy on a server called Frankie's Hideout, which is kind of like the server he was playing on. Hosted by Aftermath, you know, like, so much more organic and a lot less planned through. Which is a cool thing, I think, but I think he only made the one. Oh, thanks. Let's just run away. I need to go the other way. This is not the right way. Fuck's sake. Bismala, inshallah. Okay. He's going to have a lot of fun looting where I've just been. Oh, cool. I'm yelling higher here as well, Kappa. Uh, are you as high on Bitterroot as I am? I had the best time on that, Matt. I think it should be like 60 players. Ish, I only played it yesterday uh, for a short while. I, I have fun on Bitterroot. I like it every time. But I find, I find it a touch challenging. Now, uh, yesterday was just was fine. I've, I've experienced quite a bit of stream sniping on Bitterroot in previous tests. No, I don't think I had any at all yesterday. I don't think I had a single moment of it, but I think stream sniping is a potentially big problem when I play Bitterroot on the basis that there's likely only one server and it's full and yeah, I think it's highly likely. I don't think that happened yesterday. I can't fucking recognise where I'm going. I'm going to end up doing a full circle of this fucker at this rate. I can't see the bit I need to go to. Now I'm starving to death and I've got... This is annoying. But yeah, I, uh, I Bitterroot is a lot of fun, but I think it will be better to play when it's open to multiple servers. Uh, right now as well, with the way the spawns are on, on it, like it, it, the, the, the spawning and the start is a fucking nightmare. I'm definitely back where I started from. It looks so different, the map. I don't understand where I've, how I've done this. I think I was on the right side. I don't get it. I don't get how the fuck I did that. I want to be over there. I think that's where I came out. I came out here. I went past these two boats. Old matey singing Bohemian Rhapsody came that way. But yeah, I like Bitterroot. I, I enjoy it when I play it. That's where I wanted to go. Do you know why? It's it, There's more there. He's added more to the town. It's, it's not what it was like before. I, I'm just looking there thinking that's not right. It's a whole fucking town, whereas before that town didn't exist. So obviously Alteria's had an update and all of this is new and I was that spire in the distance tells me it's the right way but the town in the foreground wasn't wet and wasn't there last time I played. Fuck me that's annoying. You reckon I could do a whole stream in French absolutely. Et oui la fenêtre avec piscine se combien pour la killer 
There you go. That's just a, a slight little hint at my French. Thank you, Dave. Cheers for the super chat. I'm French and understand nothing. Oh, dude, I'm, I must be doing more of a, a highbrow French that you're not quite got to yet in your own language, clearly. <laughs> Tony à gauche. This is all different. I'm going to need some food, please, game, and I'd like you to provide it to me now. Ah, there's a bit, little bit of a bus depot -y thing there. They're always a gold mine for food on every server ever. Bus depot is synonymous with food. Everybody knows it. Oh no, not here. They're not. It's not synonymous with food. Trust the fat. <laughs> Eat the fat for science, no. Police station. Right, please give me some food. Or even a, a hit would be good. There ain't no food. Oh shit, now I'm dying of thirst. Right, I think the well is over here, or at least it was. It may have all moved now, obviously, it's all been redone, but I can't be dying of hunger and thirst. I'll be properly fucked. I've got to... Yeah, the, the well was here, so hopefully it's still here again, over this way. Is it okay to eat the fat in small amounts? Shit, never eat fat that you find on the ground. If you cook fat, it's fine to eat as quick as you want. But if you pick fat up off the ground, it could be human fat, and then you get kuru if you eat that, so... If you kill an animal, cook the food, cook the fat, it's fine to eat it. Makes makes a lot of sense to do so, but if you find fat on the ground like that, it might not be safe to eat, so don't eat it. Oh, for fuck's sake, the, the well has moved. Oh, now we're in trouble. Well, that will help. The well's probably back there in the middle of that town somewhere, isn't it? Shit. Stomach 
full symbol, don't be sick. Uh, uh, we had this conversation yesterday about jam. As you can see, my hydration is going up. So jam does dehydrate you, which is what I was suggesting it did yesterday. It's, it is going up. I'm going to have to go back to that town and find where, where he's put the well in. It must be. It'll be somewhere in the middle of the town. I'm sure we'll find it, but... Never mind. Uh, ready for the next adventure. Thank you, Dave. Hope it's as good as the last one on this this uh, this server, this map. I knew I should have took those shitty rubber slugs. Isn't that weird? The hydration has got to yellow before the hunger. Somebody was geared. I'm a legend, yeah, I know that. It's just I know I know one was a lot longer than the other, but the jam gives you way more energy than it does hydration, so it's still not something that happens too often. But yeah, I understand why it happened, but it's still uh, it's still pretty rare because jam obviously has got way more energy than hydration, right? I was flashing red hungry. I wasn't flashing red thirsty. Canteen on belt. Canteen on belt. But I don't even have a belt. If I had a belt, I would put the canteen on it. But as you can see, I don't have and never have had a belt. <laughs> Was I spawning in some food just there? Uh, no, I've got food. Let's just see if we can find some shit gun shells and we'll drift back into that town and try and find a well. Kind of cool, actually, just because this town I've never been in and it's kind of close to the spawn. It's it's nice to be... Like, I don't know Alteria perfectly, but I've, I've got a bit of a steer of where to go and where the good v PvP is and what. So it's nice to, like, not, not recognise stuff because new stuff's been added. That's pretty cool. Jumper, Pico, I should call it, will help. Right, what's that? That's high insulation. It actually won't help unless I can find a sewing kit to repair it with. But let's not take it. I'm just, I'm light blue cold while I'm outside and that's going to make me need to eat more food more quickly. What's the best Daisy map? If you're brand new to the game, Chernerus is the map to start on.
just don't play on the vanilla servers and you're basically good. I don't agree with that, to be honest. I, when you say vanilla, I think you mean official. But yeah, play vanilla, but try to play it in the community tab, yeah? Uh, I, I think if you're new to the game, starting on, on vanilla makes sense, but maybe not. At KBB, we're expecting an announcement about possibly new things coming at some point fairly soon. Official servers are great. Nah, I'm inclined to disagree. Sorry. Uh, I, that's okay. It's fine that you think that. I've, my last four characters that I've had on official have died to, to, to hackers. My last four fully geared characters have died to hackers, and the one that I got that was a new spawn also died to a hacker. And that the last time I played official was in December. So I'm afraid for me, official is not a good place. So I can't recommend it right now. If you if you stay fairly lowly geared, SKS and below, you'll probably be okay. You might get all, get all right, but any time I get an Org X or an M4, I die within half an hour. Any idea why my Chinese food hasn't arrived? Next door is eating it, dude. You've paid for it, they've eaten it. you had the belt on with you picked up the pioneer don't think so dude <laughs> i wonder if maybe i dropped that when i put the changing server screen up as a joke as, a, as an obvious joke eugene i i don't have a uh, ability to accept stuff like that at the moment i don't have a po box or anything dude so unless i was like i don't know let's say you're live near San Diego and I was going to TwitchCon which I don't think I am this year but you never let's just say if I were that's the only way that that would happen at the moment I'm afraid dude I, I don't have a PO box uh, and obviously can't just give out my address kind of randomly if that makes sense so I, there's not really any way to do stuff like that when was your last defecation I don't know but I'm thinking about going FK in a minute to be honest <laughs> Sarlacc Bush, thank you for the super chat. Many interesting questions contained within. <laughs> I don't have one of those that I might go out of my way to advertise, blind guy, I'm afraid to say. Uh, so no, I don't. I don't give it out. Probably just because they like it, Redline. Is this super chat? Why no belt? And why not put your canteen on it? What server is this? What game even is this? When was your last defecation? Winking face. Ah, oh, dude, Almighty Truffle, your worst death is. I, I've stepped on mines that I planted myself in my in the past for sure. Thankfully, not died to it, but I've stepped on them. Yeah, that sucks though to die to your own mine like seconds after planting it. I don't think using my neighbour's address would have the desired effect. Scary. I think that that's that would still really achieve the same thing of letting people know where I live. <laughs> My home definitely didn't get raided off his depot, but if you're on the internet for long enough, uh, you, you start to be uh, glad that you've never really given out your address. Trust me. Once you've had an email or to two from people telling you that they're going to get a plane over, appear on your door and beat the living shit out of you, you, you start to think maybe it was a good idea you didn't give your address out.
What's the longest I've been alive in Daisy? Oh, look, a belt. I can put my canteen on that. that if only somebody had fucking told me. <laughs> Holy 51. Uh, thank you. Uh, so like Bush, thank you again. Uh, Zedhawk, thank you for the support as well, dude. He must have been in the building I was going to. I died, fell, fall back, so he must have been in that building. You live in England, therefore you know the king. Therefore, just send anything to the palace. They'll find it. It seems legit. <laughs> oh, well. We haven't, we've lost a bit of food in about 15 minutes or so, but we haven't lost enough to be bothered there, really. That's fine. Hails, that poor guy can't catch a break. Um, you die as a new spawn. On a, on a map like this, you, like... I said this the other day, but this is like Essica. You're going to have to have three or four... You have to buy three or four tickets before you get a ride, you know? Uh, you have to have a few goes, and, and then you get a crazily good life. Like the one that just died when I was overwatching the dude with the fire. And then I got killed from above. That life was yesterday's stream. We got six or seven kills yesterday, two more today. Today, you know, it was a really good life. Lots of PvP was really fun. But sooner or later, if you keep PvPing, you're going to get shot. And in that scenario, I got shot in the back, you know. How tall do you need to be for this ride? Uh, six foot eight and full of violence, speed and momentum. Wearing a red and black outfit. That wasn't my longest life, Love Gun, no. My longest life, uh, people ask me that a bit. It's a bit different when you're streaming because just it's a, it's a different thing. Not because of the stream so much, because of the way you play, like, going to go towards action always and stuff. But to be fair, I've always done that, streaming or otherwise. If there were shots, I always wanted to be in it. If someone shot at me, I'd quite happily die trying to get revenge kind of thing or whatever. Uh, but that said, as long as I've been a streamer, I've lived about seven in, seven streams running a couple of times. And that's why you can't PvP all the time. Sometimes you just have to settle down and sell roadside tacos of mysterious origin. Mm. Tacos. Someone has not painted the rest of their outfix kit. Rumby, I haven't, no. I, I, I don't... I, I get salty in death from time to time, but it's quite rare. Like, I, I just got killed there, I'm not bothered. I just got killed on a character that had been alive for ages, I'm not bothered, you know. The only time I rev ever really get salty is when I do something horrendously bad. Uh, beyond that, I don't really. Like, if I'm salty about a death, it's because of something I've done, not because of what someone else has done. Most of the time, you know. Uh, like you're saying, I take it you didn't see lights out. I didn't get salty about my death in lights out either. I, I, Ish, Ish, uh, Ish got really lucky. The lucky fuck. <laughs> Ish played it well, and we were a bit, we were a bit. I wish we'd split and gone one in one way and one the other. But hindsight's a wonderful thing, you know. I know, Bruticus. I know.
It's such a game of chance, that though, isn't it? The way the the way the game is, you know, like when Muller ran in there, Muller didn't do anything wrong either. But when Muller ran in there, he could have checked left or he could have checked right. You know, like, and he checked left first and then ran in. If if he checked right first and ran in, now Ish may well have killed Muller, but Muller will definitely have hit Ish, and I hit Ish, and between the two of us, we might have killed him. You know, but that that's the that's the game, isn't it? You know, like you've got. You've got to push into a doorway, you're kind of in a hurry, you're being pushed by the zone. So you push in, you check one way, there's nobody there, you go to check the other way and you're dead. You know, that's the way it goes, isn't it? There's very small margins in a game like this. And sometimes you win a lot of those small margins back to back and have crazily good lives. And sometimes you don't, you know. Where were the lights out servers located? I don't actually know. I don't know. You don't join the lights out servers from the regular launcher or the, the official launcher or the DZSA launcher. They use they use a special application, like a special launcher that they use for some RP servers. And you join from that. So you never actually see the server IP. You, I, I've, they, I've no idea what the name of it is, but they're trying to protect it from DDoS. So you can't you can't even tell where the server is. Am I using a mat? No. I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I've played this map a little bit and I've got a bit of a steer for what I'm doing. Ever thought of creating my own map? I, I don't have the talent for it, dude. Like... Like, there are people that are amazingly talented at it. Like, I, John McLean has got so many hours. Like, the guy that created Alteria, what we're playing now, got so many hours on map creation. Like, Dear Arl is a masterpiece. And this is, like, this is still got lots that he's trying to do on it. But it's a really different map. And it shows a lot of talent to make different maps in different designs. It's not a talent I have. No, I might be able to get good at it. But John McLean's got probably 10,000 hours of map making behind him, you know? I haven't got the time to get good at that <laughs> like i haven't got the time to hone that I'm, I'm, i've i've spent my thousands of hours learning to edit and learning to stream and doing that you know uh, i think there is a real skill to good map design uh, and you can't just look you can't just have it intrinsically I think you'll you'll I have have the basics but you'll get better with experience I think you know he streams quite a lot truckers mother yeah should probably go into the town and go to the well probably Kyle, uh, Kyle Jayluff, thank you very much for the Prime. Meg, Meg oh Meg, thank you very much for the support as well. Cheers, both of you guys, very much appreciate it. Cheers for the for the Primes. There was a... Board, sorry. So often you'll have an, in, an event in cities and such where dozens of zombies will spawn in an area and room closely carrying various loot. These spawns with a gas drop that slowly kills all entities. That That might be okay. I'm never convinced by hordes. More zombies, maybe, but hordes I never really convinced by myself. But in a city would be kind of cool, rather than like a horde in a field that you just avoid, you know. But I th I don't know what I'd like. I I think the one I always say, but for for official, I'd love to see. Like assuming we get more vehicles, such as boats, I'd love to see Chernerus utilized with uh, extra islands and boats to get to them and. Maybe like a, an oil rig or an aircraft carrier, like in the ocean. That, I think Chernus. Whoa! Hello. Hello. I ain't wanting no trouble. No trouble for me, thank you. You, you better not. You better not. Oh, definitely not from you. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> ah! Are you okay? I'm great! I can't play this game! 
That was Joito. Make sure you follow Joito on Twitch. He's cool. And we do stream together, really. I probably should... To be honest, if it weren't for the fact that I'm six hours in, I'd probably be suggesting we team up now. But she might not want to either, you know? She she knows her own mind. I don't know her mind. But I'm six hours in. I ain't got I ain't got the, the minerals for a team up. We're just going to run, run away and find some loot or die. Father Jerry, sometimes it's better to just think things and not say them, dude, you know? Like, like, there's, there's no need to, like, saying stuff like that just makes... Have a look in the mirror and ask yourself, did I need to say that? No, what, what do you think the answer might be? Uh, cool hand, thank you for the five months. Cheers for the support. Food, well, let's get south. Mm, I don't want an orange dry bag, thank you very much. Yeah, that'll help. You're wearing a bright red helmet with a bright red dry bag and you think crouching is going to help. Yeah, I've seen you. Let's have a quick check back. He might be following me. I didn't check this table, did I? I should do. Sometimes you get blazes and tundras and lovely things. <sighs> cool hand Luke. Thank you very much for the support. I went for a haircut. Did you die? Yes, I also got my hair cut today. It was lovely. I regaled the guy cutting my hair with, the, uh, with that time in January where I had the shits for eight days. He loved it. He loved hearing about my shits. <laughs> I didn't talk about it in quite that level, but yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't say it quite like that, Redline. I wasn't uh, going to bother, but he 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 started the conversation, told me about how he'd been how he'd been ill last week. So I was like, "Well, you've been ill, yeah, me too." <laughs> that that was the that was how it went. I see a castle turret up this way. I think I think I, I think I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe it was just that. I thought I saw a castle turret. Apparently not. Wow, my first anniversary. Money well spent, I must say. TRMZ Whiskey Man, TRMZ Love. The parking lot shit story is reserved just for the stream only. That, that stream viewing audience only. There's nothing that annoys me more than a barber who is a chatty Cathy. Just cut a little bit of hair that I have left and be quiet. Donk, we finally find the person in the chat that's more miserable than I am. <laughs> to be fair, I quite like my hairdresser, so I, I, I can relate if uh, to some extent. But I've been since I moved back to where I live now from Essex, I've had the same dude cut my hair for about eight years. It's always the same guy. 
I booked the dude. I know him pretty well. I've got his number on my phone. He's got my number. Uh... Like, not that we're, like, best mates or anything, but if he ever left that hairdresser, I'd get him to cut my hair in the kitchen or something, you know? But I just... I, I, get, I get on with him pretty well. He's all right. Uh, so, yeah, I quite like... I don't mind, like, sitting and chatting, you know? I'm, I'm fairly introverted, but in that regard, I'm not. I used to live in Whittam in Essex, Heracles, yeah. And would you say he's your best friend? No. Also helps that you don't have to make eye contact. Yeah, very true. <laughs> Wish I had a belt. Well, I went to the same place where I go now from the age of about 13 until the age of about 26. And then I moved to Essex. And then moved back, and when I when I moved back, I went back to the same place again. So I've been having my hair cut there since I was 13. It's a really good place. Sawdust on the floor and everything. sawdust on the floor but when they used to do more more things like not not where I am now but I mean in barbers in general Andy you used to live in the in Essex did you I uh I worked in Basildon briefly I had a very little stint in a powerhouse in Basildon a powerhouse electrical superstore it's no longer there the company went bust but I worked in Basildon for a few months it was all right actually I worked in Cambridge before I went to Basildon, and Cambridge was much worse. To work in for retail, I mean, I, I, like, for a day out, I'd much prefer to go to Cambridge than Basildon, if I'm honest, but to work, I preferred working in Basildon. Captain fucking zombie there. Off. Stop turning. Like he's walking with one shoe. He's permanently turning left. Fuck off. I'm trying to flank you, dude. He won't have it. At least we didn't get him screaming. That's okay. That, that, that's the main thing achieved. No screaming. Let's go. This way. Uh, Papa D's Nuts. What a, what a name. Cheers for the two months, dude. They say you sound like an owl. Do they? 
There's a punchline there, Lee, and I'm not getting it. But thank you for the for the bits. I, I'm a, I'm as wise as an owl, that's for sure. You've been bold since the 90s, have you? Blimey. Ooh. I should have replied who? Nah, I ain't falling for that shit. Currently painting my wall. What should I paint? What should I draw on it? It's pretty obvious that you should paint a great big cock and bollocks on your wall. Everybody knows that. Paint cock and balls on it, and go really deep with it. You know, make sure you've get you've got like hair on the balls, and you've got like a few drips or a few whatevers coming out of the end. And then when you paint over it and it dries, only then will you realise that you've still got the outline of a cock and bollocks with spunk coming out of the end of it on your wall for the rest of your life. <laughs> It just dries slightly differently and that's it. Your missus is leaving you because of what you've done. <laughs> like, do it in, like, jet black or purple paint and then paint the walls white afterwards. Did I go on a speed awareness course? I, I did a speed awareness course. It was on the interweb because it was during the lockdowns. Basically what happened is this. About ten people sat in, sat in their houses going... Yeah, I, I agree, I agree. And then I was stupid enough to say I did the speeding because I thought the speed limit was stupid and then got a five-minute lecture about it. That's basically what happens in a speed awareness course. Everybody lies, you know. I got caught doing 35 in a 30 and I got done for it and I thought I was really hard done by. Uh, and so 34 in a 30, in fact, I think it might have been. It was one over. I think in... Uh, I, think, I think it was 35 and if I'd been caught 34... In Suffolk, if you get caught doing 34 and below, they just let you off, pretty much. I was reading about it on the on on the thing. Anyway, I got caught doing 35. So I got the, the speed awareness course, right? And so my when they said, uh, why were you speeding and what do you feel about getting caught? I said, uh, to be honest, I was doing 35 in a 30, 30. And if I'd been doing 34, I wouldn't be here. So I feel gutted. And they didn't like that answer. <laughs> and they, didn't like, they didn't like that answer one bit. They were like, well, you were still speeding. At that speed, if you tried to brake, you would have X amount of metres further. I was like, I don't need to brake, mate. My car knows if someone steps out in front and stops quicker than you can. <laughs> it stops quicker anyway. So uh, my car would stop quicker than you at 30 because it brakes for me, mate. <laughs> in it, bruv. That's how I said it. Something like that. It, it, I didn't have the, the car I've got now there, then, but it still did do that, yeah. Speed awareness courses are dull. I, and they're a good thing, I, if they work, but my experience of just me is that they don't work. Like, I, I didn't change anything afterwards other than I'd wasted two hours of my life. And I know that's not the right answer, but it's true. I am really trying not to speed now. I've, I've got... I've been... I did a speed awareness course, and since then I've been done for speeding twice more. <laughs> so, it, as I say, it didn't work. I, I, I did a speed awareness course. I had no points on my license. That was about three and a half years ago, two and a half years ago, and last year I got done for speeding another two times. So clearly it doesn't work, you know. Like, however, what does work is getting caught and having six points on your license. Then you suddenly like shit. I'd better not get caught anymore. That could be trouble. This is the wolf house, yeah. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. Fair enough, metric. I'm not trying to advocate for speeding, but... Uh, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Who, who was that that talked about wolves? That's your fault. Oh, they are close. I'm not going to be outrunning them. We might as well wait, drink some more at the well and let them catch me. Fifty-four kilometers over the limit. Holy shit, Poke. Oh. 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 
there's somebody in there. Why did you go in there? Wolfo? Maybe come back. And bring back your bag of Sensi and your CD collection of Bob Marley. I don't know if I got that quite right, but I was close. Monopoly would be more realistic if the person with the most money got to change the rules whenever they like. Hmm. I don't know, dude. Conspiracy theorist Monopoly would be an interesting one, wouldn't, wouldn't it? Not that I'm suggesting that's untrue, by the way, but I'm just meaning more broadly speaking, you know. I've rolled a seven, but I'm only going to move six spaces because the world is actually flat. And if I was, if it was curved, I'd be going downhill. Come on! Oh. Thank you for the continued support, dude. Thank you. Uh, favorite two weapons of Daisy. Mine is the MP5 and the SKS. Now that sound, sound is proper. The new sound of the SKS is amazing. My favorite two guns in the game are the Blaze and the Org AX. Gold, goldy guns. Thank you for the prime. Uh, cheers for the support as well as Project and Truffles. Thank you. Right, they're not coming in. Kappa, I know it's kind of stupid, but if you blare witch into the wall, very often they run in after you. Oh, I'm not going to do it yet. Oh, I did it. I didn't mean to do it. Hey, Paul, I'm back to see your qualified shenanigans, TRMZ love. Qualified? I've got a PhD in Daisy. Better than subbing to Bezos. Well, thank you. I concur. <laughs> uh, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you for the resubscribing. I don't think they like that. I don't think they could cross the uh, cross the the gap. Fuck off. Like three players with gear. Fucking for real. Come on, White Fang. You can protect me. Oh shit, they're here already. They're already up on the hill with me. That is insane. I'm not going to get rid of these anytime soon, am I? This is insanely tricky. 
What I should do is cut back to the right right now and try and lose them, but I don't think it'll work. You never know, despite the fact that that shot clat against the door right near where I was. Maybe they were shooting the wolves and helping me. Maybe they were being helpful survivors. Let's just assume they were killing the wolves for me and move on with our day. I look like a different player at least. Truffles, I know, you know, like, look, that's where they've just been in the fire, I reckon. That's probably where they've just been cooking. Hello? We might as well get something from the fuckers. We'll, we'll use their fire. Dazed, thank you very much for the 90 months. Uh, cheers for the support once again. Goldie Guns, thanks again, dude. John Q Ghost, dude, thank you for the gifted subs. Appreciating it. Thank you. Cheers for the support, John Q, dude. Thank you. go this way. That's the trouble. They were cooking wolf themselves. Uh, cheers, scary dude. My there you go. John Q Ghost, thanks again for the support, dude. Very, very kind. See, I don't really have much choice but to go back towards where they just shot at me from. I, I can't really see a great deal of other option. They've come up from the hill. They, uh, they shot at me from this side when I was over there. You know, they'd probably looted this one where we're about to be. And they shot at me from over here and then followed me over. Like, they ran over this bridge. That's how they got over so quick. I didn't see the bridge. Like, there was me thinking, oh, I've got time to check that, that hunting shed at the top of the hill there. I checked that when they were so blatantly in view as well. But anyway...
was surprised I managed to lose them based on how close it really is. But anyway, let's just run back straight behind them. They'll never suspect a flank from a dude with no gun. Why don't have the ASMR's tag under your stream title? Why not? ASMR can can be uh, like I genuinely anyone that's watched regularly will have heard people come in on a near daily basis saying, "I love your streams. I always put them on as I'm settling down for the night. I always put your YouTube videos on when I'm going to bed." I've had that for years, right? So the dulcet tones are ASMR, dude. Basically, I'm boring to fuck and I'll put you to sleep. Might wake up if there's a firefight on though. Uh, discontinued. Dude, thank you for the bits. Uh, think about it. All languages travel at the speed of sound. Sign language travels at the speed of light. Now that's kind of crazy. I suppose it does. I suppose it does. But can you speak quicker than you can sign? I don't know. I can definitely speak quicker than I can sign personally, but I'm not qualified, you know. I've got a PhD in DayZ, not sign language. Long time ago, Robin, if you go back on my YouTube channel, back in the day, there's a number of videos of, of me and FT and Barely Infected Rene playing together. Long time ago in a uh, galaxy far, far away, but yeah, I have. Those were the days. Doc TRMZ, why does it hurt when I pee? Uh, see a doctor or, or go to your local SDI clinic, one or the other. Lonesome. Well, thanks for tuning in, dude. I don't always play a solo, dude, but I would play a solo quite a lot. Yeah, I, this week I'm doing five streams and one of them is going to be with another streamer. I'm playing with Amish Zed on Friday, so I tend to lone wolf more than I do anything else, but I, I balance it a little bit. I try to do one stream a week as a team up stream and the other streams I lone wolf and then sometimes team up while I'm in game, you know. I, I definitely would have wanted to team up with Joito a little bit earlier if I'd met her a touch earlier in the game. I, I, I met her at like 6 hours and 20 minutes in or something, you know. It seemed a bit late for teaming up. And that's a group of three. Fucking hell. I'm going this way. That military base there is where we were before when I when I got killed. I'd been there and I came down from there and was sidetracked by the dude with his uh, with his fire and got killed. This is where I died. It's just down here, isn't it? If he dropped my loot off, there might be loot where I died. I got killed from the hill on the left here, I think, and I was I was looking down there. I got kill killed somewhere down here. Can't see exactly where I. I, I died, but if I look back, I might see some loot.
How much does that suck? I got killed by a fucking CR-527. If that's the gun I got killed by... I don't think it is, because it's chambered. I think that might be the guy that I was looking at. Maybe he looted me or somebody else did. But that's the sloppy second bullshit that was left over from, from me dying. How do I have a bunch of viewers? Uh, I don't know, dude. Ten years of making YouTube videos and streaming and playing the same game and grifting a living over many periods of time, or... I don't know. Why does, why does anyone have viewers? I have viewers because I bought 50,000 follows nine years ago and uh, subbed to myself a thousand times and became a Twitch partner. Hello! I haven't got a gun out. You don't need to worry. I'm not trying to kill you, dude. I'm just trying to get away from the Zeds, okay? Hey, man. Do, do you know where the well is? Uh, the, the nearest well I'm aware of is over that hill there, near to the, uh, the summer camp area. About a kilometre away, straight up the hill. The, the way I'm facing now. Oh yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you. No worries, dude. Good luck. Did I really not use my canteen when I was at the well, or did I find it afterwards? I think I didn't use it. Didn't I? That sucks. I genuinely, that's the nearest well that I'm aware of. There might be a nearer one, but I don't fucking know. He probably has a bunch of viewers because this is maximum chill to watch. Uh, discontinued. Thank you for the bits, you crazy bastard. Cheers for the support, dude. Yeah, he sounded like he was he was injured. He did sound he was grunting, wasn't he? He had some kind of illness that won't, won't be good. Oh well. Better him than me. <laughs> That's how you show empathy, right? <laughs> Shit. Making me look stupid, chicken. Get killed, poor. Top reasons illnesses are contracted in this game. Sticking it where it doesn't belong. <laughs> uh, not that. One of the most common is that people don't realise you have to drink clean water. So drinking water out of a found bottle or canteen, drinking from a pond or a lake or a river even, like... Drinking from unclean water is the most common way that new players get sick. Second most common after that is probably bandaging with like non-disinfected rags or bandages. So if you if you get cut from a zombie and then you bandage with something that's not disinfected, you get a blood illness most of the time and then that, that can kill you. And then after that, slightly less likely but just, just kind of fairly likely is cutting up an animal with no gloves on and then eating or eating with bloody hands. I do that from time to time, just because I forget. I forget my hands are bloody and I'm reading the chat and I start eating or something and not looking at what I'm doing. The CR's loaded, yeah. It's, it's, only, it's got no mag, but it's loaded. I can shoot it if I need to. Cheers, uh, very much discontinued project. Thank you. So we were here before, and I didn't even have to loot it. We were here. We were geared to the tits, and we were just rolling around with an M4, an AKM, and a Tundra, just looking for players. And then the players, they found me and shot me in the back. Now I'm here, not geared to the tits, desperate for gear. There was no players here. Any money you like, what will there be here? No gear, lots of players. 
happy where I've had a decent stream. I, I, had, I did a couple of lives on Cherneros. Didn't have the best of runs, but I still kind of enjoyed it. Uh, and I've lost a geared character on this server from yesterday, so I had a really good run yesterday on Alteria. Spawned in, got a couple of kills with that, that same dude and then died. Now I'm kind of back in the area where I died. Oh, wolves. Oh, good. I guess what I'm really hoping for here is a zombie with a plate carrier. That would be amazing. Uh, on top of that, something like an SKS would be really good. And a box or two of bullets. But let's not get greedy. Just not dying will be a start. hope of any fat loots here by the way it started. USMC pantaloons, we'll have those. Tried to pick up the combat knife. I didn't really get it. There we go. Uh, Satanic Minion. Well, I hope you have fun in the game. If you've not played it in ages, it will probably have changed quite a lot. You know, it has improved loads over the last number of years. It is at the moment, John. I'm hoping Twitch will be catching up very soon on the video quality front. Sounds decent enough for me not to worry just at the moment. That bollocks was there before. I do wonder if maybe I should get a gun out. Did I meet you before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you didn't yeah. go for the well. You're right. I'm not going to shoot you, dude. I thought you with the crossbow. I met you before. You're all good, dude. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm, I'm dying I'm, of thirst. I've got I'm some illness. Put, or putting my uh, gun away. Dude, your meat's cooked by the look of it, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you've got some kind of illness. I heard you I heard you calling, like, crit screaming about it before. I don't think I've got any yeah, meds. Yeah, yeah. I haven't, dude, unfortunately. Sorry. I ate with bloody hands. 
Yeah, and you can eat. You, I'm sure you know this, but just eat incredibly slowly, and you can you can still eat, right? But just very slow. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Thank you. I got all excited. I saw the I saw the fire and thought, oh, I can get myself a lovely kill here with my chambered carbine. It had to be someone I'd already met, didn't <laughs> yeah. it? I've well, got a few I've got a few bit few bits of chicken if you don't mind me cooking it when you when you're ready. Yeah, sure, sure. Got the last piece to cook. I put a couple on the smoker. Those shots are getting pretty close, dude. We might both be dead in a minute. Yeah, we better run away. Ah, fuck that, dude. You can kill them all with your crossbow. I've got a derringer. You got a derringer? Oh, with easy. Two shots. Yeah, yeah. That, no problem. Well, I wouldn't say easy, but yeah. yeah. Piece of piss. Let's shut the door so it prolongs the inevitable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good idea. Not long before I saw you, I, I did see a group of three and they shot at me and I was ran away. It was maybe ten minutes before you. So that shot yeah, yeah, the well, shots in could the camp, be in the camp. Yeah, it could be a group of three. Yeah, I saw them. One was wearing a red drive bag. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I didn't get a good look at them, I just had to run because they were shooting the shit out of me or trying to. And I got attacked by the wolves as well. Did you? They were aggroed on me, yeah. and I uh, I ran away. And the guys were sh they were shooting at me while I was I had no gun, being chased by wolves, and they shot at me. <laughs> like, come on! There's three of you, and I've <laughs> nothing. You know, I, I found the guns I've got on my back you, since then. You know, he survived. Well, I guess there is that. Yeah. Offer him some water for God's sake. I'm just working out whether I want to or not for now. Do you it's know how long, long it takes to cure my sickness? If you ate with bloody hands, you need charcoal. Otherwise, I think you're going to be lucky to ride it out, to be honest. Vitamins oh, could help. Shit, you need yeah. charcoal or vitamins. You can, but you need to ha you're going to need a shitload of food and water. Otherwise, you're basically fucked. You know, you're going to need to stay near a well and a supply of food. Uh, yeah. If you get your immune system maxed out, it can go away. But it's it's much more likely to go away with charcoal tablets, basically. Yeah, I killed the wolf and then I gutted them and that's why I got bloody hands. There's a uh, there's a t a big town to the south, like on the most south coast, where there, there's a there's a load of like PVP there. It's quite dangerous, but on the south side on, by the docks, there's a load of containers and they quite often have medical loot. I see charcoal tablets there all the time, so you could try that, but you might die. You know, like oh well, shit, the fire. I'm gonna die out. anyway, so. Oh well, one piece of chicken didn't cook. I got, I got, I got steak here if you want. Yeah, I could relight it, I suppose, dude. I could just use a bandage. It's so close to being cooked. I could probably just use a rag. So you don't need the sticks? Possibly not. We'll see. I might be able to cook it just with a rag. We'll see. It's nearly cooked. I can use one stick. Yeah, one stick will do, probably. I'll give you one, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Thought you'd never say. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get that. Oh, I didn't realise that I got it on my back. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Thank you, dude. <laughs> I'll give you... I shouldn't really have gone there. He was never gonna pick up on that. Cheers, dude. Oh, I've got a fat also. So I'll cook it as well. Could fix. I'm not fixing him. I might not give him my water yet because it's a bit of a thankless task right now. Wells on this map are really hard to find. I don't know where the well to the south is. I've no clue. I'll give him my water. He'll still die, and then I'll have no water. You know. So I'll, I'll team up with him for a bit, and then maybe I'm off him the water Kira. later. Him, if you know what I mean. T R M Z snipe. Uh, I know it's been a while, but how do you feel about it switches lost to Maidstone? <laughs> that's kind of funny, isn't it? I really hope Ipswich go up, but that's a hell of a thing, that, isn't it? 
Dude, uh, did you check any of the other buildings around here, or did you just come in here? No, no, no. I, w uh, I was red, bl red blinking, so I had to okay. go do meat. I'm going to check the bit of the barracks opposite, dude. He'll get the water now, at least. <sighs> That was the three. It was always risky going in there with the fire, but like, I've, what can you do? I've come out with no gun in my hands. I, even if I had a gun in my hands, it wouldn't have made any difference. No, he didn't kill me. I'd already shut the doors. I was shot from outside. That, that, the group were waiting for us to come out because they could see the fire. Nothing sus about it. Smoke comes out of the fire. They were just waiting to shoot us, you know. We knew people were nearby. Oh well. I've actually had some. You're just saying a rough day there, Poopsicle. It's been a rough on the last couple of lives, but I've enjoyed today. Even though it's not been the best day, it's still been alright. It's not been a great PvP day. Yesterday, last bit of the stream was cracking for PvP. But the thing is, I've not had many opportunities for PvP, you know? I've. Uh, like. My, my geared character got shot from an unknown third party from behind, and I, and I died. Since then, I've died a couple of times with nothing I could do, really. You know, we were lucky to escape the group of three and the wolves in the first place, you know. So, I don't know. I, when I die and I'm in firefights that I'm just losing really badly, I tend to get a bit peeved. But I don't think I've done a great deal wrong today. And sometimes in Daisy, you just die, you know. Like, you can make good choices and die. Now... To be fair, it wasn't a good choice to make a fire in a, in a military base. But that dude was struggling. It was kind of fun to just stay and, like... I, I don't really regret it, you know. It, it was a choice I don't mind, you know. I'd rather do that than shoot him. So what? I died, you know. I didn't really lose a lot, you know. It doesn't really matter. I wouldn't go out of my way to make a fire there unless I absolutely had to. But he did have to, didn't he? He was dying, so that's why he did it. Well, I had to leave at some point Substatic, and maybe I could have left sooner, but I don't care, dude. I, I, I think it was a fun little encounter. It could have been nice to go down south and try and find him some charcoal tablets, but sometimes there's douchebags outside waiting to kill you, you know? That's just the way she goes. No, the guy I was talking to was in the is in the building. He didn't kill me. No, he didn't kill me. I think you did the right me. thing, but you should have cured him though. I definitely didn't. If if I imagine if I'd killed him at this point, I'd like to mention one word, not to you, Project, but I'd like to bring up the word karma. Right? If I'd killed the guy in the barracks and looted him, and while I was looting, I was chuckling about how funny it was that I'd killed him, and then I'd come out of that barracks and got killed. There'd be at least 20 people in the chat going, that's what you get for killing that guy, you prick. <laughs> that's what would have happened. I, I, I didn't. I helped. Teamed up. We were talking. I was going to take him down south and help him. Where's my fucking karma? Where's my karma? Why? why where's my karma? I, I, there is no karma in Daisy. There's the proof yet again, okay? <laughs> Uh, hot tiramisu, thank you very much. Red goat, thank you very much for the support. Uh, discontinued, thank you again. Very kind. Where's my karma? <laughs> the karma operates on its own schedule, does it? Hello? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, don't shit your pants. You, you've got more stuff than I have. Don't worry. 
Oh, no, H hold on, sir. There's a there's a gear guy over there, and I just logged in like literally three minutes ago, and he just opened up on me. Where's over there? Uh, the hunting shop, and my heart is like jacked. You just get the living shit out of me. Dude, let, wait, between the two of us, I think we can take him. Let's go. Well, he, he took off, and oh. same for me. Well, fair enough. Oh, fucking hell, I'm still shaking, Jesus. Yeah, me too. Ah, oh, he was in here. Are you still in here? Oi. Jumpy. No, he's gone, dude. He's gone, isn't he? Hit and run. He's done a hit and run, isn't he? Oh, but sometimes I fucking hate this game. Hello? He's gone. He's not in here either. He's probably gone for high ground. Maybe you look like a threat with your no gear, you know? Yeah, probably. Have you seen a well like in a this town? No, I just literally, I just literally spawned in like five minutes ago. Ah. I was here earlier. I couldn't find the well, and then someone killed me. Probably the same dude. Oh, that's bad. Thanks, TRMZ love. Can't have the precious. What's in there? It's the uh, unattainable lighter. Oh, oh, oh there he is. You know, that's probably the guy. Let, let's go for that guy. Come on, we'll fuck him up with our fists of fury. Although I might be stuck. Oh. Are you kidding me? Uh, I, I, I'm stuck now. I, I'm happy as I am. I'll stay here. Okay. At least I won't get rained on. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so stupid. I still can't get the lighter though. It's a bit like a fish trap. I actually never seen anybody locked up in a trunk like Dude, this. Dude, do me a favor, will you? Just kill me. Just just okay. kill me. You didn't take much convincing, but just kill me. Eat my tuna when I'm gone to remember me by. Roll out. I couldn't go prone anymore. I could prone on the way in, but once I was in, I couldn't prone anymore. That's where we just died. Oh man, that fucking sucks. It's like, look how far away we... How far away is that? That's where we died, right over there. And how far have we got to travel just to get back to where we were just now, you know? Oh, what a pain in the fuck. That's not 450 metres, dude. That's fucking miles. That's about four kilometres, that. Novice, thanks for the 21 months. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Where's my karma? Boy George stole my karma. Is like like that like Freddy Star ate my hamster. Bring back happy sarcastic man. Uh, Aaron, I don't think he ever went away, did he? I don't know if he. I don't think happy sarcastic man's ever existed. Just uh, mildly amused sarcastic man's.
Uh, for medical reasons. Thanks for the three months, dude. Thank you very much. Am I catching a stream from the running man's? Possibly. Duo with Sour Sweet. What in like some kind of like uh, specialist stream that you have to tune in, to, you have to pay to get in? I, I don't do that kind of thing, and I'm pretty sure Sour definitely doesn't. That's kind of nice, isn't it? That that little. Uh, that little swampy area to run through. Uh, I do play with Sour once a month. More often than not, it's Sour Sweet, Mully Yogurts, and myself. Like because we play together in the Light Sour Karma, event. Karma well, we have done the last two. Must have just died. Next year, I'm going to Lone Wolf and just hide in a container and see if I can win. You know, apparently that's the strat. By the way, I think that was a cool strat. I'm not I'm not judging. I think Adam Crook did well. But that's by the by. Next year I'm going Lone Wolf Container. <laughs> uh, Nightly, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the Karma Chameleon. <clears throat> Adam Crook got in the top three both years. There's been a lights out, yeah. He said nothing about making it a pay thing. That's true. Oh, what's that there? I saw someone. Movement seems erratic. Where are you hiding? I saw you. My son Loki is watching with me for the first time and asking I saw him for a too. comparison with Fortnite. Oh my gosh. Oh, you scared me. How's it going? It's fine. I was twirling around in circles watching a fireman. Or fire girl, I'm not quite <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Well. I'm off to school. Have fun with that. Be careful in this hey. town. There's bad dudes everywhere. I'm running That's south for the winter. Good luck. That's ominous. Do you, do you know where water is? No, I where I did do, but well? it's, it must be in that town somewhere. But I, every time I've looked for the well, I've died so far. But they, I did know where it was, but he's okay. moved it. That town is new. It must be in the town somewhere, but fuck knows where. Okay, all right. Well, Good luck. I ain't got time for well, well drinking. Good job there wasn't a lighter in there. A dried bell pepper. Mm -hmm. That's good eating. T-R-M-Z-O-N-M-E O-N-M-E 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 <laughs> Darn it. Thank you very much for the support, dude. Uh, cheers for the, for the reset. My son is watching with this for the first time, asking for a comparison with Fortnite. It's exactly like Fortnite, only it's much more complicated, you know, like... Like, there's a lot more violence, speed and momentum in DayZ than, than Fortnite. You know, like, like, building some skyscraper and sniping fools in Fortnite is too easy, you know. What you really want is running around finding a dry pepper, you know. And then you get stuck in the back of a van and someone has to kill you, you know. Like, like how much more can you get exciting than that? You can't do the dances so well in this, though. Like the ones that they do in the fork, fork knife, like the, with the uh, with the gyrating and the pelvics and stuff.
Do I ever get to play pool anymore? Jet Black, I haven't played pool in years. Last time I played pool fairly regularly, I wasn't really wearing glasses so much. I, if I was going to start wearing pool now, play playing pool now, you'll get to where I'm saying wearing, but if I was going to start playing pool now, I'd have to get some Dennis Taylor glasses, you know, with the upside down glasses so you can see see where you're aiming. My eyesight's too bad now, I'd, I'd have to wear the glasses. I, I can't get on with contacts, tried them, didn't like them. So I'd, I'd have to uh, I'd have to get new glasses to play pool, I think. Well, I could have a piss around in a pub, but if I was going to play pool and actually try, I'd need to be able to see. Uh, can't do that at the moment. I, I, I like this side. Like, my missus was, like, looking at houses briefly yesterday. My forever home, when as and when I move into that, probably about two, two years before I die of death, right, but... My forever home needs to have a room that's big enough to have a pool table in it. And I like the idea of playing pool quite regularly. Uh, I could still be a decent pool player. I, I'm too old to... I wouldn't... I don't mean I could be a pro or anything, but... I'm pretty sure if I practiced, I could get back to county level again, for example, you know? Like, that would be kind of cool. I'd quite enjoy that. That'd be good. You should seek help for your rabid loot addiction. It shall draw you to no good. However, we the chat appreciate the unbounded greed and want more. I am balls. I don't think I have a chat addiction. Sorry, chat addiction. A loot addiction. I think it's fine. Greed is good. My bed is calling TRMZ Reaper. I thought it was calling me for a <laughs> It's not calling me. <laughs> uh, cheers for the support today, Discontinued. Thank you very, very much. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Iron Balls, thank you for the 18 months. Socks, cheers for the new sub. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Definitely have a chat addiction. Well, you kind of need that, depending on what kind of stream you're going to do. But I think if you're going to do Daisy, you need to talk. Who here has to pay the cheese tax? You gotta pay the cheese tax. When the cheese comes out, that puppy comes looking. Everybody knows that. I think someone should do a William Shatner esque version of the cheese tax. It's not gonna be me. Like, talking, singing the cheese tax song. Probably be number one. Yeah, have a good night. Uh, discontinued, dude. Have a good one. I'm a hustler at pool. I'm, I'm not really a hustler. I only ever played pool for money a couple of times. But when I was playing pool a lot, I had no money. And so playing pool for money was a bit too serious for me. Because I used to go... I used to go down, like, the pub to play pool for the pub team with a pound in my pocket. And, like... I used to spend 80p on a on a half a diet coke and then I'd have to nurse it until the end of the night because I had no more money. <laughs> I couldn't even afford to have a practice game while the pool table cost 50p, you know. That wasn't all the time, but in the earlier days when I was playing pool, like that that was how it was for sure. Uh So yeah, I, I was never really much of a hustler, but I, I was pretty decent. I, I wasn't the best, but I I I didn't do enough practicing, like, some people really tried to get better, I just used to turn up and be as good as I was, kind of thing, you know. I had more room for improvement, but at the end of the day, like, 8-ball English pool is more, it's a hobby, and whilst it's a really cool thing, I, I have a mate, or a, 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 somebody I used to know really well, that played for England at pool, and he, he's, he's done quite well in professional tournaments, he's a professional now. I, I don't know him now, I've not seen him in a number of years, but I don't think there's a great deal of money in it, you know. Even if you're the ranked number one player on the tour, I, I don't think there's a, that, that much money in it. It's not like darts or anything, you know. I, you have to work hard. The money's in the exhibitions and things, not the actual being a pro from the tournaments thing, you know. I 
I played one of the eight ball pool games on my phone. I, I, I actually bought a queue and after about two weeks I, I deleted the game. I, I spent £20 on a queue for a fucking pool game on my phone. And then after I'd done it I was like, I, well I don't really regret that but I started getting the idea that maybe I should have bought a different one. And at that point I deleted it and thought I'm not going down that rabbit hole. I don't really enjoy darts the same, no. I, I never really got the same buzz out of darts. Favourite snooker player? Uh, Mark Williams, I think. Money in the UK, money in eight ball UK is in the locally arranged money games. Not if you lose, dude. I, I, I don't. I, I think there is money in it. I, I, again, that same friend. I, I know he's played games for five, ten, fifteen grand and whatnot. Some he's won and some he's lost. But I, I'm not sure if you, if you're, if you're in the in the top thirty-two players in in pool and you play another player that's in the top 32 and you're putting your own money up, I'm not convinced that there is really good money in that. Uh, maybe there is, but you might only play a couple a year and you might, let's say you went in three and you, you won two. You might still only be 10 grand up after a year that, and you're risking so much, you might have a, couple, a bad run and I, I just don't see it myself, you know. Like, I think the money, if you're like, if you win the world championships, you can go to loads of snooker clubs and pool clubs and pubs and you can do events where you can probably charge a grand or £1,500 for an evening. The pub will be full of pool players. You can do some trick shots, you can do some challenges and you're way better than everybody else in the room and you'll make decent money at it, you know? like I think there's a lot more money in doing an evening exhibition for a grand of 1500 quid than risking your own money to play somebody that's about as good as you are. People that play for money are all very, very good. So you may be going into a lot of series of coin flips there. You know? I think that's not where the money is myself. I might be wrong, but I think exhibitions, if you... If you High enough up, I bet that, that's free money. You're not risking anything, you know. The Twitch baby is coming along nicely. Not long to go now. I hope you're well and glad I could make another stream. Thank you. Uh, cheers for the support. I really, really appreciate it, dude. Thank you. I don't think that goes on the belt slot. No, it doesn't. There's a wolf to my left. Sorry, a bear to my left. It's a captain. We don't want any part of that. Good snooker players find pull very easy. Well, most very, very good pool players are good snooker players as well. Like, Mark Selby won the World Pool 8-Ball Championship before he won anything at snooker so much, you know. There is quite a lot of pool players that are very good at very good at snooker, you know. Uh, I can think of one or two that I've seen playing snooker that also play pool. But they obviously correlate. And it's if you're very good at snooker, then the table's much bigger. The game itself is much harder, so you're going to be good at pool. There's a guy on the tower. go this way. I, I, there's no point going there. It's already going to be looted and I've got no gun. Good. I'm quite happy with the stab vest at least. That was something but... It makes sense that if you're playing on a 12 foot table with really tight rails and really hard pockets in a really really Buddy, tough press spot. Five for me. Dude right I'm, now, holdi I'm holding five. a knife. I've got no gun. Just kill me or tell me what you want. 
Uh, my friend, well, he's not my friend, someone I just met here. Who would like, can we just take your plate carrier then? I just met that dude in the town before and was helping him find the uh, well. Oh, yeah. You can fucking kill oh, me. Okay. If you. <laughs> yeah, we can't. No, 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 we, no. Can't, we can't. We can't kill this guy. All right. Well, so, I'll leave you guys to it. There's, there's a, a guy in the tower yeah, there, that, which is why I'm not yeah, going to the tower. Friend. But okay. Well, oh, then you can't geez. hold your mate up either, then. <laughs> <laughs> no holding um, up. There you go. Take this for your troubles. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Sorry. Very kind. Have That's all right. Day, fellas. Love you. Bye. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. That's all right. No worries. Oh. Stay near him. So you I saw you. No, no. Oh, no. I'm not going anywhere near guns. He's got an I'm SVD. It's an SVD. I know he does. <laughs> and could, and I could... want it, but I don't have a grenade. Uh, oh. I don't have any grenade or anything to throw at Have it, a so. great stream. Oh. Well, I, I got some jam out of that, so thank you. <laughs> oh, very good. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Love you, boy. That's another. That town down there is new, I think, isn't it? That town down there, I think, is new. I don't fucking recognise anything here at the moment. It's all different. I don't. I don't think that was karma. I talked that situation into being by just being a cantankerous. Press F five for what? <laughs> just fucking kill me. That wasn't karma. I fucking told him off. I'm not being held up for that guy. I was just talking to him ten fucking minutes ago. No! <laughs> Bollocks! Uh, Reaper, thanks for the 22 months. O'Neill, Fat Cookies, Pewston. Cheers for the support, guys. <laughs> there, it's cool, actually. The, the number of changes is, like, more than I was expecting, to be honest. I do know where we are though. We're actually not a million miles away from the airfield. It, it, it's kind of cool this. When you know what way to go, you can get south fairly quickly. There's a number of places over here where uh, you can find rifles. Like, like we're close to a couple of hunting stands and summer camp sheds and stuff like that. I'm trying to. F There's one down here on the right somewhere, I think, but I don't know. Yeah, it's just. There's a log cabin here. I mean, it's in this tree line in front of me somewhere. Might be behind and to the left, and then there's one down there on the right, I think. There, there's one. And then there's another one down there somewhere as well. That's well, a good job I remembered where it was. Look at all that fancy loot that we got. Reaper, thank you very much. Cheers for the support. Lukey, it's like when you say you're not happy with the, the bill and price and you want to cancel when you ring Sky and then you end up paying more for... I've never had that. I've, I've, it's a well-known thing. I think they're a bit wiser to it now. But it used to be the case that if you had Sky, and you had, let's say, you had movies and sports, and you rang up once every uh, like year to eighteen months and said, I, "I, I'm really sorry. I'd just like to cancel my subscription." And they said, "Why?" And you went, "Well, it's just too much money, and I don't want to spend it." And they went, "Well, would you like to reduce your packages down a bit?" And you're like, "No, I only get it for the sport and the movies, but I don't want to spend that much money. It's just too much money." They used to give you like crazily good deal, like. Oh, we don't really want to lose a customer. We'll do it half price for six months or half price for a year or whatever. But I think they've kind of stopped doing that now because they realise that most people were just ringing up and trying it on. Ever thought of selling splints as merch? Mm, no. Maybe a t-shirt with a splint on it could be cool. Because it could be construed as uh, trying to fish for subs is why, dude. There's no drama there, but that it, it's completely it, like genuine from your point of view, right? And I understand that, but 
other people that aren't you say things like that to try and fish for a gifted sub. But that's other people that aren't you that do that, not you, okay? A shirt that says, where's my fucking karma would be pretty good. <laughs> where's my fucking karma? <laughs> Eight bolts before it's too late. I got the knife in my hand to do so, look. The number in the corner is Twitch subs crown. The number in the bottom left corner is my current uh, number of subscribers on Twitch. What actually makes Robot Lady's voice go funny sometimes? I think one of my alerts is set to a different voice than the others, and I can't remember, work out which one. But mostly it's it's messages that have got lots of commas and such in. Commas and just the way that they're, they're done with grammar, punctuation and whatnot, can affect how she reads them. I think I have got a couple of arrows as well. We'll sort that out in a minute. I'll make some more bolts as well. It's taking ages. What is going on? How does... How many is it making? I think I only had seven sticks, didn't I? What's what? What's going on? I'm fucking shitting bolts. Had a great run and bit root yesterday, four kills, 18 deaths. That's about the same as me, I'd say. Well, that might be me, actually. <laughs> uh, oh, it'll get, it'll get better at some point, dude. It always does. That's the thing with Daisy. It's a bit like me and the lovemaking, you know. It, it's it's, it's uh, very erratic and never goes quite how I want it to. And I'm left ultimately disappointed in my own performance. But every now and then... It's like I'm a different person. Every now and then, it's like I'm a different perform person and, and everything just falls into place. Just every now and then. Sometimes falls in the wrong place, not in my experience, dude. Oak, thank you very much for the super chat. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you. Frank, the map should always be in the title of the stream. We're currently in Alteria. Had a great run on Bitterroot yesterday. Four kills, 18 deaths. Uh, Zayak, thank you very much. Oak, thanks again, dude. Uh, Reaper, O'Neill, thank you. Aaron and Dominic, cheers for the follows on YouTube. Just going to get into the Millie base. Acid Freaker shamed me into this. <laughs> Gala, dude, thank you for the resub. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Liquid, I am going to be streaming Houston, Friday. Yeah. You're a noob. Love your brother. No fish. I've always thought Pewston was a little bit of a noob. He gets it from his brother. <laughs> there you go. I covered both there. I think that was fair. 
Uh, cheers, Slays. Thank you for the support. I hope you're good. Hey DCNO robot, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Died to a tripwire. Well, I would say that you died to whatever was attached to the tripwire. <laughs> because I'm playing devil's advocate, like everybody does in the chat. <laughs> I think you'll find you denied to the you died to the grenade that was attached to the tripwire, and not the tripwire itself, young man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it feels good. I understand why people do it now. <laughs> I think a gun is nearby. Yeah, it's going to be fired into my face, isn't it? I don't think I've really got all of these bolts, you know. I, I, I don't understand how I turned seven sticks. It... Seven sticks into fucking 17 bolts. It doesn't make any sense. It's like sort of a, a water into wine and uh, two fishes and two loaves into a meal for the 5,000 kind of stuff, you know? They say he can turn seven sticks into 17 bolts. <laughs> <gasps> they say he can turn seven hours and 40 minutes into seven respawns. zombie here. bolt gone. Where did it go? It must have stuck in him. It either stuck him in it, stuck in him, or it kind of went like pinged off and. Oh well, I've lost one of it. I've lost one of my bolts already. That sucks. If you could change one thing about yourself or the old lady physically, but what only one, what would it change? It wouldn't be penis size, despite what people think. Uh, I, I wouldn't change anything about my missus because she's downstairs and she can hear me. Uh, I might change her hearing to be slightly worse. <laughs> Here's the thing I'd like to change about my missus. I'd like to change her innate ability to remember that time I did the same thing that I'm upset with her about, but it was four years ago and she can remember the exact time and date it happened, what the weather was outside, what I was wearing, what we had for dinner that day and what we did the next day. That's what I'd change about her. <laughs> what I'd change about me is uh, probably my feet. I've got dodgy feet. I've got Pez Cavers feet and they're really annoying, cause me a load of grief. Not, there's many worse things to have, but that's one of the things I have. It, it affects my knees, it affects my back, it affects my ankles, it affects my mobility and it's just a pain in the fuck. It's not that big of a deal, but it's annoying, that's all. If you could change one thing about yourself or the old lady physically, but only one, what would you choose? Uh, Oak, thank you very much for the leading question. Now, don't ask any more because I'll end up fucking single by tomorrow at this rate, okay? No more. <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. It might be the reason why I break my leg. Yeah, dang up, damn right. Shorting, that's not what happened. I'm sorry to say, that's not what happened. Even if it's ruined, it's still in the zombie. Like, that missed, which is why I haven't got it. But even if you shoot with, with the bolt, 
It's in the zombie like that. That's what happens. If it's ruined, you just can't retrieve it, but it should still be there. What happened there is I shot it with the zombie. I shot it with a bolt. And the bolt kind of skimmed off the edge of the zombie and didn't stay in it and went somewhere else and I couldn't see it. But it wasn't ruined. If it was ruined, I just wouldn't have been able to retrieve it. It would still have been there. They do stick into players, yeah. Excellent. So that one kind of went this way somewhere. I saw it like that, that way, but uh, I don't need it that badly. Fuck it. Mark, no, I don't. I, I don't think so, anyway. I don't really want to read that question out loud, so let's just say no. Caution, danger lies within. What I love about this stream is, and Paul, is we ask him stupid questions and he answers them. I don't answer all of them, but I try. I answer some. The ones that seem fun, I answer. The ones that are like those kind of stupid, like, like what would you rather do? Uh, fight... Uh, a, a thousand horse-sized cocks or or sucker whatever you know <laughs> I, hate, I don't answer those questions I find them tedious um, but yeah the uh, the others are fun Scotty cheers for tuning into the YouTubes dude appreciate it man Ander Chavez, dude, thank you very much as well. Cheers for the gifted subs. Thank you very much, dude. Times ten of them as well. Thank you very much. Uh, Epic, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the eight months. Now, full transparency died. When I... Guys, sorry. When I died last, I was about a hair's breadth away from thinking, fuck this, I'm going to call it. But I didn't, and I've ran down south to the airfield, right? I'm here now. If I die now, I am definitely ending the stream. <laughs> and I've not really got a great deal of loot right now, so death is quite a possibility. Ruling, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream, dude. Ander Chavez, thank you very much for the gifted subs again, dude. Holy shit, man. Thank you very much. Cheers for gifting 20 of the budgets. Thank you. Who is my all-time favourite boxer? Probably Joe Kalzaki. I really like uh, Nassim Hamid when he was in his prime. Nassim Hamid, like... Before he got into troubles, you know, he was a fun fighter to watch. Watch, he was really fun. He was he was so stupid in the way he fought sometimes, but he was so explosive and so fun to watch. Have I ever gone to the Grand National with a fancy hat? No, what the only. What is the most dangerous thing you did in a car and got away with? Uh, I, the sex, slash, other things. Never while driving. Not well. Not not. Not the sex while driving, anyway. Uh, Nassim Hamid never fought Joe Kalzaki. They were way different levels. Nassim Hamid was much lighter than Joe Kalzaki was. Uh, Dave, thanks for that. I don't even want to think about what I've done. When you're young, you'll do all sorts of weird shit, won't you? Why was it dangerous? Well, it wasn't... It wasn't as private as it should have been. <laughs> It wasn't intentionally on show, by the way. i tell you one thing I did do, right, that's not really quite so sexy time, but one thing I did, uh, me and my first girlfriend used to have nowhere to go for, like, canoodling, and, and nothing more than a canoodle at the time, right, but once upon a time, we worked together, and work relationships in this particular company, they were banned, and if they found thought you were going out with somebody that was in the same workplace as you they used to they used to sack you they're like they weren't really allowed to do that but that's what they used to do and i was a 
It was a garden centre. I was a till supervisor and my girlfriend was a till operator. Uh, and we were canoodling in the car park of, of the workplace we worked in. The garden centre. It was about, I don't know, 1am. And they'd had an alarm call out and the police had attended because of some like dodgy phone call and the suggestion that maybe it was being burgled. And the police knocked on the window while we were uh, getting friendly. <laughs> and we were concerned that we were going to have to talk to the people that worked in the garden centre where we had to then go back to work the next day. That could have been tricky, but thankfully they just let us go. On your way, son. F find somewhere to go that's a bit more private next time. Doodle, doodle, do. Uh, RJ, thank you very much for the 18 months. Dave, thanks for the super chattening. And Ando, Ando Chavez, thank you very much, dude. Was Would I a Jedi back the legs, then? The no. Length of fingers or fingers, the length of legs. And why? Big fan of yours. Well, yeah, they're the questions I don't answer. Those ones. I need to super chat again because when I did it yesterday, there was some sweet PVP. Must have been me. Sam, well, thank you. Maybe it was. I don't think it was me. You thought you helped my father during the Clone Wars? No. <laughs> Jumped the crest of a hill at 70 miles an hour and caught air for 50 feet. The car was four, a four th half thousand pound dodge. Holy shit. Yeah, I never done anything that stupid, Dave. <laughs> oh, well, that, that's, that's, uh, oh shit. That's the guy that did it. Right, I'm going to go for a crossbow kill. Fuck it. Crossbow kill or die trying. Mine. I jumped the crest of a hill at 70 miles per hour and caught air for 50 feet. The car was a 4,500 pound Dodge Intrepid. so close that was so close to another one i knew there was another guy i was just trying to see if there was a gun that i could have that was incredibly close i that the shot on the guy was so i don't think it was very Yesterday far away i tried to give a man on the sidewalk my leftover greek food he told me no he doesn't like it so i tried to give him ten dollars he told me it wasn't enough to get a pizza uh i don't really care it was worth the crossbow kill that's kind of cool Not he had an sks man. if i'd killed him Favorite with that crossbow I kind of want to see the, uh, I kind of want to see that back. I'm going to have a quick look. I just want to see how close we were. Let's have a look. Uh, Oak, thank you very much for the support, dude. Uh, I'd quite like you. No, I'm fucking. Benz, thank you for the two months. Dave, uh, Sam, thank you. Well, I guess we did get a bit of PvP, Sam. A crossbow kill is kind of cool. Right, let me just go back a little bit. Let me, uh. The movement of the dude I killed was a bit in and out. Why is that not going properly full screen? Why have I got the bar there? That's kind of annoying. Why have I got the bar there? Anyway, let's not worry about that for now. Team Hamid never fought Joe Kalzaki. They were way different. Me How do I go back 10 seconds? Go forward 10 seconds on this. I can never remember the, what the buttons are to do it. There we go, let's do that. Crest of a hill at 70 miles per hour and caught it. Oh, I went too, back too far full fucking forward now. Oh! oh! Hit him in the neck. Let's...
quality. Playback speed. I could hear him being attacked by the zombie on the other side, but I just thought I'd see what gun he had. Like, maybe he might have had... Like, that That could have had bullets in it. It's an M4, look. Fucking hell. But it could have had bullets or a mag in it, for all I knew, but... I could. I knew there was somebody coming, though. That was painfully close. Just to his right, maybe. Oh! Oh, what? I might have hit him in the arm, actually, by the look of it. I think there's blood there. I think oh, I hit him in the arm. That was so close. Yeah, I think we should end on that. That was so close. <laughs> I think I might have hit him in the arm. Uh, Spence, thank you for the two months. Cheers for the support. God, he didn't even have a vest on. Another, another, like, what, three millimetres to the left and that guy was dead. That would have been fucking hilarious, but never mind. Uh, that was fun. I enjoyed that a lot. I'm glad I, I'm glad I, I, went, I went down there only for the crossbow kill, you know, that was worth it. If, I, if I'd used the shotgun there, I probably would have killed the guy, but... <laughs> Guys, that's it from me. I did see somebody suggesting I raid a particular streamer. At the moment, I'm not doing raids as often as I, I used to. I will get back into it again, but where I'm doing the multi-streaming, raiding's a bit tricky right now. If you're on YouTube, go and find your favourite YouTube streamer, or maybe check out one of my videos. If you're on Twitch, there's loads of good DayZ streamers, go and find one. But the multi-streaming kind of makes it a bit tricky to end like in bits. I find it a bit weird, but I'll work it out and get it right at some point. Uh, guys, thanks a lot for coming in. Really, really appreciate it. There's many streamers you can watch. Thank you for choosing to watch me. Be back again tomorrow for more of a mixed bag of different maps, probably. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. I'll catch you tomorrow. Take it easy. Love you. Bye.